morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? All right. Looking very lovely today. And I have to say, your shoes match your top. They do. Hang on. Which is amazing. Hang on. Yeah. If I'd be impressed if I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite as athletic as I once was. <laughs> oh, give myself a cramp. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Oh, Didn't expect me to do that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> the days we've been able to put my foot behind my head are long gone. <laughs> <laughs> How are we all? It is like golden days. It is. We're, uh, Michael, you're going to have to come and say hello to the lovely viewers. Yes. They do miss you. Okay, Look who we've got today. Look. So lucky. Look who we've got. It's today. Mr. Whoa! <laughs> Michael. Oh, no. You're looking very colourful today as well. Well, uh, isn't it meteorological. Start of autumn today. Autumn, yeah. Yeah. Is that I'm what you. I'm, I'm, I'm not following the rules. Look how bright that is. I know. It looks very bright on it, doesn't bright. it? Yeah. Yeah. Michael Wolf, everyone. It's, it's like, it, it is like we've gone back it about. It's got a lovely Ollie. Ollie's. Ollie! There was a nice surprise <laughs> this morning. I didn't know I had you directing. How are you? You okay? Do you have a nice holiday? It looked lovely. He's, he's been down to beautiful Dorset. How long were you away for? Ah, oh, lush, lush. All, lots, of, lots of gorgeous photos on the seaside. We head to Devon tomorrow, <gasps> and the weather is going downhill. It doesn't matter, we're, that, does it? We're hardened walkers. We've yeah. got our waterproofs. You're all right. You don't mind that, do no, you? No, 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 not at all. You don't mind no. a bit of uh, liquid no, sunshine? No, absolutely not. Amazing, no, no, no. amazing. Oh, we'll enjoy your trip. Well, I'm sure the viewers want to know the outcome of your... Um, How I spent my last two days, my days yeah. off. So we were all keeping our fingers crossed that Newport would save the day. I was like, come on, big up the Welsh Massive. You're going to come through, aren't you? No, their hands are tied. They can't no, do anything. So long story short, for those of you that weren't <laughs> involved in this conversation, we go away next Friday on holiday and we were so caught up and concerned with getting Tiggy's passport because of the delays and everything at the passport office, it came, hooray, let's book that holiday. So we booked a holiday, and then when it came, a couple of days ago, Tom was like, I'll check us in. And next I hear a, hell? Yes, Tom. Well, his passport's expired. What do you mean it's expired? She's six, can't expire, it's, it's 10 years. No, there's five years on children's passports, which makes sense, it makes mm. sense, but I just didn't register yeah. it. Anyway, so yeah. I was like, Wednesday, I'll fill out all the information and go down and beg and plead with the Newport office, see if they can get me in. Um, but no, uh, you have to have an appointment, which I had booked just in case, in Glasgow. Which was your nearest office. That was the nearest appointment I could get, Glasgow. To Redditch. To Red to Re <laughs> yeah, it's about, it's about five and a half hours drive. Um, oh. But I flew in the end, had a lovely day around Glasgow. <laughs> Walked for how many, 30,000 steps you yeah. seem to think, don't yeah. you? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Lots of coffee shops. Oh my God. Lots of mooching. Lots of mooching. And how long was your meeting? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And you spent five minutes of that talking about jewellery. Talking about jewellery <laughs> makeup because literally I sat down and the first thing I noticed was this lovely girl and I did say, tune in. Uh, tune in because she says, I saw do you make jewellery and she says, no, I don't, but I do buy from lots of artisan jewellers, so probably you guys. Oh, yes. um, she had a wire wrapped ring and straight I told her about jewellery maker and I was like, chances are you bought it from <laughs> one of our lovely customers. Anyway, so I, but most of the appointment was actually that conversation and then it was like tick, 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 right, there you go, see ya. <laughs> so now we've got to keep everything crossed that the passport yes. arrives yes. within six days of the seven promised. Otherwise, I'm sure it will. I'm sure. I'm yeah, sure. I have I'm faith. Sure I have faith. Positive thinking. Anyway, yeah. what a Friday morning show we have planned for you today. Mm -hmm. Honestly, can we start with your kits? They're pretty awesome. Well, I didn't aren't think they? we could beat Tuesday's <laughs> kits. They're pretty awesome. So we have got, for the first time, as I, I think I've never had it before, we've got Ombre Eslon. Yes, which is beautiful. Which is just amazing. And brand new 6.0 seed beads. We've got a Brights oh. range and a Pastel range. Just, just absolutely incredible. If Michael can pan just here, yeah. I've done a Kumihimo braid <laughs> and, I've, and I've bought, because we're desperately trying to get hold of them, these little spectacle um, I don't know what they call them, that you, you attach spectacles on to make spectacle chains. Yeah. But all of that comes off one <laughs> reel of Ethlon. The colour grading is just absolutely So these amazing. are coming up at 12 o'clock These today. are 12 o'clock. Um, yeah. We spoke about it on Tuesday. I didn't think mm. we could beat Tuesday's kits. It's, it's definitely up yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah, definitely it is. up there. Also, your kits in the 9 o'clock hour are these fun. These are cute. 
These Look are at these. huge. These are, I've not had them before. They are, they're called shaker beads and they're, they're glass. They've got a hole from the top to the bottom. And I've, I've, you can use, we get some beautiful little gemstones with them to make your shaker bead. Or you can use 15 O's, you can use 11 O's. I found some, some little sneaky two mil Swarovskis. Amazing. So the, like, the, do you know what they're like? Yeah. Shopard Happy Diamonds. I think that's what I think. That's is that what, the inspiration? I think that's what the inspiration. Love is. it. Yeah. Then your yeah. early bird. I'm yeah. really excited about your early bird. So our lovely Anne and Sue have, uh, has made this gorgeous bracelet. So it comes with genuine <gasps> oh. cultured pearls, and then for the first time ever, we have gold plated keshi beads. Oh, look at this! How beautiful are they? I love them. I absolutely love them. So we've never done a spacer bead like this before with those gorgeous organic-like no. shapes. Again, very Monica Veneda inspired. Um, wow. <laughs> if you have a little look, I'll scooch this over, actually. Your deal of the day, oodles of beautiful pearls in uh, different shapes and oh, yeah. um, more Baroque shapes, I'm going to say. Um, uh, the seed pearls and then also your ovals in there. So you get all of those as your deal of the day at 10 o'clock. Um, also, we've got a showcase of beautiful Kyan Night, which I absolutely love. I the piece saw of jewelry. Did you see what Alan Sue made? No, I've not seen oh, it. Oh, it's so yet. pretty. No. So these are coming up in a little bit of a showcase. We do not get kyanite in no, rounds very no, often. Not, so no. um, and when it does, it always sells out. We've also got last in stock opportunities on your Cleopatra pills, which is very exciting. Honestly, it's such a jam-packed show. It's amazing, isn't it? How yeah. did your um, faceted pearls go? Oh, yeah, I think they, they sold out. They sold out. Yeah, they I think were so. amazing. Beautiful, yes. I know. Very, yeah. very rare. Yeah. We've also yeah. got some last of stock opportunities in your Taipei Jade, the absolutely beautiful um. Chantilly Lace Jade. Um, yeah, we are talking, it's from the house of Suju, um, which if you, if that name's not familiar to you, then it is very Ida Oberstein, basically. Very, very Ida. Um, they are like the, Ida Oberstein is like the cutting, or considered the cutting house of multicolored, uh, of colored gemstones um, to the world, the best in the world. Wow. Whereas Suju, that's, that's the name for Jade. Right. So okay. yeah, absolute works of art. We've got those coming up within this hour, not too long to wait for that. Um, plus loads and loads of last of stock opportunities. Um, so it, it will be quite fast and pacey in the eight o'clock hour. I can't hear Ross, can you hear Ross? No. I can't hear you Ross. Yes. <laughs> Hang on, we're just going to swap something over. So, um, yeah, we'll swap it over in a second so that I can actually... It's quite important that I hear Ross because he tells me what yeah. to do, doesn't he? Um, right then, what's that? Now, you know your early bird, the one I was telling you about with those lovely Keshi beads and pearls, brand new. Um, yet you do get both of those opportunities with this gorgeous bracelet that Anne and Sue created. Um, take a little look. Take a little look. Um, at the inspiration. Now, if you pop along to, is it Monica Veneda? On their website, or rather save yourself the hassle, we can show it for you. So um, they have actually put together a beautiful Keshi Pearl bracelet, again with those wonderful um, uh, wow. Vermeil uh, Keshi inspired beads. I can't quite see the price on that from here. £170. Um, £170 for that bracelet from Monica Veneda. Well, I can tell you, we will absolutely obliterate that price tag today. Oh, look at this. Um, in fact, shall we put it on pre-order? We have, in total, let me just check the quantity that we actually have. Yeah, 150 And I'm just going to show Mark to gauge his reaction and what your early bird's going to. It's <laughs> £170 for that bracelet from Monica Veneda. Oh, it's an early bird word. deal, isn't it? I mean, that's amazing for the pearls alone, oh. isn't it? Remind me later to talk to you about Monica Veneda. Oh, OK. I'll that's... talk to you later. Yeah, looking forward to that. Right then, let's get cracking, shall we? Have a look at the website. Lots of items will be available on the website. You can shop ahead. Make sure you click on pre-order. Um, everything that you will see will be going lower. Click watch live. Yeah, there we go. You'll see Mark and I. Da -da -da. There we are. There we are. And then when you scroll down just a little bit. There you are. Ooh. <laughs> down to pre-order and there's your early bird they are not going to be anywhere near 74 pounds and 99 pence that's Hundred... still half the price of that bracelet still at that price yeah <laughs> yeah but it's not going to close there wow. right should we get cracking i think we should should we get cracking with a big pop of beautiful summertime color um good morning everybody text in as well we'd love to hear from you this friday tell me what you're up to this weekend um what's it 
pinch to punch second day of the month? Yeah. Is it but it's the first day of the meteor meteorological autumn today. Is it? I don't know what that means. It's to do with the weather. Okay. It's, it's the weather. There you go. Yeah. There we yeah. go. So officially yeah. autumn, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Officially autumn. Do I know what national oh, yeah. day it is? Yeah. Is it Lazy Monday? Uh, does that mean I could, I better go then? So you put your feet up all day. Go put my feet up all day. Charles yeah. would be a fine thing. <laughs> the reality is I get more rest here than I do at home. <laughs> um, I'd actually prefer to stay here, actually. If, we go, if, if we've got yeah. to be lazy, then I'll stay here. Yeah. I'll stay here. Um, oh, all the mums, put your feet up, put your slippers on, cup of tea. It's your day. It's your day. Don't you make the cup of tea? Oh, no. It's somebody else in your household. Um, nowhere near your price tag for all this beautiful, exotic blue. They're not small either. Considering, considering Neon Appetite is a gemstone that forms goodness me at 0.15 carat weight at an average. You've got, uh, you've got 320 carats. Well done, sold out. Shall we do Autumn, autumn. Jasper? Autumn, that's very apt. Very I apt. I love autumn. Me too, it's pretty. Yeah. And it just makes me feel all cosy. Yeah. Makes me feel all cosy. Yeah. <clears throat> you can snuggle down, can't you? You can bed down. Quarter past three I was woken up this morning. Were you? By? Cats. Naughty cats? Mm -hmm. Will they be naughty? Yeah. Uh, hang on. Is it this? Really? Oh. No. Well, you said autumn, and yes. I actually yeah. automatically assumed to those colours. Um, <clears throat> they look more turquoise, don't they? They're amazing. Oh, I love these. He says, I'll tell you what, I'll just because. Let's go even lower. Yeah, they're lovely. They look, I'd say these look like summertime jasper rather than oh, they're autumn. They're amazing. £4.99. They are incredible. I'd get three strands of this and do the most incredible marla. Oh, I think, yes. And use those gold spacers Oh yes. as your little markers. I think. That would be That'd lovely. Be oh, that was quick. They've sold out. Well done. Oh. Well done. You're on it today. <laughs> Shall we do some wow. tubes? We, uh, need, we need a tube showcase, tube don't show. we? I love tubes. Wasn't there a piece that um, Anne and Sue created like, on Tuesday With that had With the Googles? obsidian. Yes. Mm, yes. So this would be a great, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. great alternative. And again, for your Mima Morph oh. Code jewellery as well. These you would be your little dashes. You could put a hidden message in you your uh, in your jewellery. Yeah. Yeah. Check your passport. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a valuable oh. lesson. Uh, 9.99, gorgeous fluorite, of course, one of the most colourful minerals that exist. It has this wonderful, wonderful, well, fluorescence, literally. Um, yeah, and to actually cut this gemstone into tubes is incredibly challenging. Oh, they're cute. Um, given how it, it naturally forms. They're pretty, aren't they? It's like a pastel palette, isn't it? You've got your soft greens, your beautiful purples, little elements of yellow yeah. within there. I mean, I've just said it's really difficult to cut fluorite, especially into something this, this particular. I mean, yeah, it, that beautiful. cylindrical shape. Think back or watch back, if you like, on YouTube Tuesday's show, and you'll see that piece of jewellery that Mark and mm. I are actually referencing. Yeah, I think they were, they were obsidian, weren't they? They were, I'm sure mm. they were obsidian. They were so a really nice alternative. Mm. These would look lovely with your deal of the day, actually, that are coming up at 10 o'clock this morning. Are they individual strands or a bundle? It's a bundle. Really? You get all of that. Oh, all of that in your deal of the day. So they'd be really wow. pretty alongside that, wouldn't they? Uh, meters upon meters mm. of pearls. Two pounds and 99 pence. How many do we have then, Roscoe? We have 14. Oh. Tracy snapped up six. Well done. Well Olivia, done. Durham. Well done. Well done, well done. If you missed out on that, don't worry, because I have an alternative for you. Beautiful green aventurine. Oh, love the colour of these. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's pretty. I love aventurine. Me too. I, think, I always feel a bit sorry. You know, you always say about yeah, black onyx. I, was just say I feel that. sorry yeah, for exactly. green adventuring because yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, Jade, you get in the limelight yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. Me as little old me, looking all perfectly natural <laughs> and everything, not getting quite the credit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it is a beautiful gemstone. Very similar in terms, well, really, to some of the finest qualities of Jade. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying yeah. it is that gemstone. Two pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Again, love the. I love green adventuring with things like rose mm. quartz. Oh yeah, very. So it's a nice pastel green, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Tracy's bought four. Well done, Tracy. Well done. Hello, Olivia. Do you know I'm going to be literally looking out for Glasgow now? <laughs> Hello, Jeannie, Patricia, sorry, Carol. Oh, Hello to you, my lovely Linda in Hampshire. What a lovely city Glasgow yeah. is, though. It's beautiful. You know, if yeah. you've got to spend, if you've got, if you've got literally multiple hours to kill, Glasgow is a good city yeah. to do it in. And at the top of the hill in Glasgow, I think it's called the Necropolis, and it's a, it's a Victorian graveyard. Right oh, at the I top didn't of the hill. That. It's absolutely beautiful. 
And it was where the latest <laughs> Batman was filmed. Really? Mm. Yeah. It's uh, it's beautiful. Like yeah. I saw the university and the town centre is amazing. Beautiful. That square and nice shops, yeah. lovely coffee. Um, let's go back to that leopard skin uh, jasper. Oh, no, again, okay. if you're looking for the autumn colours, then I think this is going to be a little bit of you. Yeah, you've got that lovely warmth, haven't you? Lovely warmth, four millimetre rounds. A little thank you, says Ross, oh. for watching bright and early in the morning. He says for tuning in. Nice and early. This is where he says this is where we bring you the deals. One ninety nine for a genuine wow. gemstone. Again, autumn is absolutely perfect, isn't it? Memory wire, a few little seed beads in between, spacing them out. Amazing jewelry set. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh well, oh well done. Oh, it's sold out. Well done. Oh, very, so. very busy this morning. Wow. Um, okay, don't don't forget you've got the Chantilly lace jade coming up. Last of stock opportunity too. You actually get two of those, and also your beautiful early bird inspired by the one and only Monica Veneda. Wow. So uh, you can shop ahead and pre-order on those. Have a little look online, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Ooh, almost 20 have gone on pre-order. God. What's that? Finish off the bracelet with a Chantilly J. Oh, that's a nice idea, Ollie. Nice. And, and maybe add a bit of your deal of the day in there and you, you go all out. Oh, yeah, that sounds a bit lush, doesn't it? Okay, um, who would like some rose quartz as we've mentioned it in the most We were talking about rose quartz the other day, weren't we? How I love it. Yeah, you really like it, don't you? It, it, it's it's so fun. pretty and it's got that oh. sentiment that you just immediately, yeah. you, um, you immediately feel, I suppose. Mm. Um, yeah, again, when you think about soft pink gemstones, most of us will go, oh yeah, like, like kunzite and like morganite. Rose quartz has got this wonderful, wonderful, very ethereal, I think. It's got an aura about it, I always think, rose quartz. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Pretty in this graduation. So you can mm. literally restrand this again. Nice addition to your deal of the day or your early bird. Um, and it is completely and utterly natural. So for those people that aren't like Alice and pink people, I think Rose Quartz <laughs> has got that uh, that really beautiful, I don't know, quite a gentle, yeah. tranquil pink, hasn't yeah, it? it has. If we were to stop here at 9.99, considering that you could literally just restrand this, maybe put a couple of pearls in there or some of your lovely spacer beads, or some of Mark's awesome six O's that are coming up in mm. the 12 o'clock hour. Um, all of the above, really. You know, that's a high-end piece of jewellery. Are we all happy at 19.99? How about if we show you another price that you're not even going to be paying for this gorgeous strand? I'm going to go even lower. These graduations, I always just put on elastic. Not paying you're not seven. Paying no. No, I we're going we'd go even to lower. Seven, I thought we'd go at 9.99 and then drop to 7.99, but we're starting at 7.99. Yeah. Really? Ross keeping um. us all on our toes this morning. Oh my goodness me. 7.99, absolutely incredible but we're going significantly lower. Again, so let me just show you some of your early bird pearls. Look how beautifully they go together and maybe some of your, the actual Keshi beads that we have commissioned. You can pre-order and shop ahead on your early bird, go into a crazy low price tag, but look how gorgeously they go well um, <coughs> with, your, uh, with your rose quartz. The clock is ticking and there's loads of you there. Good morning, hello Christine, hello to you Emma. Uh, another Christine, Deborah, hello to you Nadine, Lynette, Margaret, Deborah, Sylvia, Megan, Olivia, Barbara, Barbara, Elizabeth, Mervat. Well done to you all. Check out your baskets because it is going lower. My only hope though, Ross, you have quantity. 30. 30. 47 of you have in your basket and I've only got 30. I think you even know before me. Ah, oh. yeah. I mean, yeah. This. That's ridiculous. It is. It's. A, I agree. Uh, Ollie has just said yeah. there. It's, it, it's a ready-made necklace, really. All you need to wow. do is replace the actual uh, threading material. You know that one on its own. Yeah, six pound forty-nine. How I many agree. on the strand? Should we count them? Should we give them a little little count? Just, I've just had this idea. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 45. So you need three strands, graduated Marla. Keep the three big ones in the centre as your markers. Nice. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that would amazing. be amazing. And that's yeah. going to cost you yeah. what? Six. 
about 20 pounds. Oh, yeah. my goodness yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, well this beautiful early bird is coming up. It comes with beautiful Keshi pearls. And for the first time ever in Jewelry Maker history, uh, we have put together and commissioned these absolutely stunning uh, gold-plated Keshi beads. They're beautiful. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well to avoid any form of disappointment. So um, they're available on wow. the website. Um, yeah, come and say hello to us all, though, because we'd love to hear from you this morning. Uh, maybe um, our texting message could be, uh, or theme, rather, could be like... Um, what should you have done once upon a time? As in, I should have checked t at Willow's passport. Ah. Yeah. I once adopted a kitten, well, a cat, from a animal sanctuary. Mm. And I was assured that she'd been spayed. And I really should have taken her to the vet to double check. And I didn't. And I had a litter of five kittens. Oh. Mm. Which we all found homes for. That's Don't get me bad, wrong. Though, that it's really bad. Really bad. Yeah, so I should have double checked that. But you think a sanctuary would have, would have yeah. checked that, wouldn't they? Yeah. Uh, hello, Kayla, my darling. Uh, morning Mwah. to a beautiful team Mwah. in front and behind the cameras. Absolutely. Looking oh. forward to a fab show as always. Think my oh. mojo has, uh, has made a return. Yay! Fantastic. Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> well done, Michaela. We got it back. We've got it back. Did I think like Michael's that? got his back as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Make sure you send those beautiful <laughs> creations in. Um, morning, Kayla. Uh, hello to you, Liz. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm clearing out uh, my oh. beadery this weekend. I thought, having... I thought Liz, sorry, I thought Liz cleaned out her beadery a few weeks ago because she was having grandchildren to visit. Oh. Maybe it needs That's another maybe clear out. Maybe another clear out. Maybe. Yeah, She's a busy okay. lady, is our Liz. I'm having a new window and I need to clear the ah, path to it. Yes. Right. I mean, they only need about that much, don't they? Don't worry. No. Um, don't worry about it. Oh, good luck with that, because that's a big job, isn't it? I love it? reading people's messages. I know. It's nice to hear from yeah. everybody at home. Yes. Hello, Jeannie, saying, good morning, Elle, Mark morning. and crew. Uh, my week just gets better. Mark on my telly twice. Elle, did you get the passport sorted? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. The only mm. thing, Jeannie, is that I need it to be sent by day six of the seven that is promised. Otherwise, Willow and I'll be going a day later. But that's fine. It is what it is. Yeah. I've learned a lesson. <laughs> it was totally, totally my fault. But yeah, I had to go to Glasgow. But it's going to make it an even more special holiday when this you do is get the there, isn't it? This, that's what Ross said yeah. this morning. He was like, you know yeah. what, Elle, when you're there, when you yeah. are there and you've had all this stress, it'll be even more worth yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. We yeah. will get there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, keep those messages coming in because we love hearing from you. Um, okay, let's do. Oh, these are the cutest thing I've ever seen. Do, have you never? How have people not know, never seen that? You've seen the turtle, haven't you? I've seen the turtle. It's a turtle. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen that. I don't know if it's actually in sign language. It's just right. Oh. <clears throat> you talking about that? Well, uh, Tiggy at the moment, she loves Mr. Tumble. And um, I really like Mr. Tumble because he teaches sign as well. So if you talk to Tiggy and I was like, ah, oh, Tiggy, oh, look, should we go see your friend? She'll go, you sign, friend. Oh. <laughs> it's very sweet. Very, very sweet. He's one of the richest men on TV, you know, Mr. Tumble. A clever businessman. Mm, yeah. Clever, but he does loads yeah. of voiceovers as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, look at this. Cute. We're talking about turtles because look. Look, they, look, wait, 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 Michael. Can we just zoom on into his cute little face? Because he's got the most adorable little face. Look at him. He's got a little smile. A beautiful, beautiful little smile. A cute little tail in your slider bracelet. So, I mean, th there is absolutely a place for your base metal. We can bring you the sterling silver Very slider cute. bracelets. These have been incredibly popular. You don't just get the one. You do get all three of them. So that's this lovely kind of uh, royal blue, Michael's electric getting blue. getting his extender out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, everybody at home? Michael's, Michael's getting his extender out. Yeah, look at that. What? They are very cute. Are you okay, Elle? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Four pounds <laughs> per bracelet. They are so cute. <laughs> so, so cute. They're, ago they're adorable, aren't they? <clears throat> because, you know, we've had elephants, haven't we? Yes, we've had bumblebees. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got bumblebees, you know, all these lovely creatures that we have this immediate kind of emotional mm. attachment to. And I think turtles are definitely one of those. Oh, I, love um, I think when we, this with the deal with your early bird and your deal of the day, actually, because 
gemstones yeah. of the sea would make sense, wouldn't they? Absolutely. Yeah, but who doesn't it. love a yeah. turtle? They are the sweetest, aren't they? Are you happy at four pounds each? Oh, How we're about? Not, we're not stopping there. No, no. Cutting that price tag. Oh. All you need to do, if you're brand new to jewellery making, by the way, is literally a wrap loop, which we can teach you. Um, uh, gemstones of your choice, or maybe a connector if you wanted to. You can even do things like elastic. Five ninety nine for three. For all three. Yeah, that's working oh, out at two pounds per slider bracelet. But be warned, there are only well, you can see the single figure quantities now. Oh, Hello to you, Darren. Buying two. Well, Brenda, Rita, Karen, Dawn, Lynette, Brenda, Jill, Isle of White. Nice to uh, nice to be with you. That's all we have. Once these are gone, they're gone. I hope that we do recommission them and maybe bring different animals. We could bring different types of. We could have a dolphin. We could have a sloth. A sloth. Are they still trendy? Uh, sloth. Slo sloths are my favourite. Yeah. They? They're my oh, favourite they're animal. Trendy, yeah. They're still trendy, are they? Yeah. Sloths. Right. Yeah. Right. You could have unicorns. I think unicorns have had their day, to be fair. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we, need, we, need to, we need to champion something else. Okay. Pandas. Pandas are a good one. Yeah, pandas. I like pandas. Very yeah. good. Pandas. Yeah. They're yeah. cute, aren't they? Fox, they're awful. Yeah. They're always... Yeah. Foxes, Wait, I, this is quite a sad story. Is it sad? Yes, it's quite sad. But I saw an animal, unfortunately it had passed away, that I'd never, ever, ever seen before. What animal? On a footpath the other, on the, at the weekend. What animal? A mole. Oh, they're so I've cute. never ever ever seen a mole before, and the first one I see it had been it had passed away, but I'd never seen one before. I, we had we they're had amazing. a mole in our garden, and I I've got to be honest, mm. I wasn't his greatest fan. No, I can imagine. But but, but I did yeah. leave him. He went on his own accord in the end. Oh, okay, I didn't do yeah. no traps or anything like no, that. He did no. go on his own accord. Yeah. Um, but they are the sweetest. They and the paddle front feet were amazing, obviously because they dig with them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, amazing. Oh, cool. I've never seen one before. Um, <laughs> not long to wait until I bring your beautiful, beautiful Chantilly lace jadeite. These are the last remaining quantities of them from the Suju, House of Suju. Um, you have the finest carving of jadeite in the world. Now, there are only a couple of these available. Um, they're, it's, they're just amazing. There's only 30 of these uh, available. They launched about a month ago. Um, and I know they were in uh, some negotiation for a very, very, very long time. So, wow. oh, I beg your pardon. They launched in June. Gosh. Almost three months ago, last 29 available. Yeah, they are works of art, oh. aren't they? To actually create, I mean, <laughs> working lace. Lace is one thing. You know, that intricacy mm -hmm. and that delicacy. But imagine doing that with a gemstone that's as hard as steel. We've also got... Oh, gosh, have you seen those three strands that have just been brought in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Your Monica Veneda-inspired early bird. You can shop ahead and pre-order on these. They are flying on pre-order. So I'm not surprised. We've never actually done the Keshi bead before. Ignore 74.99 because we are going uber, uber, uber low. Now, here's the bundle that Mark oh, was just dying up. You, so, you spoke about a nice Marla. Perfect. Ah, oh, it literally Absolute. looks like a fruit cocktail. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks amazing. Ollie says he, he's got a tiger's eye necklace courtesy of our lovely Mark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. It's These like a really beautiful amazing. fruit cocktail. Isn't that amazing? Because look at this one here. You've got greens and pinks all in one amazing tiger's eye. Um, never full seen of chatoyancy. Before. No, I haven't. They're is either pink or green or blue, aren't they? Not this a multitude. Yeah, it must be. Is, is this, this is this brand new? No. Ross? Yeah, uh, Carol launched this not long ago, didn't she? Uh, I've not seen this before. I've never seen mixed colour. Oh. This oh. was the, that was the only time it's actually been to air. So this oh, is look. last chance saloon. Yeah, we've had green tiger's eye or pink tiger's eye or purple or blue, but never actually all together. Yes, Michael. What tourmaline is this? It's got. It's Good yeah, call, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, I like that. Why did L I miss this? I remember seeing the promo and having presenter envy. Oh my This would be lovely God. with your on board. It board. would be perfect. It would be absolutely How many do we perfect. have though, Roscoe? Oh, oh, there's only 19. I hope that we've already spoken to our uh, amazing buying team and asked to reorder this because that is beautiful. Imagine a big multicolored yeah. tassel at the end of it. Yes, Mark. Oh, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect colour combination. 59. Oh, I hear Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Can we get some more of these, please, Wayne? 
He says he'll try. He hasn't got any on order, though, uh, at the moment. They're beautiful. To actually get the different colours in one stone. What do you mean, are we ready? This is coming up at 12 o'clock today, Jewelry Makers. Launch of your ombre God, cords. This cord. I, I'm born ready, Ross. Today, he said. Did you see that? Was, that's cool as a cucumber, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Today. All these people are waiting. Look, look, look. Yeah. What he's going to do. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sold. Oh, that's mad. Yeah, it's £10 per strand. That's absolutely that's amazing. I can't even get my head around how you achieve those multiple No, colors. no, no, I've no idea either. It's fantastic. And this, and this cord, you can do, you remember the, the, the two cord knotting I showed you mm. on our show last week? You can do that with a tie because the so holes the are large enough. Much yeah. easier way of knotting. And if you use the ombre heads. cord oh. with all these multicolours, oh. that would just look amazing. Yeah, beautiful. And have a big tassel at the end of it. Yeah, Coming wow. up at 12 o'clock today, <laughs> so make sure you're with us with that. Now, I only have literally 10 of them left and there's so many of you there vivian hello to you brenda wow. uh, durham jenny you've got yours i've got jane deborah east sussex lorraine cheshire margaret susan faye charmaine and sydney uh, <clears throat> you need to check out your baskets because they were literally there's eight of them left and then there's none on reorder i know this because i can hear wayne in the gallery right now is do he still remember, there do you remember a yeah. sweet called a rosy apple yes back in the day yeah that just reminds like me a boiled of sweet yeah 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 they do look a little bit yeah. like that Gosh, they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, which means if there's none on order right now, then the you know best case scenario, it's going to be, I don't know, three, four months mm -hmm. until we even, and that's if they're even available, um, of course. Should we tell the viewers what I told you this morning? What did you tell me this morning? What we've ordered to come in December. Yes. I probably, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but... Um, because of how popular the, the diamond tubing was on our show on Tuesday, it's been reordered for December. Yes! But I've not told you that. It was so cool, wasn't it? It was amazing. So, so, yeah. so cool. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. In different colours? Different colours. Ooh! Ready for the Christmas season. Festive colours? Sorry, I'm, I'm, the magpie in me has just seen that little white box. Uh, mm. Full of garnets, you mean? Yeah, I know. Amazing. Yes, festive yeah. colours. Yeah. Love that. Four amazing. of these yeah. are left. We're over allocated on it. Now oh, there's God. only three of them. Mavis, Tracy, Lynette, Margaret, Jane, Deborah, hello to you. Um, if you've got it sat in your baskets, especially if there are multiples, then do make sure you check out nice and early. Sean Tilly Lace uh, Jadeite, type A natural jadeite. We are not talking about uh, um, dyed or polymer impregnated. And this is literally carved by hand. Imagine holding a piece of rough, a gemstone which is as hard as steel and literally cutting by hand the level of intricacy that you're about to see. This is inspired by, of course, Chantilly lace itself and only the finest and most uh, accredited uh, jadeite carvers in the world, well, it's from the Suju, House of Suju, wow. um, will be able to achieve this level of intricacy. It's it, it, like, it's a wafer of jade, mm -hmm. which is just amazing. And I, I know I have shown you in the past, uh, so Chantilly lace um, over in Tucson that was literally five figures. You know, it's, it's incredibly expensive. I'm just thinking how fine the tools have to be to do the piercing work. Yeah. I mean, it must be extraordinary. Yeah, well, uh, Jake actually yeah. spoke about that when he launched the Chantilly wow. Lace. Piercing and, and like, yeah. so the abrasive, you know, it's not just Amazing. a case of like, oh, okay, I'll drill it. No. You can't do that. No. It is done very, very intricately. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those. I believe it's last of stock. Now, this, the Magpie. That is amazing. Mark, I can't... These are so things. beautiful, you'd, it, you'd almost be forgiven for thinking that they weren't genuine. Um, there are only five, yeah, like oh. little pomegranate pips. Oh, Ollie, you're those. loving these, aren't you? They're amazing. I would, I would glue these onto a pillar candle. <clears throat> this recording, though, wow. is giving Ollie a little bit of a, um, a nervous twitch. <laughs> no, I agree. He, you'd arrange them all, wouldn't you? You'd arrange them Into all. Into a little flower pattern. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Not just like strewn across there. Anyway, we could see, we could look at them here. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, These amazing. just literally glued on a big pillow. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, They're genuine how carrots. many? 40? Yeah. Gone. Well done. Oh, God. Well done, well done. Wow. Mm, in one auction, you're shanty. Does it have a wiggle when it walks and a tiggle when it talks? Maybe. Wiggle in a walk and a tiggle when it talks. Makes the world go round, there ain't nothing in the world like a... Is it? Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big eye feel? Chantilly lace and a pretty face and a wiggle when you walk and a tickle when you talk. 
No idea he sang that. No, I don't either. <laughs> um, oh, baby, that's one I like. Um, here you go. These are coming up in one auction's time. Unbelievable. Now, in the lead up, uh, shall we do a closeout auction on sterling silver? So your Chantilly, Mark's nine o'clock kits, your early bird, your deal of the day. We always need chains, don't we? They are really yeah. as integral to, I think, our jewellery making. This is the time where you need to stock up your Christmas presents. Totally. Stash, without a doubt. Totally, yeah. absolutely. And, and I don't know about you, especially with everything that's going on in the world and the mad cost of living and things like that, I have well and truly started Christmas shopping now because, yeah, yeah. you know, when uh, when everything does go up again, um, I don't really want to be worrying about Christmas presents, so I am shopping ahead. And this is the perfect gift. No, this with the Chantilly lace, you've got a high-end piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. um, stock up, though, or your seed beading, for example. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at 20 inches and a classic... 925 sterling silver curb chain. That's the length you like, isn't it? I love a 20 inch chain, yeah. I do, yeah, because it just sits mid decolletage um, as, as opposed to being sort of right, right up close to the nape of the neckline. <laughs> yeah, it gives more versatility, I think. Um, <laughs> wow. Are you joking, Ollie? Wow. Oh, oh, right, I see. Um, <clears throat> 925 sterling silver, yeah, no matter what medium you specialise in, whether it's silver wire work, whether it's silver clay, whether it's sea beading, mm, whether yes, it's yeah. uh, normal beading, you always need a sterling silver, uh, sterling silver mm. chains within your stash. I mean, it's the item that I really sell yeah. out of, or not yeah. sell out of, sorry, run out of more often than not, because that's actually my, 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 my niece, for example, who's just passed her GCSEs, did really well in her GCSEs. Oh, well done. Oh, good. Yeah, she did amazing. And there was a lot of pressure because her brother, her older brother is like ridiculously clever. So I felt, really felt for mm. the pressure that she was feeling. So just got her a little uh, um, jade high goo and threaded it onto one of these chains. Oh. And she absolutely loves it. At 19.99, we know that if you pop along to one of your local high street jewelers, you know the ones I'm talking about, the ones I always mention, you know, the, the Samuels, the Argos, the, the, Argos, yeah, the Hines, yeah. the Elizabeth Dukes. Yeah. I'm not talking about like, like the big, big names like Tiffany's and Co. Never mind those, you know you pay astronomical prices there. But even in somewhere like those jewelers, they're not going to be able to compete with seven ninety nine, are they? No. In a solid nine two five sterling silver chain, I bought my. Um, I actually bought a couple of pieces, costume jewellery in Glasgow. Time to kill yesterday, and um, literally costume jewellery. It was not gold. It was not silver. They weren't even gold plated. It was literally costume jewellery, right. and I paid more than that. I like the piece of jewellery, and that's fine. And I, I actually bought it to go on holiday with, but seven ninety nine. For solid, wow. genuine 925. When I had my stall, I used to charge five pound for a sterling silver clasp yeah. on a piece of jewellery on its own. So what would you charge for a chain? 1999 oh, for, whole, for the whole thing. I think most yeah. people would go, yeah. that's a really yeah. good deal. No. It is reasonable, more than reasonable. We're at 649. We did say it was going to be a closeout deal. I've got 200. <laughs> Here we go. Just take one of your Chantilly lace. Oh, look. Just one suspended from a 20 inch chain. Yeah, That's perfect. perfection, isn't it? Yeah. And the drill hole's perfect for a jump ring. Yeah, it's that's all you need. It'll sit in the right direction. Yeah, if I move perfect. by my. There you go. Yeah. So literally you put a jump ring through <laughs> the top. You're not even paying $5.99. Not, we're not stopping there. I have 200, which oh, no. might seem like loads. It is not loads. Now, the next price tag that Ross has said in my ear is a good price for an 18 inch, let alone 20 inches. Every single penny. Every pound is being taken out of this deal. You know it's a good deal. It doesn't really take me to explain it. We all know that five ninety nine is already beyond wholesale. And to be truthful, even if you were purchasing directly from wholesale, most wholesalers will say, but you have to buy a certain amount. You have to buy 100 or 50 even at that price tag. Well, you don't want to buy 50, do you? You might want to just buy one. You might want to buy the twos and threes and fours and fives and sixes and nines that I can see on the call screen. 
Under five pounds for you today. I say that because I can see there is an absolute deluge on the web and on the phone lines as well. Um, so <clears throat> don't hesitate. Je uh, Jenny and Chess has just said, right, thank you very much. I'll take five of those. Susan and Brian, hello, lovelies. You've just snapped up uh, three. Mary in Yorkshire's got four. Well done. Um, pretty much every single one of you has chosen to multi-buy because they are a must-have, aren't they? Oh, I can see Anne. Here's our lovely Anne. Here's Anne. Hope you're feeling okay, Anne. Sending you lots Aww. of love, Anne, because she, she's unwell at the moment. Bless. £4.75. That's amazing. We've we've done I've done I've done shown you price comparisons before. There was eBay. Mm. eBay were very competitive actually, one trader on eBay, and I think it was about, I don't know, six pounds. Six pounds and a penny randomly for a for a twenty inch chain. Um, which was fabulous. I can't guarantee the quality of it. These mm. are if you've bought chains from us, you know they are amazing, amazing quality. Four pounds seventy five. I went into I went into uh, a coffee shop yesterday in the centre of Glasgow. Lots of time to kill. Um, ordered a coffee. No, it wasn't. It was a cup of tea. Cup of tea and a little bowl of fruit salad. Seven quid. Seven quid. Small. It's like an egg mm. cup of fruit. Here we go. Here we are. Twenty inch sterling silver curb chain. Almost exactly the same as what you're looking wow. at. Well, in fact, it is the same. Gosh. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence from Samuel's. Wow! And look, it's got great reviews. Great reviews. You can buy seven of ours for the equivalent of oh, one of theirs. Yeah. Do you want to see a more affordable one? We have done the price comparisons. Here we go, Argos. That's Argos. That is. Oh. Yeah, eleven ninety-nine. It's the same. The only difference, uh, yeah, it's the same. Do you want to see another one? I'm quite sad with Argos. Why? Well, they stopped doing the paper catalogue. I know, that is sad. Yeah. End of an era, that is. That was my downstairs loo <coughs> read. What is it? And at Christmas as well, circling presents you want as and a kid. folding over yeah, pages. Yeah, you can't, can't do it anymore. And, yeah. Do you know what? Willow watches YouTube now to find toy inspiration. Oh, does she? Yeah, she watches it. Mummy, do you, can Santa put it on your Santa list? <laughs> put it on your Santa list. I think, I think, I think Santa's list <coughs> will be very short. Mine, yeah. yeah, oh yes, yeah, yeah, totally, mm. yeah. Um, well, you know what? There's always things like face Facebook Marketplace. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Me and Vinted. my sister used to alternate between our big present. Did I'd you? get it one year and Angela would get it the next and we used to alternate it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for kids, mm. you know what? Vinted, Facebook, great. Absolutely great. I've kitted the girls out for holiday on Vinted for between the two of them, probably if, with, it, with it about 80 quid. Wow. Literally kitted the girls out. In and what's Paris. really good about your two is, you, you, is that Willow can hand her clothes down, down to, to Tiggy. Tiggy. So yeah. that's, that's lovely. Isn't Absolutely. It? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, get on Vinted if you've never been on Vinted mm. before. It's great. It is really great. Well um, done, everyone. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to you all. Four pounds and 75 pence. Is that, is that our managing director, I hear? Is it? Did I just hear Scott? Oh, oh. there we go. Who I thought I heard someone. So I look at this screen and I see all of these names. And it is incredibly humbling, isn't it? It is. That not only have people Kathy's got ten people left. got such confidence in us to purchase yeah. their products, but the, the fact that they're they're watching us and they've, they're taking time out to time out of their day to spend with us. I know. That's nice. It's very humbling. That's it. Very, very nice. Humbling. Thank you very much for tuning in. We do appreciate it. And I tell you what, we will repay you with the yeah. mate, the best deals that we can possibly possibly bring you. Do you want the perfect edition to go alongside? alongside your sterling silver chain. Because most of you have heard of Edar Oberstein. If you haven't heard of Edar Oberstein, they are basically, it's like the, it is the, 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 the guru of cutting mm. in the gemstone world. So for example, the best quality rubies will be cut at Edar Oberstein. The best quality sapphires, um, <clears throat> emeralds, etc. That's where many of your gemstone cutters like Glen Lehrer, for example, and Rudy, uh, Rudy Rubito, that's where they went to train. Really? Yeah. Glen Lehrer went to Oberstein? Yeah, yeah. So, wow. so the wow. equivalent Gosh. in the jade world is Suju. And what you're about to get is a Suju hand-carved Chantilly lace jadeite. There are only 29 left in the world, and it's up next. Are we going straight into it? 
I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Early birds coming up. Oh, they would be lovely together. They would though. actually, yeah. The house oh. of Suju, hand carved. Not only one, but two. Those of you that have maybe tuned into some of our amazing, amazing showcases of jade know that these have only ever been to wear twice, I think. Um, they were launched in June. But we'll recall certainly photographs that we have shared from Tucson of uh, different Chantilly lace carvings. So this gentleman uh, here um, is Roland Schluso. He is basically one of the biggest names in uh, the world of, uh, world of jade. He had type A jadeite carvings over in Tucson and they were sold individually firstly. And they were a four figured, sorry, five figured price tag. Incredibly, oh, yeah. incredibly expensive. But justifiably so, because like I said, this is, imagine taking, imagine holding a piece of jadeite rough for a second, which forms in boulders, so you know it is almost like a, I don't know, depending on the size, but it's very curved and round, isn't it? Mm. So firstly, you have to achieve, and I assume it's in this direction, this order, a, a slice, wafer thin, to be able to yeah. call yeah. Chantilly. And then you have to, you have to actually carve these beautiful, intricate, flower-like, lace-like uh, details within that jade. The one in the middle, you can see, is Chantilly lace. That was, and at the top, actually, number two, that's Chantilly lace as well. Um, that was actually in Night at the Museum in Tucson at the beginning of this year. That's the level of intricacy we are looking nice. at right now. Yeah. Achieved and carved by hand, polished still to this day by wet bamboo. You know, we always say about jadeite, the three valuing factors, which are color, texture, and translucency. But something that you should absolutely add to that is the artistry that goes into the carving. In many, remember what I said, shared with you an article that I found not so long ago that spoke about jade, look at it not as a commodity, look at it as a piece of art that is created by mother nature and shaped by human hands. This is Chantilly lace. That's, imagine that intricacy in a type A jade. I only have two, uh, 29 opportunities left. Wow. We will never be able to replace something like this uh, you know, uh, there we go, Mark. That's mm. what you would just yes, ask. Can yes. we go back to that? There we go. Um, won't be able to replace this easily. It literally comes from probably the top, I don't know, five, maybe even less um, uh, percent of jadeite carvers in the world. And this is the different techniques that actually go into, car uh, into jade. And it's actually showing a proportion of what's on the market in your, uh, in your uh, like the likes of Sotheby's and Bonhams and places like that. So 46% of it, <coughs> um, the bulk of it is, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that there, um, is basically, uh, um, I can't remember what Jake, Jake actually described Crow as, it, it's, it's hand carved, of course, but not as intricate okay. as what we're looking at here. You spoke about piercing. Yeah, yeah. So that is what's getting these, these yeah. tiny detailed little holes within your Chantilly lace. Calligraphy carving is literally exterior, so almost creating. You can see a little bit of calligraphy carving onto this as well. Can you see just on the surface? Not where it actually mm. cuts through the stone, but there, there we go. As the light oh, catches that. it, that's wow. calligraphy carving. Chain carving are those links. Um, eggshell carving, you're talking about, you know, really, really, really wafer thin. So again, this is actually leaning towards that. But piercing, you can see there, just 24% um, will have piercing. Calligraphy, again, 4%. It has that in here as well. Eggshell, I absolutely think it, it, it sort of qualifies yes, as eggshell yeah. carving. Um, you've got, what's the percentage there? What, 1.4%. Miniature, would you all agree these are miniature? Definitely, so just 1%. Um, I mean, just absolutely incredible to achieve this level of detail. And not just one, Gosh. two. I was imagining that we could do maybe at some point, Wayne would be able to source some jadeite pieces that have gold and silver inlay, but I've just seen on there, 
it's 0.6 percent <laughs> yeah so the fact that having us having that on jewelry maker might not be doable yes mm. uh um they repair jade with gold. i think that's amazing they I literally glue it so back together good. with yeah gold. that's incredible are you ready the auction is open all you need to do is attach is attach your bail jump ring 27 26 the quantity is literally flying out the door yeah, they are the most amazing, amazing. I mean, Susie, mm. guest designer Susie's yeah. got hold of these and she's turned them into some really beautiful earrings. Yeah. yeah, using like a black jade. But what a work of art. I mean, I know that yeah, I, we've, we've, we've seen, I, I love all of our master carvings, but this as, as a level of skill is taking it to a whole other level, isn't it? You know, you know to have something that is maybe quite chunky and solid, and we've shown you Neolithical um, jadeite carvings, which again, very primitively carved, and obviously they didn't have the advancements that we have today, or the House of Suju have today rather. Um, but to actually achieve something that's literally yeah paper thin pay is that that delicate how many pieces do they break well you that's that's yeah, why the prices yeah. tend to be as high as they are because yeah. you normally pay for the loss mm -hmm. so whilst all that carrot weight is being cut away from your type a natural white jade one of the rarest colors in existence you've still got to pay for it yeah you've still got to pay for that loss that's true ollie says i don't know many people that could actually draw that let alone carve it into one of the world's most durable gemstones we're at 499 pounds how about if we took these <laughs> i can see a man's face when you get the right angle if you go up if you tilt it up stop a bit further stop there you can see his eyes Yes. You can see he's like a goatee beard and he's yes. like some sort of Japanese warrior, doesn't he? Or a Chinese yes, warrior. Yes, I can see that. Yeah. Amazing. But look, look as I mm. lean it back. Yeah. Look at that oh, beautiful that's wet stunning. luster. Yeah. It's not physically wet, of course. But it should look like almost a melting ice cube. Ollie's saying, how about this? Wearing it in that direction. Oh, yes. Can, can yeah. it be Skolesk, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's gorgeous too. We're at a hundred pounds per. Oh, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. You can see his nostrils and his little moustache. Oh yes. And then his eyes and then his. Oh look. And also, can I show you? Yeah. It's front and reverse. That carving is on both wow. sides. It's not just the one one side. You get uh, you get double sided. Also, two of. A hundred pounds each, the last remaining Chantilly lace that we actually have available from the House of Suju. There are 14 oh. left, Jane in Suffolk, Anne, RuPaul, Lynn, uh, Tracy, Lindsay, Sandra, Eileen, new customer, Carola, oh. Ayrshire, Cheshire. We're not stopping there. What? Who would like the pair? <laughs> oh no. Under 100 pounds. They are awesome, aren't they? I mean, it's, it, it, yeah, these will sell out. I've said it now. It's going under £100. This is exactly the opportunity that I purchased for my two girls, you know, because I know they're not... Firstly, type A jade. Secondly, it's natural white. Natural white jade, which is one of the rarest colours to get. Remember, Roland Schlusso said that he believes that white jade is going to overtake the price tags um, of imperial jade. These are a pair of earrings. Can you imagine with something like South Sea or Akoya pearls with 18 karat gold class? You are talking luxury high end jewellery. Make no doubt about it. Whilst I've already said that these are going, these are going to under £100 for the pair. Wow. That's no reflection of the true value or worth. No reflection whatsoever. There are just 11 of these left within the vault. What was the name of that? That rock man who fell off the stage recently and broke his ankle. Or I don't know. He yeah, had long hair and a beard. It's quite a, oh, Dave quite Ross. Is that him? Yeah. Dave. Oh, Dave. from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, that's it. Yeah, I imagine 79 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine him wearing that on a leather cord. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, totally. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be so cool. Down to the final nine. 
Lynn, Tracy, Sandra, Jane, Anne, well done, Tracy, Maker, Middlesex, well done to Valerie, London, Marie Claire, new customer, Devon, new customer, Eileen, Carola, Ayrshire, you're there. Don't forget, wow. whilst you're on the web, you can also shop ahead and get hold of your, your early bird, brand new Keshi Pearls, um, alongside your Keshi beads, which are really exciting. Just seven of these left. The level of intricacy, it will never cease to amaze me. Never, ever cease to amaze me to actually get something that is it forms literally within a boulder they can be quite vast they can also be a lot quite, smaller. can i be honest they're quite ugly from the outside yeah, from yeah. A, a boulder well they're a like, ge boulder. like geodes aren't yeah. they they're ugly from the outside yeah yeah and then until you actually sort of start right. chipping inside and you see yeah. the magic same applies yeah. with the jadeite yeah. 79.90 no that's madness 40 that pounds is. each when you say it out loud Did you say like you that. bought these for the girls yeah Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. Um, one, yeah, I literally bought one opportunity, mm, so yeah, yeah, one, one inch. inch. Oh. I haven't done anything with them as of yet. They're going to do really well out of you, aren't they? Jewelry yeah. wise and stones. Do you know, and... it's so weird because at the passport <laughs> office yesterday, like I said, I, I, as soon as I sat down, I recognised the girl behind that was serving me was, was a fan of jewelry. Right. Um, and we got talking, and she was like, I bet she holds up Willow's photo and she was like, I bet she's got quite the collection then, hasn't she? I was like, yeah, she's not done bad. She's got her eye on my engagement ring. And I'm oh, like, Willow, she? no. The only time you'll actually get that is when I pop my clogs. <laughs> um, yeah, she's got her eye Yeah, mother's daughter. <gasps> oh. What, what, ooh? Eileen's bought three. I don't blame you, Eileen. I wonder Eileen. what Eileen's going to do with them. I mean... Even if you do nothing with the Miley, what an acquisition. Absolutely. House of Suju, yeah. Chantilly lace type A jadeite. Suju. 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 Scratch. I know. Oh, wow. Well That's done. pretty special. Well it's like if you everyone. had, if you had, I don't know, a Colombian emerald. Yep. That was cut at Ida Oberstein. Mm -hmm. You would mention that it's Ida Oberstein. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Oh, absolutely. It is, it is. This is Edar Oberstein mm. Emerald. There's a yeah. difference. There is a yeah. big difference. Yeah. There's one of those left. I'll leave it with you. Congratulations. Now, oh. <coughs> a couple of auctions until your early bird comes um, to screen. It's this beautiful Baroque pearl opportunity. Um, it's a full strand of Baroque pearls, but for the first time ever, you have the addition oh. of these amazing Baroque beads, which I absolutely love. They're I love coming the organic up. nature of Me them. Too. Mm. Um, you can shop ahead and, uh, and grab those. It's available on pre-order. Completely and utterly ignore that price tag because it's not going anywhere near $74.99. Is it, Mark? I can't put it quite. So you can, well, I won't say how many of this you can buy for that price, but more than one. Mm. Good change. <laughs> Good change. <laughs> um, okay. If you love your jadeite, is that jadeite? Can I just tell you, this is so blue. Mm. I don't know if it's certified yeah. blue. What size? What size, Ross? Oh, you know six mils? Our favourite, aren't they, really? Yeah. Most people love yeah. a six mil. This is so beautifully blue. One of it the is. rarest yeah, colours actually. to get within jadeite. Oh, yes. And it's not, like a, it's not like a sapphire blue. It's oh. like a glacial blue. I've never done a, a jadeite kiss cross. Oh, can you imagine? With like the not. salon, mm. my Yuki beads. Oh, my word. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Totally natural, type A. I know our graphics don't say oh. it, but I think this is actually dove blue. Would mm. you agree? Yes. Especially look from that distance. How many of you are thinking that looks a little bit Larimar-esque? Yeah, from a distance, actually, yes. yeah, you're from right. From a distance, you've yeah. got that really beautiful, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like a like a very soft, tranquil dove blue. That's what they actually refer to it as, a dove blue. It's natural type A jade. There's ten of these available. I love the way he says that. I know, Ross. Do you want to see a price you're not paying? Not paying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way Ross says L, L. You sound a little bit London when you say L. You're not paying oh. forty-nine pounds and ninety. Oh, I've only got pounds. ten of them. Do you know? I would put this with a kyanite. I'm seeing them sat next to each other oh, over there, and I'm just yes. thinking that does look an amazing combination. Actually, shall I get the six mil kyanites? Beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think they work so well together. Oh my goodness, Mark! Can I make that even? I'd love this as a kit. A more spectacular. Kit. Oh. Anyway, if Alice is watching, I'd love this as a kit. Alice! <laughs> oh my goodness me! These are coming up. That kyanite yeah. is insane. Yeah. Wow. Insane. 
I mean, yeah, imagine those three together. Oh, perfect. I'd love that. I love kyanite rounds. Me too. You know, I've, I only ever buy kyanite when it's in rounds. Uh, me too. I actually yeah, have a bra yeah. I have a That's strand right, you very yes. similar to this. That's right. I yes. bought it the first time it yes. came to air with the yeah. same conversations that I'm hearing in my ear. That's one of the best kyanites I've ever, ever seen. Yeah. Um, I bought it, wow. oh gosh, that would be years ago. Years mm. and years ago. Yes. Yeah. I have just four opportunities, £29.99 at pence. They've sold out. Well done. Wow. One more uh, sneaky peek at your early bird, which is coming up inspired by the wonderful jewellery house that is Monica Veneda, award winning, winning, of course, for many of her amazing, amazing designs. Never have we done um, or created a beautiful bead like these before. Um, well, yeah, it replicates, doesn't it, your gorgeous Baroque pearls. These are coming up. You are okay. guaranteed to get the strand and the three Baroque uh, beads. One auction, but you can shop ahead and pre order on those as well. I mean, what a high end piece of jewelry shall we do those amazing pearls there are just four available and there's wow. no there's uh, you know I'm, I'm not going to try I don't need to try and pretty this up because they are incredible they're magnificent these are giants if you put if um if somebody's googling in there if they put in um House of Gucci, Lady Gaga. Oh, I know what you film, The film poster. It's on, uh, um, is, it, is it on Netflix now or, or Amazon? Amazon. Amazon. Mm. Yeah, and basically. She's amazing. In that she film. is amazing. Incredible. I'm going to pull my uh, best Lady Gaga face. She's like this, isn't she? Cause is she a stern character? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't see, I haven't seen it yet. It's amazing. So good. But she, so House of Gucci. There, oh, there she is. There's the pearl. Sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah. A little, little <laughs> bit of a little bit of a pout there. Hang on. <laughs> no, don't. No. Right, ready. Right, ready. <laughs> okay, right, ready. We just sort of try and do this without laughing. Mm, mm. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> those pearls. That is exactly those pearls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go cross eyed then? <laughs> Not pulling off the Lady Gaga no. at all. But, but they're, they're the the literally those. Yeah, exactly those. Exactly those pearls. And really, she has, yeah. Or, yeah. She has been, I'd say, mm. probably one of the faces to to put them in the limelight, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Ever since yeah. this film, yeah. really, all the biggest jewellery houses in mm. the world are after your Baroque pearls. And yeah. of course, that has increased the demand for them and it has dramatically increased the price tag. Um, listen, I'm not saying we can't get these because we can. However, our suppliers have actually said to us, it's not impossible, it is expensive. So do get hold of your fireball pearls as best as you can. I mean, yeah, uh, so many many of our uh, of our designers will actually say sell them individually absolutely and you would sell yes. them more yeah. one more than what you're going to pay for the whole strand yeah. there are just four of these available we're going to do a close out deal i can't believe this because they are absolutely gigantic i mean look at this some of the biggest That's fireball cool. pearls that i think we've even actually brought to air look at those amazing they look like they're from outer space, don't they? They do. They look like comets. They're All gorgeous. completely and utterly natural. Beautiful lustre. Look at those. Look at that, the metallic sheen. They're lovely, aren't they? It's a perfect The phone lines have gone crazy. Absolutely there are four. Perfect. Now three. Oh no. Let's do it in one price crash. Count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. How Who much a pearl like? did, did he say? Less than fifty pounds per pearl. We are still gonna take it to that close out deal price tag. Oh, even these people are gonna miss out. Look. Yeah. Oh, no. They're some of the biggest that we have in our vault and may ever have. How about today? Oh, no. They are massive. And this is the difference. Please know that these are some of the biggest that we've actually brought you. 22 millimetres 
in size. That's working out at £21.35. What I learned over in Tucson, well, lots actually have been uh, sort of around um, opportunities. There were not a huge amount of fireball pearls or these big baroques. And when I did see them, there was one pearl specialist that actually sort of stands out to me. And I stumbled across her. She was kind of like in a, it's sold out, well done. She was oh. kind of like in a nook um, of one of the big, big events. Um, and she didn't sell the strands. She sold them individually. Oh, did she? Individually, well, and they were well. way yeah. over that price tag. Way, so you'd literally choose them individually, like a, you know, That's like a work. Have of them art. laid out on a tray, and then at your stall have chains yeah. ready, and then choose your, choose, pearl. choose your pearl. Come back in ten minutes, and I'll have it made for you. Free chain, incorporate that in the price of the pendant. Yeah, absolutely. Sell it They're for amazing. what? Sell it for what? You can sell them for three hundred pounds. I know it depends yeah. where. Yeah, yeah. They sold oh, out in seconds. Well Look how many people missed yeah, out. Yeah, I know. It's... Oh, 25 of you missed out. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so, so, so sorry. Yesterday, Wayne was taking lots of requests. He says, if oh. the audience wants them, he'll do his best to give it to them. Oh, okay. amazing. So should we play something from Code? Oh. Yeah, so Kent, oh. Lynette, Christine, Susan, Vivian, Sarah, Patricia, Jenny, Susanna, Tracy, Carol, Eileen, Angela, Faye, new customer, and Deborah. Mm -hmm. If you missed out on those, the only other Baroque pearls of that scale oh, that I can bring you are these. Now, they oh. are natural in colour. Natural in colour. They're not the white, but these are very, very, very rare to get that, as you can see, lilac, but also the papaya shade. Wow. Not bleached and dyed, which absolutely adds to the intrinsic value. We've just searched the entire business. These are the only other Baroque pills that we can actually bring you, which are oh, comparative size-wise. How many do we have then, Ross? <laughs> Nine. Okay. <laughs> So again, if you sold one of those, I love that idea, Mark. Mm, Literally yeah. have them laid out yeah. like they do yeah. in Tucson, and they're yeah. in those. They're in these. Oh, perfect. They're in these kind of boxes, but bigger. Um, so the little white boxes, and basically, yeah, you buy them as individual pieces yeah. as opposed to on a strand, and they were best part of a hundred dollars each. Yeah. In fact, they were all a hundred dollars each. So okay, do oh. what. Take Mark's idea. Sell them individually. Choose your pearl. There's your chain. Come back in ten minutes, yeah. and then you, what would you, what what would you, what would you ask for those pieces? I I probably depending on the size of the pearl between fifty and seventy five. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's too cheap. Yeah, but you only need to sell six, and you've made everything else is profit. And word will get round that if you're selling one hundred and fifty to two hundred pounds, really? it's come more. Company. I'm not good with pricing. I never have been. Should we do a close out deal? This is the only Baroque pearls. There is no sense to this whatsoever. No. We've been very open and shared with you the feedback from our suppliers who have said, look, it's not impossible to replace strands like this. It is very expensive, however, because literally Lady Gaga, House of Gucci, mm, yeah. um, lots of the biggest designer in the world, they want these pearls. There's a collection uh, um, that uh, uh, the, uh, New York City uh, jewelers uh, uses these kind of pills and they command the four-figure mm. four price tag. We've got five of these remaining in the business. And we are going to go lower. <laughs> You'll have a comparative, comparative quantity. I had nine, straight down to four. Use your split pay if you wish. All of you that missed out on the previous strand, it's the only other Brock Pearl opportunity that I can bring wow. to you right now. Naturally coloured. 399 pounds they are absolute giants you know in terms of your fireball pearls just imagine just mm. consider for a second the scale of that of that mollusk that would have created these and that mm. mollusk will only be producing one pearl it's not like like freshwater pearls where they will uh, you might get 10 15 or 20 in one mollusk you will have one or rather i should say hope 
to have one. The investment of time that goes into a strand like this, and you can't guarantee it. You know, it's not one of those things, right, okay, you've gone through the whole culturing process, you must produce a, a beautiful Baroque pearl. It's not guaranteed. This color is not guaranteed. It is all down to the mollusk itself, where it decides, yeah. if you like, to actually sort of secure um, and produce that pearl. Wow, you can get this home today for under 100 pounds. Well done to our collectors. Wow. There's a final one opportunity. Again, you could, okay, let's, even if you did do what Mark said and said, say, 70 pounds, I refuse to say the first <laughs> price tag, 70 pounds per pearl. That is fantastic profit. Yeah. Well, if you saw that in a, in a high street jewelers, just for one on a gold chain, you'd pay 399 pounds. And the rest. And I always, I always think that it's very similar to if you have a glass of wine in a restaurant, the price you pay for a glass is generally the price that the restaurant buy for a bottle. Yeah. That's that's the general thing. So if you're looking at £399 for the strand and you sold one at £399, that's that similar sort of markup. Yeah, uh, of exactly. Brisbane, so, exactly. Yeah. There is one wow. left in four of you uh, with it uh, on the phone lines and also on the web. So there's Alla, there's Maker, and there's a Maker in in uh, in in Kent. Yeah, I love that. Mm. That's so poetic, Ross. Seems like there's a whisper. A whisper of lilac. Lilac. <laughs> like that. Moments. Oh. Oh, well done, Ella. Well done, Ella. You've got yours. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, well done. Now, if you love your pearls, you still want those beautiful quirks and anomalies that you get within Baroque pearls. But maybe you want a slightly more affordable budget. 20% have gone already. Mm. <laughs> First time ever oh, no. we've actually designed a Baroque bead. I love bees. I absolutely love I them. I want this. Anne and Sue, I know Anne you're watching right now. I love that bracelet. Wow. Are we going to do it? How many though do we have, Wayne? Uh, Wayne? Ross, 150 says, but 20% of the stock has already gone. Are you ready for this? Early Bird is up next. I think uh, Monica Veneda has always been a jeweler that I've certainly referenced. In fact, Adam, we kind of make a bit of a joke of it, don't we? How many times will Elsa say Monica Veneda in the show? Um, a lot. I'd say a lot, I do. And, and do you know what? It's not just me. If you look um, across the jewellery world, she's been awarded for her designs. And it really does embrace uh, what sort of Mother Nature offers, natural undulations, beautiful free forms, even down mm -hmm. to her settings, if you like, have. Rather than have sort of a, a traditional prong setting, they have curves. And you'll see it in this photograph of, uh, of a bracelet, which, which was the inspiration behind your early bird this morning. Um, yeah, so you can pop along to Monica Veneda, and I have some of her jewellery as well. Never think that I'm discrediting her, because it, it, it's as a, as a jewelry house because I absolutely am not um, look there's a whole suite you can get the necklace you can get baroque earrings from there um, with that sort of uh, really lovely baroque like shape and then just here look at the bracelet so even down to the clasp itself using the gold is a big part of the design but 170 pounds for that Keshi pearl bracelet there's another necklace again with that inspire oh I love these I love, 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 love these. Can I also put a, um, a request in? Is there any chance we could do bundles of these as well? The only way to get them is in this item, but wouldn't it be nice if we could get maybe 10 Amazing, or 20 of yeah. those as well? Um, watch this space. We'll see if see what we can do. Never before have we done anything like this before. And it makes sense because firstly, you can't simulate a Baroque or a Keshi pearl. Well, you can, but I imagine it gets astronomically expensive because every single Baroque and Keshi will be unique, won't they? They will all, wow. it's all down to the mollusk itself. None of these Keshi pearls, or Baroque pearls rather, are the same as the other. They are natural, organic forms. So, to actually make something like this possible, and they all, you want them to look different, don't you? Absolutely. You don't want them all to have no, exactly absolutely. the same shape. If you're going to put them on a strand of unique pearls, you want them to look unique as well, don't totally. you? Totally. Yeah, they're lovely. So, they will have different free-form shapes. You can get the Keshi pearl, they call it a charm. 
80 pounds <laughs> for one single pearl. So those pearls that you've just had, imagine mm. one of these yeah, on yeah. top of no, it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. I tell you what, if you don't want the charm and you want the entire Keshi necklace that goes perfectly with the bracelet, 275 pounds. You could make that, couldn't you? So easily. Super easy. I must put my glasses on. I've just looked at the screen and I thought that said Monica Vinegar. <laughs> what? what? <I> need... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. Up and coming. She's very up, up and coming. coming. Yeah, yeah. We have 150 <laughs> of these early bird opportunities. Already 20% of the price. Let me look at that price gone. again. Let me look at that price. What, of the necklace? On, on your, oh, on your sheet. sheet. You won't believe yeah. it though, Mark. Are I you almost look. doubting it yourself now? I just don't get it. I just don't get That's it. That's the price of the pearls. And a great price for the pearls. Are you ready? If you love this as much as we do, I'll be getting some of these if there's any available come the end of this hour. The only way to secure these spaces is as part of your early bid. And to be tr truthful, once again, you're better off doing it that way because it means you're getting the pearls in what I think is actually for free. You get 38 centimetres of beautiful natural Baroque pearls, which are not small. I mean, they're actually bigger than the Monica Veneda pearls yes, yes. Um, that are on the that, website. Actually. They're actually yeah. bigger than hers. Plus, you're getting three of these beautiful gold plated keshi beads which i simply absolutely adore they're stunning aren't they they've got nice generous drill holes i mean replicate what a, a lovely Anne and sue have done with this beautiful bracelet or if you wish redesign uh, um monica veneda's piece you look pensive how many pearls on the strand roughly should i count them Let's i'm imagining a pearl mala and having these as the barkers and then a really nice Maybe a Chantilly is pendant. Mm. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Yeah, three strands. So get three. Oh, I've got to nearly let the cat out of the bag then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh, don't do I it. I have to stop myself then. Or, or oh, there's yes. 38. That's coming up, yeah. What about alongside your deal of the day? Yeah. Yes. Imagine these in amongst your deal of the day. Uh, either way, I'm multi-buying this opportunity. It's absolutely beautiful. We've matched the price of that single pearl charm. Matched it. Do you think that's where we're closing? Yeah, I mean, uh. yeah. If you were to take the price of, uh, of each individual pearl on this strand, and times it by the Monica Veneda price, you're talking thousands, 3,040, basically. Wow. A lot, it's a lot of money. I love that little bale. It's beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so cute. Beautiful. Shall we bring you your early bird under 50 pounds? Would you pay 50 pounds for this beautiful bracelet? Without a doubt. Me too, in a heartbeat. It's so beautiful. Gorgeous, 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 isn't it? Do you think that's where we're stopping for your early bird? <laughs> it's not. We've never done this shape of uh, bead before. And it's a lot of work that goes into it. It might go, you might think, oh, okay, well, it's just like a, a sort of, instead of a circle, it's actually a free form shape. Yes, but each of those free form shapes, you want to actually have a, a slight variation of, otherwise it just looks like a shape. You want them to replicate what Mother Nature does in your sort of your Keshi, um, sort of the Keshi or Baroque styles. You want them to have different curves, crevices, undulations. Hello, Rachel. Morning, Alan Mark. These are beautiful. We need different sizes. I've been looking for rice size, uh, for rice pearl size gold beads, but can't find them anywhere. Right, Rachel, leave it with me. Because mm. I think we need to do, I agree with you. I think we need different sizes. Smaller would be nice, larger would be nice. This could be your be new nice. collection. I mean, I, mm. Caroline, this is her, her brainchild, mm. isn't it? Maybe. I think there would be, yeah. be, that's a great idea, Rachel, in different yeah. sizes. But they're absolutely flying out the door. Do you think we're stopping here? <laughs> we so are. Need, so you need three strands, don't you, for your marla? Mm -hmm. So three sets. Yeah. Hold that thought. Okay. How about you can get three sets for under one hundred pounds mm -hmm. with change. 
<laughs> with change. Imagine, I think you've hit the nail on the head. Literally imagine these wigs so as a beautiful, beautiful long line Marla. Yeah. How high end, or if Susie was watching, if Susie's watching right now, she'd be thinking, she'd be getting mm. uber excited about this. They're yeah. so luxurious, so expensive looking, not 30 pounds. And, and of course we've made that beautiful bracelet, but you could make, you could make uh, um, more pieces because you've got a full strand, 38 centimeter strand. Hello June saying, morning Alan Mark, how gorgeous, J and Pills are the best. Totally agree. Totally, well, totally, totally well, agree with you. £29.99. Now, do you remember <laughs> where we started? £74.99. And we've just said we've got you three opportunities for under 100 How about you get three for the price that we first started at? Which was £75. Yeah. Where 25% of the stock already got snapped up. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. If these don't go, come the top of this hour, I will absolutely be jumping all over these. Just having a couple of those gold beads as, as earrings, just simple oh. earring drops, I think would look so elegant. Look at the, I mean, they? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who wants this under £20 today? Honestly. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm with you on it. In one minute, 60 seconds, we will do exactly that. We'll take it under £20. We had 150 opportunities. We definitely don't have that quantity anymore. Lots of you have chosen to up your order as well, from one maybe to two or even three. Uh, Midlands, hello to you. Middlesex, Zoe, Frida, Yvonne, Linda, Lynn, <laughs> Meath, hello to you. Uh, Cheshire, June, Sheila, Vivian, Lynn. You're loving them as much as we are. I think these are absolutely fabulous. And I think, like Rachel said, you could literally scale them up or down. Um, um, I think something we a seed we need to sow to our buying yeah, team. I agree. Hello, June, saying yeah. so thrilled. Just made it before. Um, I have to leave oh. for work. Can't wait to receive these. They're so gorgeous. Oh well, have a good day, my lovely. And I'm so yeah, pleased. Beautiful. Under twenty pounds, June. You've guaranteed your place. Whether you were at the beginning of this auction at the tail end, sit back and enjoy. Nobody is paying twenty nine ninety nine. That's amazing. Oh. Under 20. Yeah. They will sell out. Sometimes you don't believe it till you actually see it in black and white. I know. I get that. And that's why yeah. sometimes we sort of stagger the auctions as well, because, yeah, some people, there's, some people go, OK, I know you're going to give a good deal, so I'll yeah. literally check out nice and early, and everybody pays that final low. Um, but, yeah, some people are very visual and would prefer to see it in black and white, and I totally get that. Totally, totally get that. Look at this. Again, a really beautiful... Um, I love, I, they even talk about it. They actually say, tiny Keshi pearl. Oh, yeah. That's not a good selling tool, is it? Not really. I, mean, I suppose it's not that small. Uh, £150 for a single Keshi. These ladies get paid hundreds and hundreds of pounds for just beautiful having jewelry. their hair done, having their makeup done, just flouncing around wearing nice jewellery and having their photograph taken. You're jealous. in the wrong business. We're, in, uh, we're only jealous, aren't we? We're only <laughs> jealous. Look. Yeah, but she's gorgeous, though, isn't she? She's is beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah. Um, look at that, but £150. Oh. £150 for one. One single cashy. It's madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. Well, it's not madness. We're the ones who are mad. <laughs> Bring it under 20. And these are vermeil. They're not even... Um... No, no. Yeah, they're not solid oh, gold. No. Not solid gold at all. They oh. will be an on-screen sellout. Look at the wow, cool screens. Literally, it's gone nuts. And I can see there is a little bit of a queue. Thank you for bearing with us. Uh, Jean in Bedfordshire, I can see you there. Erica in Carmarthenshire, I can see you there. New customer, I can see you there. Carol, Manchester, Jennifer in London, Margaret, Catherine in Somerset, Betty, Karen. Stay where you are on those phone lines. We had 150 of those. Um, we are down to the final what, few. What you need for these are one of these shaker beads. Sh these are in so the, cool. In the middle of those pearls would look so, amazing. So, so, so cool. They yeah. just scream shop hard. Coming up straight yeah. after the break, we've got gorgeous kits, very different kits as well to mm. anything else that I think we've ever yeah. actually offered. Coming up, very short break, and then we're going to teach you how to make this mm. beautiful jewellery. Mark and I return after this. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I hope you're all well. Um, wow. Sorry, yeah, we're just we're doing a bit of Taylor Swift dancing, aren't we? We were shaking it out, apparently. Shake it off, shake yeah. it off. Sorry, I only know the song because I caught my six-year-old dancing to it the other day, and we caught videoing herself. <laughs> mm, gosh, I, I had to do this little um, piece to camera for Georgia, day before yesterday for Instagram. Mm. Instagram, and um, I. Honestly, the, the expletives. It was, it, I had to do two minutes yeah. to camera, mm. all about why I love making jewellery. Okay. okay. And I think I probably did about 16, 17 takes. Okay. <laughs> Some of the expletives. So I think we're going to make them blooper. That, really, yes, we need we to do a blooper, blooper one. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Mm. Oh, well, the, you don't swear though, Mark, more do you? Pro, yeah. yeah. It's a simple, such a simple question. I and there's know. lots of reasons. Actually, probably mm. the challenge is getting it in two yeah, minutes. Yeah, I gave four reasons, so I didn't do too bad a job. Okay, what are those for? So, um, it's, it's therapy. It's yeah. good for well-being. Yeah. The fact that we're working with gemstones and beads from all over the world, yes. which I think is a privilege. Amazing. You have a set of ingredients, 
and you, you look at it and you make a piece of jewellery. Yeah. Okay. And the fourth one, it's the pleasure you get either selling a piece of jewellery, gifting a piece of jewellery, and you see the recipient wearing oh, and totally feeling nice know. wearing it and what a buzz you get. Yeah, I've been proud. Yeah. Being yeah. proud of, of, of how clever you are. And I've just given you my whole spiel now. And I shouldn't have probably told you any of that. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You Moving heard, on. You heard it here first. Now, we've got the most amazing kits coming up. That's why we stepped into the world of uh, you know, I love getting Swift. kits like this. They're different, Because I never they? get kits like this. Maybe once or twice a year, I get little little mini-make kits mm. or special components in a kit. And you, so, it's, so it's a bit of a privilege for me to get These something These are beautiful. Like very shop art inspired. Right. And I just said to Mark in the break, I said, Sam, gosh, years ago, years and years and years ago, when I not long started presenting on what was our USA channel, we had the uh, something very similar anyway as an individual pendant on what was ah. rocks. Now, and they had these little tiny micro gemstones in, in what was like a sugary solution. So maybe you could make something like that. Wow. And that sugary solution basically meant that you had this snow globe effect no way. it's taking the shop art inspiration to another level yeah. because then yeah. they almost suspended they kind Sounds of floated amazing. around it was genius um and it's never been something that i had mm. entertained that i'd be able to make until i saw these mark i mean these are just beautiful i'm gonna put my hand behind They're so you i think because I, I always think of you with with chain tassels it's the sort of thing that you like isn't it yes very much. That's gorgeous. And inside, what can you see? It's got little, so, so you can put anything in these. You can put seed beads, you can put crystals. So I think I've used the, the gemstones that you get in the kits, and then I've used 15 O's. I've used 11 O's. So you get quite a large drill hole in these little glass beads. Yeah. Um, and then I've also used some little two millimeter Swarovskis that I had in my oh. stash. So um, no, they're amazing. They're amazing. Oh my goodness, they're incredible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this one. That's, oh. that's the Swarovski look. Oh, that, that's <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah, so we've got the Swarovskis in there. Because they're like little bubbles, aren't they, these yeah. glass baubles? You've got yeah. that iridescence. I think it's there's known as fiddle jewellery, is that the term? So yeah. You, so, you, you know, if you're on a train or on a tube or something, you, you, and they make a sound as well, they get that really nice shaky sound. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Mm. Now, there's literally three kits. Um, all of which have a sterling silver chain, mm -hmm. all of which have these beautiful glass yep. balls, bubble beads, bubble yep. beads yep. all of which come with um, multicolored gemstone or different gemstones. But you can add to those gemstones mm. if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and let's talk about, let's show, let's show firstly the actual glass bead itself. So if I put one down just there, they are, oh my word. So I'm assuming that these have been blown. Yes, I guess so. And they are, they're just amazing. And from me, we, do you remember years and years and years ago, old school GM, we used to do coated quartz, do you remember, yeah. with this sort of um, washing up liquid glow about it in colours. Yes. I, think, I think they're just stunning, absolutely beautiful. And they've got, as you can see, I think it's a two or three mil hole at the top and the bottom. And then obviously you need to put something through to suspend it. And then you can just <sighs> fill with your seed beads or your tiny gemstones or your crystals, anything you like. Or you could put fill it with sand or... Oh, of, little or keepsake mem mementos. Little keepsakes. Yeah, absolutely. What a lovely idea. And I'm yeah. just, just trying to show you with that one. There's yeah. the actual top and here's the actual bottom just there. So, yeah. I mean, all of that will be sort of uh, hidden when it's a complete piece of jewellery, but it allows you to add to. Mm. If you look at Happy Diamonds Shopard, they, that's what they do. That's the inspiration to have these beautiful diamonds literally dancing around. And they're called Happy Diamonds. They're called Happy the Diamonds. It's, it's, it's Julia Roberts, who's actually, or, or certainly was, the face of Happy Diamonds. And if you go on their website, there's a picture of her in like a crisp white shirt, literally just dancing around, probably paid fortunes for it. Um, yeah. Uh, um, that's, the, that's the whole inspiration, is the movement that you get from those pieces of jewellery. Now, within this kit, you are also oh. getting amethyst, beautiful micro amethyst. You could, um, you're getting five of those beautiful little glass uh, iridescent balls. So maybe you do one with the amethyst. Maybe you put some of your cut stones that you have already yeah, in your absolutely. stash. Yeah. Your micro strands. Yeah. Anything. You can use your micro gemstone strands. Yeah. And there's the sterling silver chain. You're getting all of this. So maybe 
That's one of your glass yeah. balls attached to your sterling silver chain. But then you've still got four of those glass balls to use elsewhere. Yeah, so the one, so the one on the little bust. The little this one? one? That's the one, yeah, so that's got the little gemstones in and the chain. Oh. And then the others I, I missed. So I was given, we've got an upsell later on of the, of the five metres of this chain so yeah. for the tassels. So. Amazing. You could put little seed pills in here. Yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah. At the end of the day, this, I mean, these are so unique, aren't mm. they? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So beautifully unique. I'm just thinking about if, the, if you were to walk down an artisanal market and someone was, way, uh, was offering these, they would stand mm. out because they're so yeah, different. Yeah. It's the sort of thing that you, that you, you, you sort of probably see somebody with on a navel chain. or oh, And again, we were talking about your malas. This would make an amazing oh, your, yes. your, your tassel topper. And, what about little, yeah. a feather? Putting a feather oh, in nice there. Idea. It's like a memorial piece of jewellery. That's a nice idea. Just one individual, a little white feather. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? So for the first of your kits, wow. £29.99. pence. You've got um, micro-faceted amethyst, a beautiful diamond-cut sterling silver chain, and five of those beautiful, uh, beautiful sort of glass beads, which are six, 16 millimetres, sorry, in size, um, with that AB coating. Like, literally, you've got... like. Uh, bub it's bubbles, mm. quite like nostalgic, bubbles, yeah. aren't no, they? No, they're absolutely beautiful. Imagine these in, diff in different colours as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Really it conjures up images of childhood to me, bubbles no, and things no, like that. Amazing. But again, yeah. you could do maybe one per gemstone, birthstone. Mm. Um, so you've got five here. You could literally, I don't know, uh, my family, I'll use an example, well, Tom's Pearls, um, uh, Willow's Ruby, uh, Tiggy's Citrine, and I'm Sapphire. So you could actually sort of have have one per member of the family. We've got a big quantity of this kit. Very, very different. I said to Mark at the beginning of the show, I think these kits are going to be as successful as the Tuesday's yeah, kits, which yeah. are all but sold out. They're just, they're just great fun. They're absolutely lovely. We've got a big quantity, Mark. We have. With the sterling silver chain. No. With the glass beads times five. With the micro gemstones, what was the price, by the way, of the of that H Samuel's chain that we showed? Thirty-four ninety-nine. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. This is sterling silver. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can shop ahead on the other kits, by the way, because they are all going to the same price. And it is not even stopping at twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, I like the idea of little seed pills in there too. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? I and love. I think I love. The, I love this Swarovski one. I just think. Imagine that out in the sunlight. Oh, so you're going to beautiful. get the sparkle of the Swarovski, and you're also going to get the iridescence of that bead. They are really strong as well. These beads. They're amazing. Yeah, they're not so fragile that you'd be worried to wear oh, them. Oh no, 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 not at all. No, twenty pounds, nineteen pounds, oh. and ninety nine pence only. They're wow. stunning. I don't know, you might have like a, a favourite poem that you could shrink down and create oh. a nice little aged scroll. That's a cute you know, like idea. with the tea bag. Yeah. Create with that. A tea bag. You, did you ever do that in school where you kind of age oh, yeah, paper, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like a treasure bag. map yes. and things yes. like that? Oh, yes. Did you do that as in kids? You could literally <laughs> shrink it down. That would be super yeah. sweet. You could do birthstones in there. You could put feathers in there. Um, oh, you could Aww. just literally go to town with all of your beautiful micro gemstones or uh, Mayuki beads. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Unbelievable. Would anybody? Right. This is my favourite. No surprise because I am a green person. Mm. But okay. So if I saw this, hang on. I've shaken my tassel now. <laughs> if I saw this at an artisanal market, never in a million years would I assume that that was twenty pounds. Never, no, ever, no. ever in a million years. But the reality is, you could make this multiple times over. Okay, you got to add your chain. One of the reasons why we brought you a mm. closeout deal on sterling silver chain earlier on today. Half the stock is gone. Do you fancy squeezing margins? Squeezing margins? Yeah. Oh. We already have squeezed the margin. But See the one next door to that one, with the smaller bust? Yes. I use, I've had these strands forever, and it's um, microfaceted spinel, oh. but the, the, um, the coloured spinel. The coated spinel. The coated spinel, yeah. 
And it's just it's oh just look at those, Mark. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, because yeah. not everybody feels confident using your micro strands, no. do they? No. Whereas, can you see inside in there. little yeah. little faceted micro spinels? Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favourite. I love that. And I've, all I've done is just top and bottom. I've just used the faceted hematite as well, which I Beautiful. thought was really cool. So this is a really good way of using up your, your tiny little beads that you've got in your stash because you're not threading them. You're actually popping mm. them in in the bead and encasing them. And, and you I can get that little sound, that little shaky sound as well. They're lovely. Shall we try and do it? Hang on. Let me see if you can hear this. Right, ready? Can you hear it? Oh, that is. No, it's lovely. I think it's that's a lovely such sound. Fun. No, it's lovely. Now, if you count the hollow glass as five separate components, and then the amethyst, and mm -hmm. then the sterling silver, that's less than two pound fifty <laughs> per component. Two pound fifty. So oh. many people will be going. Oh, I could put this in. In fact, text in your ideas. Wow. Shop oh, ahead yeah. on the other kits. What What are you going to put in your additional glass balls? Is it going to be? Um, is it going to be your micro gemstones? Hello, Chantal, saying, uh, I'm going to put oh. birthstones of my family that are no longer with us. What a lovely idea, That's nice. Chantal. That's a really lovely idea. You can even put them all in one, couldn't you? Yeah. You might be, uh, be able to gold or silver Ooh. leaf. Great idea, Hazel. That's amazing. In a solution, would you put it in a solution? The other two kits are available on pre-order, um, so do shop ahead. You can see the only difference really is a variation mm. of the gemstones that are included. So shop ahead and you can pre-order those. Um, are you matching the price then, Ross, on all three kits? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, have a little look at maybe a solution. So you might be able to create or make even like a sugar solution. And I'm going to suggest that, that they started at £30, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So the money that you're going to save buying the kits, just bear in mind the reel of chain we've got coming up uh, to, make, to make your tassels. To make your tassels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This Again, it's coming up within this hour, but also perfect Mark's kits, but also perfect for your deal of the day. Five meters of 95 oh, sterling chain. silver chain. I love this chain. Um, the deal of the day pearls are beautiful. They've been, uber, well, we sold out of your early bird pearls. Um, lovely addition to that too. They're coming your way. Don't forget as well your kyanite rounds, which are just utterly, utterly awesome. Um, okay, Mark. I'm, I'm right. intrigued because these are so different. We'll need to know how we actually put them together. Marvellous. Okay, so first thing, I've got my reel of chain. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So I'm going to do the tassel first. Is there a bottom? The bottom of what? Of the, of the glass bead. I'm going to do the, 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 the bottom of the piece of jewellery. Oh, okay. And then, and then, and then work Sorry, up. Sorry, yes. Because I'm was, I was going to do the tassel first. So, okay. so I've got a piece of 0.4 millimetre wire. Mm -hmm. because that fits in the little links in your chain, which is quite hard to believe, but it, it goes on quite well. So what I've done is I've, take, I've made a simple little overhand loop. So if you can see the little, I should have changed my colour map really. So you can see the loop colour at the top, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I might get my head in shot for this bit, I hope I'm going to try not to, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the end of the chain onto my finger and I'm going to take the end of the wire Okay, and pop it through the link at the end. Okay, so that feeds on. And then the next thing you're going to do is with your flush cutter pliers is you need to choose the length of your tassel. So I think I went for about five centimetres, five or six. Yeah. So all we're going to do is just we're going to cut through our tassel. So no silversmithing, no soldering Nothing or anything at all. like that. And then the next thing you need to do is, because I cut with my flush cutter pliers, you just need to feed it through to the end and make sure that you've got, you finish with a whole link rather than a half cut link. If mm -hmm. you do get a half cut link, just rub it in your fingers and the half link will fall off onto your mat. Okay? okay. So I'm going to take my next piece of chain and just make sure that your first piece that you popped on doesn't come off. And then you're just going to stab down into the last little link, feed that on. Normally I get a lot closer to this. Yeah, you're doing it at arm's length. I'm doing it at arm's length. Yeah, so I'm just going to go down and pop it on. Jimmy, can we go to camera two so Mark can put his head over it? Sorry, even with, my, okay. even, even with my specs. <laughs> no, no, 
it's all good. Sorry. Only because I can't, I'm just, I wouldn't be able to do it at that distance either. Yeah, no. Sorry. So I'm just going to pop that on. And go it's through. fiddly, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so if you've got your little ham magnifying glass, it might be a, it might be a better. I got the first one on. I got the first one on straight away. I'm just going to go to the very Being end. difficult now, isn't there it? There we go. Thread that on. Okay, so we're going to thread that on, slide it down. And what I did, again, once you've got your next piece, we're going to go down and we're going to cut it off. And what I did for my tassels is, I, is I, I think I did seven or nine mm -hmm. pieces because you want that really nice movement. Okay, I won't, I won't thread any more on. It's not the best TV. Okay, I think, I think it's nine, nine but here's pieces one I you used. prepared earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier. So they've all, they all fit through really easily. But as I said, I need to get, get quite close and as I said, it's not the best TV. So you're going to thread as many of your, your chain on as you want to, to make your little tassel. And then first thing we're going to do is we're going to close the loop. So I'm just going to make a simple coil, maybe two or three little coils. And that's your first part of your tassel attached. Okay, so that's our tassel. So as I said, imagine that we've got multiple pieces on the end. So then you need to decide what you're going to fill your little bead with. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, because it, it shows up quite well, I'm going to use some 15s. So I've got three different colours of 15 O's. So I've got a purple, oh. I've got a bright fuchsia pink, and I've got a silver. So it doesn't matter that they get mixed up because they're going to get mixed up in the bottle, in the uh, little bead anyway. Yeah, you want that. Yeah, okay. So at the moment, that, as you can see, that hole is quite large. So anything you put through will just come out the other end. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we need to decide how we're going to start and finish. So what I'm going to use one of these little, any excuse, one of these little Swarovskis I found in my stash. And then I'm going to use a hematite round. And the hematite round, this is a four mil. And the four mil I found from experience is perfect that it's going to go through mm -hmm. and it's going to block up the end so nothing is going to fall out. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can put a tiny piece of glue yeah. around the base to hold that in position, but I, I didn't do that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it up upwards. I'm going to bend the wire over to one side. Okay. So you can see that we've got the wire going through the center. You can see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then all we're going to do, now this, is, this isn't science, is I'm just simply going to pop the beads over the top and you can see that that hole is large enough. I think 15 O's is a really good size for this sort of thing. So, so any of your odds and ends that you've got of your 15 O's in your stash or any of your little micro crystals, you're just going to fill up. You can have great fun with this. And you could literally fill it up as well if you wanted to. Yeah. Oh yes, absolutely. And you can use, you can use 11 O's as well. Um, but sometimes, especially if you place the 11 O whole side up, it's the perfect size for the bead. So I found that if you twist the 11 O sideways, it mm. pops straight into okay. the hole. Hello, Debbie. Is uh, Debbie's asking, please, is the reel of chain going to be offered for sale too? Love the design. Stunning. Yes. It certainly is. It certainly is, is Debbie. Amazing. Watch this space. We've got two more kits to actually show you. Um, they are available on pre-order, just while you're scooping, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the next one is your multicolored gemstone. I've tidied it all away. I've been too e uh, efficient, haven't I? <laughs> There's all your lovely um, AB glass beads. And again, here's your lovely sterling silver chain um, that you're getting. So the only difference is the color of uh, the different varieties of your gemstones. So you've got a selection of them in here. Um, Multi-gems. Multi so I can see, let me see, smoky quartz. I can see some really beautiful amethyst. Uh, I can see peridot. Would you say peridot? I think so. There's some little peridots in there as well. Rhodolite. Wow. Peridot. White zircon. Tourmaline. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful variety of gemstone. You know it's not stopping at £29.99. pence, And you know it's not stopping either at nineteen ninety nine because oh, we yes, did say they were all right, going to the same right. <laughs> It's a fab idea, isn't it? A great design. No, they're very clever. And as I said, the glass is very, very strong. It's, it's wonderful. And I think the fact that they've all been, I would imagine that they've all been hand blown, uh, I'm sure. So what's the, do we know what the maximum two mil. size bead? Two mil. Have? Yeah, yeah. 
So all your micro, little microfaceted. So your yeah. two mil beads will go through. Um, you might go slightly larger if they're plain rounds. Yep. I've used faceted, so you can get two mil faceted in. You can get 11 OC beads in, and obviously anything smaller than that. But I found 15 O's, or a little two millimeter. Um, as I said, I had some coated spinel that were just perfect. Because last perfect. thing you would want to do is maybe try and force something a little yeah, yeah. bit larger no, and it obviously damage the bead. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't want to do that, would you? So yeah, we're going to suggest maybe two millimetres um, for this. It's not stopping at £19.99. It is going even lower. Make sure you check out. Have you... Uh, oh, yep, look. I've just done that. So if I, satisfying. If I just tilt it? it sideways, you can see that we've got... So we've got the beads. So that's probably half, half filled in there. So if you wanted that shaky sound, you'd stop there, but yeah. you, you can absolutely fill it. What, you, what I thought would be really nice is, you know when you go abroad and you get those little glass jars with layered sand pictures yes. in? You could do that maybe. Or... That's a nice idea. Yeah. Okay, so we've, so we've got our, our bottom, we've got our chain attached, we've half filled our, and then all we're going to do is replicate the other side. So I'm going to pop on hematite first, and then one of the little crystals. So that's nicely in position. Okay, so you can see. Okay, so you've got the top replicated with the bottom. Yeah. And all we're going to do is we're going to finish off our. Oh, you need to put the top. earrings as well. Absolutely. Though. This is. I thought of you actually because you quite like the tassel chain, the chain tassels, I do. don't you? Okay, and then we're going to finish off, straighten that out, and then we're going to cut our end off like so. And then all I've done to finish is I've popped a jump ring mm -hmm. and then fed the chain on. So if I give this little, there we go. So if I, I hold that in like, so there we go. Beautiful. So you get that really nice movement. You get the, the colours of the, of the sea bits. But if you've got 15 it's odds and ends of your 15s, use those I think they're the most I think I think that's the joy that with these yeah. kits you are actually getting five of those glass exactly yeah, as yeah. well so yeah, that absolutely. you can I mean yeah. most of us will have uh, yeah. um, strands yeah. or um, that you could put in this as well yeah. two millimeter strands for sure are uh, just gorgeous and you can make that really five times over the chain is coming, coming up, up. Yeah. Very, very, very different. I mean, like I said, I recall um, probably about eight years ago, maybe even more than that, us doing individual pendants. In fact, Adam, you might remember them. They were like, oh, they were almost light bulb shaped and they had that solution and with loose gems. Do you remember them? Um, and literally, they're so similar, so, so similar fun, to aren't these. They? Yeah, well, they're ace. Beautiful. And that's it, once you've got your, your, your nine pieces of chain, that tassel, it's just so liquid. I love, this is probably one of my favorite chains. And you've seen that, um, I made a bit of a hash because I couldn't get close enough to it, but it goes on the links on your 0.4 wire, which is all you need. You don't want anything heavier than that. No, I agree. It, I agree. They're just beautiful. Well, and also if you did solder it, then I should imagine that's going to make it even, well, less likely to sort of move mm. in the way it would do just looped yeah. on a, uh, yeah. looped on to... No, that's uh, nice. Well, great the wrap time. loop at the bottom just there. £16.99. These That's kits amazing. are absolutely flying. Yeah. I mean, how do you even, again, put a price tag on a pendant like that? It's a really what I also really like as well is once you get the um, the reel of chain, this, this must be some high-end designer. All you're going to do is take one of your... Is take your chain. I was going to say, would it feed through? And just have <gasps> that, and just have that oh, yeah. on a chain. <laughs> You know, and you've still got space if you wanted to, to put some stones, because if you're wearing it horizontally like that, they're going to sit at the base of the bead. And like so you get, you get that same sort of look. Could you seal either end some way, maybe with a little bit of your glue, so you that could. you've still got the movement inside? Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. I know it's not going to literally slide up and down the chain mm. like that, but you could, you could literally glue it so it's sealed. So it's sealed in, yeah, and you could do, you could put all five on a chain and have a sort of a, um, by, oh. the, by the yard necklace or something like that. So that, call that, it I think it's great. Fun. Call it blowing bubbles. Yeah. Or something like that. It's nice. That's Forever nice blowing idea. bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, amazing. Now I've got one more kit to bring you. These are very, very, very popular. I can't say I am surprised at all. Um, this one, again, the only thing I have to swap out, the only difference is the actual gemstones that are included. Uh, this, you do get five. One's actually hidden behind there. So there we go. We put it that I way. Love these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Plus your beautiful diamond cut chain. These have got red garnet in them. They are little one millimeter stones. Um, 
Uh, imagine those alongside some little two mil pearls. Mm, that'd be amazing inside. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I know you already know. They're 20 inches, by the way, the chain. It's a 20 inch cable chain. You know we're not stopping there. It's a birthstone. And we had a message, didn't we, into the studio um, saying, uh, saying, you know, okay, these are going to be sort of my uh, lost loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> what year was it? What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, if you just, you've had a conversation and I don't know what was said. What was said? I've just heard the price of the chain. That oh? Is, that's ridiculous. Coming up after this kit. Now, this kit oh. is limited, though. There was only 80 of this kit. Right. In the red garnet. For all you January babies out there, or just garnet lovers. I love mm. garnet. I'm not a January baby. I love garnet as well. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Again, you go, you you walk into Samuel's, you, you wouldn't be, get a sterling silver chain for that price, though. No, no, absolutely not. Let That's alone these cool. gorgeous little bubbles, um, these beautiful AB bubbles, and also the carat weights of your gemstone, um, flying out the door. Love it, and I can't wait also to see your your pieces of jewellery because they are glass and it's not heavy, is it? No, not at all. They no, would be lovely in earrings. Not. They'd be perfect for earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've put them on large jump rings, you see, all you need to do is open the jump ring and make your earring if you wanted to. Oh, oh yeah, let's see what it's like. With a an, with an side up do and just wearing just wearing one. Oh, yeah, very elegant. Oh, they're That's the pretty, New Year's aren't Eve earrings, they? aren't they? Yeah, they're your They're going to get some attention. Love it, love it, love it. Unbelievable. Even like little faceted, mm. micro faceted zircons you could put in there. Yes. All oh, of yes. the above. Because yes. we've had micro zircons, haven't we, in yep. the past? Yeah. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. The chain is coming up. So for those of you that were thinking, yeah, okay, that's it. Got to have that beautiful chain to actually oh. make that. It, it, it's so wonderfully fluid. The luster that you get, the, the quality of the chain, quite frankly, is why you have that lovely uh, fluidity. Now, the reel is coming up, uh, coming up next. <coughs> it is a star by opportunity, and you literally saw Mark's reaction to the price tag. So, make sure you're ready. How many do we have? 200. Oh, especially for Mark's kits. They're all going into this one star by opportunity. And I actually think they're all going to sell out. Mm. We'll be back after this. Okay. Do you know, one chain, a chain isn't a chain. Do you see where I'm, it isn't just a chain and there is a difference between one chain and another chain. Does that make sense? Yeah. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> because whilst I say, okay, make a comparison, a comparison with your high street jewellers and they can bring you great chains. They can. But what you're about to see is diamond cut precision. This is a luxurious chain, and certainly the fact that sterling silver is the most lustrous of all your precious metals. This physically feels like silk, doesn't oh, it? And once you get more than one, if you get, as I said, I've, I think I've done nine layers in the tassel. It's so, it's just like liquid. Look it's at that. It's so fluid. No, it's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. And that is a, I think this is probably the brightest silver I've worked yeah, with. Yeah, the most lustrous. Yeah, no, it's incredible. I Diamond think that, that's solid cut. silver. It's incredible. <laughs> Beautiful. A yeah. veil of luster in precious 925 sterling silver. So these are those big, um, what did you call those pearls, the big ones? The Brock pearls. Yeah, what were they? Fireballs. Fireballs. So if you imagine a fireball with this tassel underneath on the yeah. long line navel length chain. Oh, unbelievable. Oh. Unbelievable. I've, I've actually seen chains like this being made. Being the, made? Yeah, it's, it, wow. it's fascinating. And they're all Italian machinery. Right. Because they are known oh, yes, to create the best. Yes. And it's like knitting or crocheting with these big, vast wheels of precious metal. And you just see it literally, intricately. To make being something as delicate as, as this. As delicate as this. Wow. But 
but then they're polished and cut with diamond cutting wheels. The intricacy and the level of skill that goes into this is unbelievable. Now, we're going to introduce the graphics. There are 200, but to make it fair for everybody, we're going to do a 60-second countdown. Oh, uh, this is probably one of the best deals you'll see on 925 Sterling Silver Chain. The fact they come on a spool like this obviously yeah. means cost-effective, you're not cutting any um, anything off your complete chains. It's essentially 10 18-inch mm. chains with some left over. Yeah. So if, even if you look at it that way, okay, I'm buying 10 sterling silver chains. And yeah. when you actually work out the individual price per chain, it is madness, absolute yeah. madness. Look at that beautiful luster, 10 grams of 925 sterling silver. Look, it's it, even when it's just literally wrapped around a reel like here. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not meant to look beautiful like so, but it can't help itself. And that is down to that absolutely pristine luster that you get um, oh, with exem uh, exemplary chain, really. Like I said, there's one chain and then there's another chain and they can be vastly different. And it is all down to the level and the quality of the craftsmanship that has gone into its creation. 200 of these were available. Straight away, 10 collectors, well done. And we've seen that, I've, I've shown you live on air that you can get your point four wire through the end, so you can attach your... You don't you, need you, to sell You solder. can attach your clasps yeah. easily. So which tells me featherweights will go through as well. Featherweights do, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I could literally featherweight, wrap loop directly a clasp onto this if I wanted to. And imagine to. two inches of chain and a pearl, two inches of <gasps> chain and a pearl, two inches of oh. chain and a pearl. You can do all these the amazing things. The of the day designs. would be perfect then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's the yeah. most cost yeah. effective way of sourcing your, your chain. It is, because you're not cu cutting anything off, something that's already actually complete no, and no. made. Um, it's, it's, it's really the best possible way to actually create a 925 sterling silver tassel, because as we said, effectively you're getting uh, 10, 18 inch chains with extra. Um, but, I mean, we're at 20 pounds per meter. That means straight away, even if we were to stop here, that's 10 pound per diamond cut chain. That's not bad, is it? Do you think that's where we're stopping? <laughs> no way near. No way near. 50 has gone already. Well done. Thank you for the, you know, for, for, for the faith in the deals that we will provide for you. There is a bit of a phone uh, queue building on the phone lines. If you can, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If not, bear with our lovely call centre and they will get to you as soon as possible. I mean... So you've just saved £13 on each of those kits. Yes. So just saying. OK. £13. Mm-hmm. How about what, sorry? Mm. 15 pounds per meter. So wait a minute. We're now talking about seven pound 50 per chain. How much per meter did he say at the moment? 15 pounds. 15 pounds. And we're going to a meter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. In fact, remind I'm me what. Desperate remind to me what, I'm, remind me what, I'm desperate yeah, that's to madness. Blurt it Start out. dialing I know, through. I know. That is madness. Okay, can I can I make a can I make a comparison with something that we have done? I've done on air for you guys before. I've brought you meter long lengths of chain, but as a deal of the day, I've done it mm. for the past probably five years when we start, started actually introducing the meter long lengths. Yeah. First time Colin actually joined me on our, on our screens. Then they were 24 pounds. Then we did something utterly bonkers where we brought that um, length of chain to under 15 pounds, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, I remember. That meter long length at under 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. Just remember that, just remember that. That's 15 pounds per meter. <laughs> How about we now start working towards under 10 pounds a meter? Mm. So we are comparing directly with ourselves. 10 pounds per meter. Five pound per 18 inch chain. And we're still no way near. No way near. It is easily the most cost effective way of purchasing 
purchasing and making chains, bracelets, but also gives you the opportunity to make these beautiful yeah. sterling silver tassels. Just, just for tassel making, I think this is worth. Yeah. Because it can transform every single piece of jewellery that you own. Totally. There's a pearl necklace there. Can you reach across or, or not? Ah, oh. sorry. So imagine that, but with the, with the chain tassel. That just being Oh my goodness just me. Because you've got the silver, which will pick up around the necklace. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, full on sterling yeah. silver, heavy tassel. 10 grams. Mm. I think you'll spend all your time just playing with it though, just yeah. feeding it through your fingers. And I think, yeah, yeah. Is that our, is that our star by price? No. <laughs> is it anywhere near? Nope. Do you think we've got enough of these to go around? Nope. <laughs> oh, we had 295, we've no. already gone. Well done. Five metres. And I'll say again, that I think this is the, <laughs> the, the shiniest, brightest silver I've used. Bar none. It's mirror-like, it's, it's isn't it? beautiful. Mark, yeah. it's getting silly yeah. now, isn't it? Look, I, I uh, personally have been on your screens and brought to air a metre long length of 925 sterling silver chain and we took it to £14.99. I've done it and it's been one of our busy, one of our biggest auctions. Do you remember that actually? We did about 2,000 quantity of metre long length chains and it was just under £15. I didn't think we'd ever be able to beat that saving, ever. How much is this working out at per metre right now? £8. Eight pounds a meter. If you want to start thinking about how much it is per 18 inch chain, four pounds. What about bracelets? Five bracelets to a meter. It's 25 bracelets. You're going to make a sterling silver bracelet for how much? One pound 59. Look how bright that looks. I mean, that's just amazing, isn't it? That is. That is that is so bright. It's just beautiful. And in all honesty, you make more than that as well because mm. you've got a factor in the clasp. As well, yeah. Oh, look at that. I just love the way, the fluidity of it. It's just It is elegant. beautiful. Mark, yeah, I, I didn't think I'd ever be able to beat, beat that, that price point. Where we had 2,000 quantity and I brought a, a massive auction. If I had 2,000, they'd, I think they'd sell today. Oh, no. <laughs> Less than 10 pounds per meter. Four pound per eighteen inch chain, or one pound fifty nine per bracelet. I'm still not done. <laughs> Honestly, this is madness. Are you sure, Ross? Are you sure we have as sure as he's ever been? He says I've brought an auction to air, two thousand quantity. It was the biggest quantity that I've ever sold on Jewelry Maker. Can you remember? And we sold them at fourteen pounds ninety nine for a metre long length. Do you remember it? Yeah. Here we. Here's um. I've just popped this on. I popped it on first time, Matt. This is this TV law, isn't it? So that, that's your point four. So, yeah, Look at that. Amazing. Feeds on direct yeah. to, your, uh, yeah. to your silver wire or a or featherweight, featherweight headband. Absolutely, yep. The mad thing is, Mark, <laughs> Ollie's just pointed this out. Price of sterling silver's get, still going up. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I know it makes no sense. I know it makes no sense. The only difference... I guess, and this is literally me stipulating right now, is that we buy quantity that justifies these yeah. kinds. And we don't work off the margins that many jewellers do. We don't. That's the only reason I can explain it. Other than that, I'm stumped. Because actually, 14 99 for a metre is pretty awesome. <laughs> Today, five metres of beautiful, mirror-like luster, diamond-cut chain, for twenty nine ninety nine. Wait. That's silly. What's that per metre? Six pounds. Six pounds a metre. That's amazing. That's one pound nineteen per bracelet. Mm. Or three pounds per eighteen inch chain and leftovers. Mm. Look at the call screens. You recognise well how good that deal is. You wait till you get this home and just see how bright 
this chain is. Yeah. I, I think that's the first thing I noticed was how bright it is. And that's all to do with the diamond cutting, isn't it? Of course, yeah, it mm. is literally a mirror. Mirror like, yeah. well done. If you see your names or, uh, name on here, I don't blame you for getting involved. It's an absolutely ludicrously low deal in the best possible way. I don't blame you for multi-buying. You go off, dis massively disappear off the bottom of the call screen also. Um, those of you that have in your basket, so I've got literally three full rows of names. If you're on this side, you need to check out as soon as you possibly can, otherwise you will miss out. There was only 200 of these. Mm. Um, Elizabeth, you want those five? Check out mm. Dorothy, Debbie, Anne, Carol, Anne, Bernadette. If you don't check them out, you may well miss out on this opportunity. Um, 200 were there. Not anymore. Definitely not anymore. So again, mm. do you remember that auction? Text in if you do. We had 2,000 quantity. We sold the meter long, sorry, Mark, the meter long lengths of chain and melted mm. the phone lines because they were under, it was under 15 pounds. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we've just gone to six pounds per meter. That's amazing. Gemma Crow's That's body awesome. chain. She made yeah. it of base metal yeah. because it's expensive. Yeah. She doesn't have to today. You, you can literally make it on 925 soon. Look at all these tassels. Mm. Mark, have I got enough to make all these tassels from this spool? Yeah, and I had. I, I, can you see, I was trying to. So this is what I had left. I was trying really hard to just push the, the, this chain across so you can actually see the spool under, I don't think you can see, I don't think you can see the spool. Yeah, this is what I had left. Probably, so you, probably two thirds I had you left. You probably make yeah. your jewellery three times over then. I'm just trying to pull the chain. No, I can't do it. I can't, no, you can't see the spool. There's so much left on it. It's just, the, I'm not going to say the brightness again. I've, <laughs> I've said it hundreds well, of times. Well, look, even from this distance, you yeah. can see how bright it is. It's just the fluidity of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the perfect chain for that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my word, look how it literally follows literally yeah. the, cor the, the curves, if you like, of my, of my fingers. You can see mm. it, can't you? Beautiful. Hello, Jill. Ooh, got my gorgeous chain. Thanks, guys. Excited to get this home. It's amazing. Well done, Jill. Mm. Well done. And that's an incredible deal. Well done to our buying team. I don't yeah. even know how or even sh should we have done it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure because it doesn't make a lot of sense. And I always, do you know, you always get questions after auctions like this and you've got people who message in and sort of say, well, yeah, how do you do that? And, I'm, and generally, this is going to be my response. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they've done it. Even with, even with, yeah, thank goodness, it's not, it's not my job because the still, silver buying is actually a real challenge um, at the moment. It has gone up. Don't take our word for it. Look at the bullion yeah. market trends. So what it's, I said earlier about the, um, about the kits, if you save £13, which we, which we shouldn't have done, mm. so that's costing you £17 now. <laughs> Yeah, if you take that into consideration. Ah, uh, I see what you yeah. mean. So that's three pound a meter. How much would you charge for a piece of like jewelry like this? Um, Don't be silly now. With gemstones in the in the inside. Oh, whichever. Yeah. Okay, let's go for gemstones. Let's, let's go then. this one because it's got the spin out. Um, Forty-five pound. Mm. Oh, I, I think mean, they'd fly. I, I think, think they would fly. fly as well. What I would do, you see, is I would have lots of tassels made with the mm. jump ring attached. Mm laid out on a mat and then I'd have these little balls with different colour stones or different colour gems or birthstones and then the person would choose their little glass ball and then while they're pottering around I would then make up the ball with the tassel on the chain as a piece. and so they've basically so chosen. So their input yeah they've got yeah, their, their yeah. oh and it means all the yeah. more then doesn't it what a genius idea if you do artisanal markets or mm. stalls or anything like that what a great idea because straight, we, we are naturally, we're like, we're, we're like putty cats, aren't we? We're naturally yes. inquisitive. Yes. Do you know, I had this thought the other day, because I really, really did love doing craft fairs, and, and I just haven't got the time to do them now. So what I was thinking was putting out a post on Facebook, asking if there's anyone in the local area doing a craft fair that I can do it with. <laughs> Just be, at their, just be at their table for a couple of hours and, and enjoy the, the, the enjoy the craft fair thing again. Special just guests. Just that experience. Or, yeah, because I really love it's the interaction. Because, it, because, you know, working from home, I only see Andrew and the postman in a day. And, and when you're doing, I oh know, it's a tough life. Um, <laughs> and, but when you're doing craft fairs, you know, you meet hundreds of people. Yeah. And, and it's, just, it's just being out in the public again. It's just, it's just oh, amazing. my goodness. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the Puddy Cats, don't forget. And the Pussy Cats, yeah. Thomas and Ripley. Is that all? That's all we got oh, left. No. The final 45 out of 200. 10 grams of sterling silver. Madness, madness, madness. You don't need to be a silversmith for this. No. You can use your featherweights and your point four, as Mark has actually shown. Um, it works perfectly with your kits. Perfectly with your kits. It's going to work beautifully with your deal of the day. Oh, my goodness me. I can't quite believe we have just brought you. It's working out at six pounds per metre. Have we ever done that before? No. I think I think it's the fact you can attach wire to this makes all the difference. Totally. I really do. Just because you can use it as as um as an ingredient. Totally. Yeah. Madness. Absolute madness. And that's why the call screens have gone nuts. There's just 14 of them left. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. What well, on Venice? Hello to Gillian. Hello to Sandra, Mary, Maker in Northamptonshire, Jennifer, uh, Jeanette. Well done to you. Hello to Anne. Aww. Oh, Mark. You can guest star on my stand any time. I couldn't compete with Anne's stall. Anne's stall is staggering. It's, it, 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 it's so high-end, Anne's yeah. stall, isn't it? And it must take you hours, Anne, to set that up. I think Anne and I would just stand behind the stall gossiping, I think. She's I a good person to chat to, is Anne, isn't yeah, she? Yeah. <laughs> what would you talk about? Sue and the Osmonds. <laughs> <laughs> All the insider gossip on Sue. FYI, Sue loves yeah. the Osmonds, yes. particularly Donny. Mm. Particularly Donny. Aquaman. Yeah. Talk about Aquaman. Aquaman? Oh, no, it's not. It's Peaky Blinders, isn't it? Peaky what? Blinders, they like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Who likes right. Peaky Blinders? Sue apparently likes Peaky Blinders. Oh, does she? Mm. And where's Aquaman come into this? Oh, it's got it wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> Peaky oh, no, 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 Michael, Michael, you're right. She, yeah. she has a Jason Samoa calendar in her office. Oh, uh, well, that's was, right. Um, uh, the guy from Peaky Blinders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Killian be fair. Murphy. Killian Murphy. Yes. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. very, very easy on the eye. Yeah, I can appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that. Oh, let's talk Aquaman. Anyway, make sure you check out your baskets. Congratulations, everybody. Still so much to bring you in today's show. Your beautiful deal of the day is not just one strand of pearls. It's oodles of pearls in all their different varieties. You've got seed pearls, baroque pearls, potato pearls. And I just love that. This gorgeous jewellery that Anne and Sue have created for you all. Plus, you've got your last chance saloon on your Cleopatra pearls. Now, if you don't know what Cleopatra pearls are, I should shall explain. I had to oh. research it as well because I didn't know. Um, so I was like, oh, that's interesting. Why are they called Cleopatra pearls? There is a reason. So those are coming up as and well. And the kyanite. And, oh, oh, my word. Yeah. Yes. Can't wait. Yeah. The best kyanite um, we have ever, ever, ever seen. These are completely and utterly natural. Completely natural. They're coming up as well um, throughout the course of the show. Your 12 o'clock masterclass, the launch yeah. of Ombre Chord. It's going to be mega. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Wow. Still to this day, the gemstone that I personally spend the most money on here at Jewelry Maker, and this has been the case for years, is pearls. I adore pearls, don't you? You can just do so much with them. And the fact that they work with absolutely every single outfit mm -hmm. and occasion. Absolutely. And every generation, every age. There really every was. sex. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. There, is, there was no truer yeah. statement made than the statement that is, pearls are always mm. appropriate. Mm. No, absolutely. And was that Grace yeah. Kelly that said that? I think okay. it was. Chanel, was or was it, it Chanel? It might have been Chanel, was it? They literally yeah. are always appropriate. Whether you look at, I don't know, your Hollywood icons like Marilyn Monroe, mm. like Grace Kelly, or whether you look at your modern day style icons, they're always on the red carpet. Mm. Every time. No, absolutely. Yep. Even as a youngster, you know what a pearl is. Yes. <laughs> and you always think, at a young age, you see someone with a strand of pearls and you think, how oh, expensive. <gasps> yeah. Straight away. Yeah. Isn't it funny? We have been spoiled at JM with our pearls. We really have. But how do we keep, yeah. how do we keep bettering yeah. it? And, you know, it's like, oh, my gosh. With the variation, we'll always try and strive to bring you the, the, the variation. I don't know how we just keep delivering. And again, it's down to our amazing buying team. But instead of having just one strand of pearls. Yeah. And they'll all work together. Funny. They are lovely. I don't know which one's my favourite. Oh. I love, this. Yeah. I, I love the, well. the organic pearls. We're all yeah. saying the nuggets. Yeah. What price are these going to? Oh, let me show you, Mark, because this is madness. I don't want to spoil the surprise for our lovely viewers, but this is, this is actual madness. <laughs> so, so, wait a minute. Which ones, Ollie? Oh. With all of them? With the nugget ones? Something like this? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, look how lovely that is. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Look at this lovely necklace that Anne and Sue have created here. We don't see pearl nuggets very often. There's just something so beautiful that should be celebrated, like, like Monica Veneda has done, using one individual Baroque yeah, pearl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One. How much was it? I can't remember. One individual Baroque pearl, £80. Mm. Uh, this necklace is just beautiful. I mean, if you could literally just restrand. Or over the top of the head, yeah. I mean, something you do, mm. Mark, quite often, yeah, isn't yeah. it? They just keep yeah, yeah. threading and threading and threading, and it literally, so six it's foot length. it's a yeah, mm. three hundred and sixty degrees, six yeah. foot, and you can just layer yeah. it and layer it and layer it. Coco Chanel once said, "Every woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls." When I tell you what, this deal of the day, I could talk to you until the cows come home about pearls. We could show you countless different celebrities wearing them, the likes of Jackie Kennedy. We could show you, I don't know, uh, Audrey, um, Hepburn. Audrey yeah. Hepburn, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We can yeah. show you Marilyn Monroe, Grace Kelly. We can show you Coco Majesty. Chanel. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Her Majesty, yeah. Princess Diana, Lady Gaga. We can mm -hmm. show you Harry Styles, absolutely. All those celebrities who are choosing to wear pearls right now. I, I remember that there's an article and it might be this one actually um oh not that one sorry but there was an article that says are pearls the new diamond oh it's it's a good yeah. question yeah, yeah. many people yeah. are choosing pearls oh <laughs> over diamonds these days as soon as you put those on you stretched your neck like a swan did i yeah just sat up a little yeah, bit straighter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look. Layering pearls mm. is really in right now. I think that's an understatement. Yeah. That's, uh, that's because the only thing more stylish than a strand of pearls is more and more mm. pearls. Yeah, yeah. If you're into fashion trends, this one makes the ultimate statement of dazzling sophistication. And there is Coco Chanel with that very iconic statement a woman deserves or needs needs it's a good choice of word isn't it you don't see photos like this anymore with a cigarette no in her hand <laughs> it's lovely a woman needs ropes and ropes of pearls no not oh, smiling what do you notice first about that photograph you notice the pearls don't mm, you straight away yeah here we are creeping in, creeping upon a century later and her declaration still rings true. Pearl layers are quite appropriate for black tie events, benefits, galas, and other upscale social affairs. But these days, they are also appropriate for more toned down events that can be laid back gear, casual attire, even office mm, outfits. Yes, yes. Anywhere you simply want to look dazzling. <laughs> Love it! Any occasion, any occasion, Pearls are appropriate. But the trend and the resurgence of pearls really in 2022, or I'd say I saw a real upturn in the, uh, in the popularity of pearls um, around about sort of pre-pandemic time, wasn't it? And when that article, and I forget which one it was, uh, Ross, but it actually asked the question, are pearls the new diamond? With celebrities, gents wearing yeah, their pearls. Yeah. Love it. Who's the chap on the right? Rihanna's oh, partner. Oh, right. Oh, he's a he's rapper, a, isn't he? A it? rapper, yeah. Right, right. Ah, that's that happy chap, isn't it, on the left? Um, yes, uh, Pharrell Williams. Pharrell, yeah. And Harry Styles. Yeah. Do you know he's in his 50s, Pharrell Williams? I heard that, yes. Awesome. Yes. Mad. Yeah. Absolutely mad. Yeah. You can create pieces like this. Beautiful. Like this. That's lovely, yeah. Or like this. I like the simple of that as a scarf. Love I think it. Susie's oh, made a scarf. you've just shown us how to make yeah. a beautiful tassel. Yeah, oh, amazing. Can you imagine the sterling silver tassel on the bottom of your dealer day pearls? Two little, silver, two little glass oh. balls on the end, yeah. 
Aww. Look at all of these beautiful. Uh, there we are, Jackie Kennedy, very quite an iconic necklace. Angelina Jolie looks amazing with pearls, doesn't she? Absolutely beautiful. Catherine Heigl, Heigl thank yeah, you. Yeah. You always have to finish that sentence for me, don't you? <laughs> uh, you have Sarah Jessica Parker. Here we wow. go, wearing layers upon layers upon layers of pearls. Rihanna, I love this outfit. Oh, I think yeah, she looks yeah. so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Just a cardigan yeah. and pearls. Yeah. Only she could pull that one off, couldn't she? But yes, are pearls the new diamonds? I think it's a very valid question. Your deal of the day is not just one strand of pearls. And I'm not even talking about, uh, uh, about pearls that are perfectly spherical. We're widely embracing, as we showed during the early bird, your undulations, your organics, your keshis, your baroques and your seed pearls. They are hugely, hugely popular. Charlie Barron does a coffee bean clasp. Are actually modelled on your nugget pearls. Uh -huh which are beautiful. The, deal, the early bird this morning mm, yes, yes, are modelled yes, yes. on a beautiful Baroque pearl. In 33 seconds, the graphics will be introduced. Now, I should point out there's just 250 of these opportunities. Anne and Sue have made two very, very, very pearl-heavy pieces of jewellery here. They could have potentially uh, created a lot more, um, but why not? Go all out in the wonderful world of pearls, particularly when you, wait, when you actually see your deal of the day price tag. A full pearl marla. How decadent is that? I might have to borrow that piece, by the way, Alan Sue. Can I borrow it? For your holiday. Yeah, exactly. I promise I will return yeah, you'd it. Work that. Do you reckon? Yeah. Nice little lace. I've no idea what I've just said, but I think it makes sense. <laughs> <do> it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a closeout deal. Madness. Wow. You've got long wise drilled potato pearls. Not entirely. Oh, oh, here we go. So literally down the length of the potato as opposed to da uh, across the width. You've got your beautiful nuggets, which I can't remember the last time I actually saw. Uh, pearl nuggets, that's these strands here. You've got some of your beautiful, yeah, look at that metallic luster. That's the joy of your pearls. That is the joy. This is a nice article. We could read this. The graphics are on. Five strands. That's amazing. Five strands of high end, top quality, graduated, if you wanted to, high luster, genuine cultured pills. Just, I'm just thinking about, I'm just thinking about the Monica Veneda pendant, that single, that single pendant that I think would be identical to quite a few of your pearls opportunities that had one gold-plated clasp, one single pearl pendant was £150. Okay, comes with a chain. But haven't we just done a full reel of chain <laughs> for six pounds yeah. per meter? Yeah. A tiny Keshi pearl necklace. Again, I don't think it's that small. I don't know why they're highlighting no. how dainty that pearl no. is. But you know what? It's pretty. Pretty. One individual pearl. You have five meter lengths. Now, again, those of you, if you are like me and you choose to buy pearls over and over and over again, really easy to work with. You can literally just restrand it. You can knot it, of course, with the silks. And Mark, you've shown us demonstrations. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, one single pearl, 80 pounds. Could you make that? Because we offer you bales, don't we, on a regular basis. We even bring you a chain a bit like what's on that video uh, just there. We even do that. Could you re recreate that piece? That's £30 per strand. Already, when, uh, 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 yeah, people making sure they don't miss out on this opportunity, um, but we're nowhere near. The smaller the pearl, generally speaking, it, well, not always, but small pearls are not less expensive always because actually you're, 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 you're cutting short the culturing process mm, and also yeah. it's much more challenging to drill. 
so you lose a lot of mm -hmm. your, your, your your tiny yes, pearls. Yeah. So these ones just here, in particular, um, they're like gold dust, quite literally. If you pardon the, the you know the, the comparison, but it's hard for us to actually bring you smaller pearls because, like I said, you're basically saying to pearl uh, to pearl harvesters, right? Stop it there, just cut it right short. Even though you've invested, I don't know, a couple of years into mm -hmm. the culturing process already, yeah. can we just check see if there's any pearls in there? If there's not any pearls in there then you've got to start all over again that's two years literally down you know d uh, d down the pan but then start to drill them you lose some during that they naturally fracture I'm putting my name down for some of these they're absolutely incredible we're not stopping there 99 pounds and 99 pence that's working out at 20 pounds per. Look at this, look at them individually. Firstly. Ooh, they're like rice beads, aren't they? <sighs> oh, I love that. Yeah, I don't disagree with the Ollie saying, I think that's, that's the strand for me. It jumps out at me, says it's so metallic. Look, just a few little spacer beads dotted in between. And then look, some beautiful, just a little toggle clasp on top. Why are we doing a close-out deal on, on brand new pearls? Look how beautiful that is on its own. Over 200 of these available. Remember, we just sold out of 200 of those sterling silver reels. Oh. Then, look at the size on these. Your early bird, pearl, sold out. Look, another huge... These are the ringed pearls, which I really like. You've got those beautiful circulations like satin in its rings. Mm, it yeah. shows you that it's a genuine pearl. Look at this one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to put it down. Oh, look. What's the most important of your five virtues? It's luster. That's mirror-like luster. And I'm just talking about one individual pearl. I know what this, this deal of the day is going to, and I can tell you I would pay it for any one of these strands. Yeah, absolutely. But you're not just getting one strand. You are getting all five. I don't think this is just going to sell out. I think it's going to sell out super fast, Get, especially when you consider everything that we have had in today's show. Mark's amazing kit, your early bird, that beautiful sterling silver chain. Um, hang on, the kyanite that is coming up. I mean, can you imagine these together? Oh, my goodness me. Literally, imagine all those together just alternating that little wonderful pop of blue. Maybe you want to create some beautiful jewellery like our lovely Anne and Sue. Long line pearl Marla necklaces. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 10 pounds per strand. 10 pounds. It's madness, isn't it? What have I done now, Mark? There we go. Beautiful. Stunningly beautiful. The kyanite is coming up. Brand new premiere. We're all saying it. It's the best kyanite we've ever seen. Make sure you do check out. We had just over 250 of these, but there are tons of you there. £10. Again, you pay a premium. You would assume, wouldn't you, that these would be the same price as these? No, actually, these tend to be more expensive. expensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, tend to be more expensive. Great to wear in your hair. Uh, Director Ollie actually said that. Great in lovely hair mm. vines. That's what I use for my uh, headdress. I actually sort of... Uh, uh, um, wire wove it into some lovely lace and literally clipped it into oh. my hair on my wedding day. Yeah, made it myself. Um, £49.99 pence, and they're flying out the door. Liz, Janice, Valentina, uh, Valerie, Margaret, Deborah, Hazel, Caroline, Claire, Zoe, Christine, Susan, Linda, Cheshire, you're there. Lots of multi buyers on this opportunity. It is the deal of the day, the closeout deal, and so many of you are already happy at that price tag. But it's not your deal of the day. We have a big quantity. And we have a little bit of wiggle room. Oh my word. Mark, look at that. At this, at the price that we're going to, yeah. that we're at, never mind going to, I would in, I would indulge and put them all in one piece of jewelry. I would as well. Absolutely. 
Yes, yes. Yeah, get one of your sort of your multi-row strand clasps. We need to do, a, we need to do um, a showcase, don't we, on, on triple row clasps, I think. Nice. I think it warrants it. Definitely. Mm. Mm. And create something like... Yeah. That. Yeah. Just that, just that. Look perfect, mm. isn't it? This would be hundreds mm. of pounds elsewhere, yeah. probably even four figures elsewhere. That's a lot of cultured pearls. But this is exactly what we do here at Jewelry Maker. That's why, again, at the beginning of this deal of the day, I actually said one of the things that I, I believe we buy best is pearls. And that's why I spend most of my, most of my orders <laughs> will involve actual cultured pearls. $39.99. Can, can we just for a second? That's less than £10 per cultured pearl. They're not faux, they're not simulated pearls, they're not glass, they're not plastic. <gasps> there, I said it. It's genuine cultured pearl. Eight pounds per strand. When did that become normal? Uh, two of those on a stall as, as earrings would, be, would warrant a 40 pound price mark, wouldn't it? It really would. Gosh. Something like this could yeah. be your headline piece, you know? That was probably the question I was asked more than any other on my, when I did do my Are they real pearls? Or, Are they real pearls? Yeah, I bet. So what I did, I had, I had a, a strand of real and a strand of shell behind my stall. And if they wanted to do the teeth test, they did the teeth test. And lots of people took, like, took up the challenge of doing the teeth test. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Now, we do have spaces coming up, coming up. Sorry, Ollie, I couldn't hear what you were saying. What was that? In this bundle, mm, yeah. you have pretty much every single shape. You've got drops, rounds, baroques, keshis. They're amazing. Seed pearls. Absolutely. We did say at the beginning that this was a closeout deal. Look, look at that. Hang on a minute. Is that not the most perfect drop? Just there. Look where my finger is. Is that not one of the most perfect drops? Oh, it's like a heart. Literally, just flip it over. One of those. Look how beautifully flawless that nacre is. We did say that this was going to melt the phone hands, and it already is. I could talk to you, read, uh, read articles, show photographs till the cows come home about pearls. But actually, the reality is, your deal of the day for, for exemplary quality pearls is all about your mm. deal. Because what we are doing currently and about to do is crazy. These are the brand new pastel sixos oh. we've got coming up in the 12 o'clock kit. Look at these with the pearls. I know, just, just space them in between. These are beautiful. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, coming up, brand new beads. They'd be a great addition, wouldn't they? Yeah, no, they're stunning. Lotus flower colours straight away. They're beautiful. Mark, mm -hmm. at 39.99, we're talking about what, six pound first round? That's already 10 pound less than was on your shoes. Sorry, eight pound, eight pound, eight pound. That's already what? That's already 10 pound less than you showed me on your sheet. Mm -hmm. We're not stopping there then. Good day to be watching. We're not stopping there. First come, first serve. Oh no. No, 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 Ross, that because that makes me feel really guilty then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh my goodness me. Literally, that was a slip of the tongue. Um Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ross says, I was going to take it under 35L, but I was never going to do six pound a strand, but you've said it. I mean, OK. You're going to use me as an excuse. So I, t I know what will happen in a meeting when it goes, why did you drop the deal of day price tag to, to six pound per strand? They'll go, because oh, Elle said it on air. Elle said it on air. Look, look we'll watch it. should we watch it back? <laughs> there she is, six pound a strand. OK. Okay, I don't mind. I'll be your scapegoat. 
Bernadette, wow, indeed, wow. We're not even stopping at 39.99. It's just beautiful. You would never sell this for 39.99. I would, I would really go contemporary and, and go with gunmetal. Oh, I think that looks spectacular. Or kyanite. Put the kyanite rounds in between. Oh my word, how amazing. Seriously, £29.99. Seriously, that's ridiculous. Ten years ago, we would have had a single strand for that price. No. Yeah. Do you know, and this is where I get quite defensive sometimes when people say our prices are going up. I was like, are you actually kidding? Yeah. Are you kidding? You've got five strands of genuine cultured pearls here at £6 each. We didn't do quartzite at that price tag no, before. Right. No. Now we're doing cultured pearls, yeah. which have had years, years of time invested into them to actually have this beautiful formation. High luster, ticking all the boxes of your, um, of your virtues. Here we are doing it at six pounds per strand there was 250 of these available people multi-buying thank you to Anne and Sue for these beautiful creations uh, and I should say they're not knotted they're literally just threaded on to um to some of well this cord yeah your nylon cord does not look absolutely gorgeous I love that Anne and Sue if you're watching can I borrow it for my holidays please a pearl oh, no, no. marla that's incredible isn't it oh uh, you know, let's be honest, not many of us would have even entertained the idea of being able to buy any one, you know, this, this necklace, because it would have probably been 300, 400 pounds in most jewelry establishments. It would be, wouldn't it? Possibly even more, possibly even more. That, this is why so many of us here at Jewelry Maker are so proud to be part of the JM family, because we can make high end accessible with a little, your inspiration and your talents. Everybody thinks you've spent an absolute fortune, which and you would have spent an absolute yeah. fortune, but you just shop wisely wow. and you've got amazing talents of creating high-end pieces. They are stunning, aren't they? A lot of multi-buyers on this one, £29.99. Um, we started with just over 250 of these. Do you want to see how many we have left? Wow. 77. You know, you know, uh, those beads that are coming yeah. up in the twelve o'clock hour would be perfect. So you've got, so you've got hot range, and then you've got the cold. Look at that, look at that colour there. Look. Uh, oh, it is like a Paraba blue, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a hot and cold range there. Are we trying it on? Yeah, I thought I should. <laughs> Bit of market research. <laughs> yeah, just like yeah. that. <laughs> do you know what? And I would do. Probably wear the two together. Oh, racy. Why not? You know, just to make sure, I'm just making sure that, you know, that they oh, yeah. they can be worn together. So you've got day wear and evening wear. Ah, every occasion. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Just, you know, <laughs> just smother myself in pearls. And it's only costing 29 99 Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? I would probably double over this, actually wear it as a multi-layer. Yeah, yeah. Or tie uh, another knot in a bit higher up. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, imagine mm. the additions of the brand new beads that are coming up in in uh, the 12 o'clock hour as part of Mark's amazing kit, alongside multicolored, well, ombre, isn't it? It's yes. ombre cord. Yeah. See if I can do this. Hang on. So this is, these are the, past, this is the pastel range. <laughs> and then we've also got... But they do, don't they? They go perfectly. Yeah. So those are the metallics, and then we've also got the metal, the metallic. I love them. These Absolutely love these. Oh, you've got them in me uh, some yeah. metallic colours too. We've got metallic as well, metallic and ombre. They're amazing. Mm. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, these pearls are gorgeous. I can now afford, oh, I missed that, uh, to make myself a beautiful pearl necklace, bracelet, and earrings. Thank you, jewelry maker. You could probably make even more than that. Because yeah. there's five strands, Liz. Five strands of high-end quality pearls. You know, when it, with pearls, 
If it's good enough for Coco Chanel, well, she says, every mm. woman deserves ropes and ropes of pearls. All right, all right, Coco, I will. I'll go all out. Literally, I think with Ooh. pearls, you can yeah. just go to town. And they talk about capsule wardrobes, don't they, when you go on holiday, so you take the minimum clothes and the minimum piece of jewellery. I mean, one pearl necklace you could wear every single day yep. on the beach, in a restaurant, yep. go for a walk on the prom. Yep. Absolutely. How old am I? <laughs> go for a walk along the prom. Along the prom. <laughs> they still call it a prom, don't they? The promenade. So, the promenade. The promenade. There are just three of these left. <laughs> oh, my goodness, they are fabulous, aren't they? Well oh. done, everybody. Oh. Sold out. Have they sold out? Literally just got a couple of those well remaining done. now. Um, to go alongside, and I will take that off in a second, we've got the most beautiful sterling silver clasp. So, you know, if you are looking to maybe recreate... Oh, wait a second. Yeah. If you're looking to maybe recreate this necklace that Anne and Sue has, uh, has, has commissioned, then we've got the most gorgeous clasp here. It's a classic toggle, classic, yeah. which really works. Oval well, you saw toggle. how quickly I put it on. We don't have oval toggles very often. No. That's beautiful. It's very Monica Venada, isn't it? Yeah. Shall I tell you my Monica Venada story? Yes, please. I was absolutely... You know the G word that I don't like saying? The G-U-T-T-E-D word. So a few weeks ah. ago, we went to, we went to London mm. and we met friends of Andrew's in Covent Garden. Mm. And for the first time ever, I saw the Monica Veneda store yes. in Covent Garden. Mm -hmm. And my heart skipped a beat because I thought, I'm actually going to see the Mon Monica Veneda. Do you know what? In their window, in huge pink neon strobe lighting, yeah. was piercing now open. Oh. And it just really spoilt it for me. Oh. If they had a little ornate little sign saying piercing bar, please, blah, blah, blah. But no, great big pink neon words yeah, all over their window. I, it really spoilt it. Yeah, because it's, you imagine Monica Vinay, it's a luxurious yeah. jewellery, a jeweller's yeah. brand. It, okay, it's a different yeah. price point. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a different price point to maybe, I don't know, your Boodles and your Van Cleef mm. and Levion, but it's still an expensive. Yeah, and it just, I thought, oh. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd be disappointed saddened. with that yeah. too. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, to recreate maybe that Monica Veneda bracelet, that Monica Veneda necklace, or the Anne and Sue necklace, let's be honest, because actually, I'd go for this one. I'd go for this one first, Anne and Sue. A, you've got bigger pearls. Yeah. Uh, B, look at the beautiful beads that literally punctuate in between. It's simply, simply stunning. Close out deal on 925 sterling silver. Plus, you saw how quickly I put this on. I did it live on air, didn't I? I love that. It's so elegant. I'd get two of these and use those as earrings. Yeah, gorgeous. And, and uh, cufflink posts. Nice idea. Yeah. They're beautiful. Look at that. Can you see how it's almost layered? How it's almost twists around yeah, itself? Yeah. yeah. Multi-bar, use them as earrings, says Ollie. Yeah, totally agree. Because actually, you could put yeah a few seed pearls in the centre. And if I turn it around in this direction, also, can you see you've actually got a little bezel? Oh, yeah. So you could, if you wanted to, and you wanted to use them as pennants or charms, you could drop a cabochon in there. Yeah. It's, it's multifunction, yeah. uh, functioning. Yeah. Or maybe find a pearl that will fit in there and glue it into place. Under £10, with all the pearls that you had in your deal of the day, more than likely, <laughs> you will actually find one. Now, well over one and a quarter grams of 925 sterling silver. Even if we were to stop at 999, I think we'd all agree that's a mega deal. A mega deal. Even if we factor it into the price comparisons and the beautiful designs that we have shown from Monica Veneda. It, 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 they're, we are worlds apart. And do you think our 925 sterling silver is any different to theirs? Do you think our pearls are any different to theirs? Wow. Ours are probably bigger. And definitely less expensive. Close out deal. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence only. I like the idea of multi-buying and using yeah. them as pendants or charms or yeah. earrings. And you know, that, I mean, that's a very uh, that yeah, it can be a cuff link, but also the T-bar effect mm. is a charm. It is absolutely. Do you remember the bracelets yes, that you used right. to get with a T-bar? Yeah, that's right. 
pendants yeah. as well, just one on a on, on a classic curb chain. It's got a look of a Mobius ring about it, doesn't it? It it's has. Angles. Yeah. Those sort of everlasting interlocking links. Yeah. Very elegant. Very Cartier-esque. Seven ninety nine only. We had quantity of these beautiful ribbons of lustre. How many do we have then, Roscoe? You know, a proper lariat, which is a, a long piece of jewellery uh, with, with a big loop yes. that it fits into. You could use that as your lariat loop. Wait, you? wait. Did we have one somewhere? I we did we have one. one somewhere, yeah. but do you mean something like this then, Mark? Yeah. So it's a proper lariat. I think it'd be lovely. Or have these at one end of the scarf pearl necklace oh. with your tassel suspended from that. I think yes. it'd be amazing. Yeah. Oh. Ropes of pearls interlocking. We're going to go lower. Not going fast enough. Had a pretty amazing show. Want to bring you? Want to bring you as much pearls? We've also got that amazing, amazing kyanite showcase to bring you as well. Watching the show today, you'd never imagine you had a 14-hour day with a flight to Glasgow yesterday. <laughs> oh, thank, I, uh, th thank you. Or you're an autopilot today. Thank you. I think it's the excitement of it the is. gems. Could I think be. that's what it is. Believe me, I will crash as soon as I get home. Yeah. Um, the kids will be like that. Mummy, play. Wow. That's going to be me later. Um, in 31 seconds, we're going to go even lower. Uh, I didn't even look. Well, by the time I was up, I was down again on that flight, so I didn't even look at the at the magazine. I was reading a book anyway, a really good book. I've, I found a book which I was glued to yesterday. Good job, because I had time to kill. Um, not even stopping at £7.99. Love that idea of a lariat. Mm. So much potential and opportunities. You can even create... You know, when Monica Veneda, they had that kind of more organic-like shape. Just using your pliers gently, you could actually oh, twist could actually. and create those nice lovely idea. undulations. Yeah. Yeah. Well over, in fact, a gram and a quarter of 925 sterling silver. At the price that we're going to, manipulate away. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, just give it a twist, give it a yeah. little... See if you can create those really gorgeous, free-form-like shapes. <laughs> Don't forget, you also get the toggle bit as well. Loads of multi-buyers. Jane's got seven, well done to you. Julia in Hampshire's got four. Janice has bought four. Christine's bought two. Carol's bought two. Linda's bought two. Hello, Frida. Hello to you, County Wicklow. Hello to you, Anne. Uh, Margaret in Inverclyde, nice to see you. Susie in Lancashire, nice to see you. Uh, Lynn in Lancashire's just multi-bought. I mean, probably 89%, no, 90% of you, I'd say, have all chosen to multi-buy. What a closeout deal. Again, the joys of a toggle clasp is that it's, well, here you go. You could this treat is... it as a feature. You yeah. Just twist, twist the necklace round and have it asymmetric. Make well, it that's what, that's... a shame to cover it under your hair. That's true. It? But mm. that's, that's what, that's what uh, um, Tiffany's and co do. Mm, but look, yeah. look how quickly I took yeah. that off. That's the joy. This is a different toggle clasp, but it's same, exactly the same concept. But that's the joy. It's on and offable. Super yeah. easy. On and offable. Um, in your 925 sterling silver, I really like the idea. Can we go back to the photograph of the bracelet, which we showed alongside your early bird, which only seems like five minutes ago. But do you notice here with Monica Veneda, um, and certainly her siren co collection do this as well, where you have like a, a natural free form, um, free form shape. £175 for that bracelet. <laughs> or if you got your deal of the day and this charm, you could make it for a fraction of the cost. That's a pretty piece of jewellery. There's no denying that. But amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ah, oh, do you know what could make this? There's only one thing, oh. actually, that could make this better. I'm fascinated by that carving. It's been sat there looking at me for the last three hours. Oh, the, the, the natural mm. black jadeite mm, carving that's fun. coming up. I want that so much. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Now, there are only mm. 30 of these. There were originally 260 of them. So if you want to add maybe a little... So what should the pearls have been? 49, and we went to... 29? So you've got 20 pounds sat in your back pocket yeah. now. Yeah! Right. Burning a hole. Burning a hole. Burning a hole in our pockets, isn't it? Now, what could take that, that deal of the day to another level? All... <laughs> Always... Always adding little additions of your 925 sterling oh. silver. Uh, yeah, I'm the same, Ollie, I'd say it. 
Oh yeah, but I'm I'm still I, I'm spent I'm saving much more than I've spent. <laughs> Literally, at which point my husband's <laughs> eyes oh. roll. Diamond cut. Let's look, look, look. Take the time. Just quick. I know I've only got thirty of them, but can you see that intricacy? Beautiful levels of intricacy, all diamond cut. They almost look like they've been rolled in Parve diamonds. I mean, to actually achieve that level of detail in something that is what, four millimeters in its size, literally oh, blows my mind. Look at that, I love those, they're my favorite. The spirals. It's like, it's like a, a mirage, isn't it, created? That beautiful movement. There are only 20 of these available. Oh, they're cute. There's one here, Mark, and mm. not this, not this one, but they're, they're like stunning. Stardust, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Could do little bumblebee oh, butts. Yes. They could be bumblebee butts, couldn't they? Really cute. But see these? Does anybody else see C three PO? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're at how much? Two pounds per bead. Sterling silver, seven point six grams of nine two five precious metal. Who wants them for a pound each? Oh, these are beautiful. They're pretty, aren't they? I've not seen these designs before. Oh, well, I launched them, and like I said, I remember uh, them flying out the door, and I know we've only got a couple of them left. Um, spacer beads are, of course, I think, integral. They separate your... I mean, think, think about the kyanite that's coming up, not just your deal of the day, not just your early bird, and all of the beautiful strands, marks, kits mm -hmm. coming up in the masterclass. This is, this is spacer bead on a different level, isn't it? Because, like I say, that precision, that it go. The detail that goes into diamond cutting each and every single one of these. Not a pound each. <laughs> Who wants them at 50 pence each? Oh no. There are 18 of them left. <laughs> Literally, it's like we're doing, we're try, right, right, which one, Michael? Which one are you going on now? Let's go the front ones, right, we'll try again. <laughs> try the back one, Joe. Okay, yeah, let's go to the back. Oh! I'm not paying anymore. 50 pence each? Oh, that's silly. That is really silly. I'm sure that, would they thread on the chain? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes, probably. Should we give it? If it goes, if it goes on to, I'll pass one to you. If it goes on to your, your. Um, oh yes, this will go on the chain. Do you reckon? Yeah, easy. Let's have a look. So you could literally just wear them as is, have a little collection of them at the front of the chain. I'll try and get it through. Yeah, in odd numbers. Oh, they breeze on. Look at that. I'd that. glue those so they'd be almost stations like Elsa Peretti. I think this is my favourite of that swirl. Yeah, me too. That's yeah, my so favourite. so elegant, isn't it? Oh, Mark, genius. Absolutely genius. Have them dancing along the yeah. sterling silver chain. If you bought that, you've got more than enough to accommodate 50 diamond cut sterling silver beads. Down to the oh, final man. five. Well done. 50 p, uh, 50 p each. 50 p, I always said that. 50 p. 50 p. 50 p. <laughs> <laughs> Per diamond cut bead. Um, so cool. Beautiful. Have you got a favourite? The C3POs are quite cute. Well, I quite like that though. spiral I just saw. Yeah. I think it's the one in the middle and the front row there. That one. Yeah. Because of the stardust quality to it. Little bumblebee butts. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. They're beautiful. Look, I love those. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Um, Roscoe, when, we doing, when are we doing those? Um, okay, the Cleopatra pills are coming up. Those amazing kyanites are also coming up. There's literally just three strands. So well done, everyone. Um, okay, let's now, should we stick with the spaces actually? But this time, rose gold, oh, yeah. that will go beautifully with the kyanite. It will also go beautifully with your deal of the day. Do you want to look at that? Because I, I can hear you Thank gasping you. about it. And I've also got the sterling silver, gold-plated sterling silver. It's lovely, isn't it? Here we go. I'm just going to tip them out onto the desk. Rose gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Little pops um, that would will provide that separation, if you like, in between your, um, your gemstones, be it pearls, kyanite, whichever. 
Um, this piece of jewellery that Anne and Sue, they've used, of course, the Mayuki, but if you want to keep it with your precious metals, um, this is a great alternative. And it really works, actually, with this nugget strand because, you know, they are two mil size, so they're not trying to be center stage. You know, they're quite happy to be the side act. Um, uh, you're getting a pack of 40 of them. I remember, do we all remember this, guys, when we used to sell spacer beads in packs of 30? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And they were about 15 pounds. Mm -hmm. Do we all remember that? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, being naughty, we take them to 13.95. You've got a pack of 40 here. And I know, Ross, you're gonna better that deal. Oh, first. He made. Why did you do that, Ross? You made me nervous there for a moment because he went quiet. <laughs> he went quiet. <laughs> took an intake, a very, uh, an almost. He took a very delayed intake of breath, didn't he? And I was like, Oh God, have I, have I just said something there? I love kyanite with rose gold. Beautiful. Me too. <laughs> Ross. What price is this jadeite going to? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. One of the only black jadeite yeah. carvings we have. Yeah. The kyanite is coming up, but look, rose quartz alongside kyanite and pearls. I mean, look at that, three components. Beautiful together, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I, I, I'll say it again. Do you remember when we used to do packs of 30 spacer beads? I think they were like a mm. mil bigger than this. And they were 15 pounds. That's just beautiful. You can literally just bead an entire rose gold plated 925 yeah, sterling silver chain if you've got a couple of, uh, a yeah. couple of packs. Yeah. Full bracelets. They're amazing. It's precious metal. Row, multi row. What have you and I done to deserve a show like we've got today? I mean, I'm going to say we're pretty good <laughs> eggs. <laughs> we're, we're a good boy and a good girl, aren't we? Amazing. Sometimes. Most yeah, these would be really good for kiss cross. So use your seed yes. bead for the crosses, and these would be the little kisses. <gasps> so how yeah. about how yeah. about kyanite? Yeah. yeah. With. With. Yellow gold. Oh, do you want to repeat what Ali's saying? Because that's a really good point. So when, the, when we're in the height of Kiss Cross Mania, mm -hmm. which I think is going to come back because we're planning a, we're planning a relaunch. Yeah. Ollie suggested doing a sterling silver beaded version. Yeah. And I always I said to Ollie straight away, no, that'd be too expensive, that'd be too expensive. But the price that our beads are going to, we might have to rethink that. I think it's possible. Yeah. yeah. How many packs do you think you'd need? You probably need, oh, there's 40, is there? Yeah. So for your kisses, you probably, you're probably you probably looking at 10 packs. Okay, so is it, all right. So it's doable, you know? That's no, not, not when you're no. talking about, we're not yeah. stopping at 24 pounds and 99 pence. Mm. Mm. They are precious metal, gold-plated, 925 sterling silver. I'm holding the pearls and the kyanite in the background because I think they would just look absolutely beautiful. 10 packs, Mark. That's probably the most nautical kit you would imagine. Oh, and it's as a just kit. so high end. Yeah. So, so, so high end. I'm going to suggest that you can make that necklace a kiss cross for less than £100. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Less than £100. And to make them go further, you do the stations. Mm -hmm. Which is really beautiful as well. Yeah, we don't get, by the no. way, kyanite rounds. Um, no. I have. I remember us, gosh, probably about five years ago, because I, you know this, don't you? I've got that bracelet. Didn't I buy you the strand because you were on air? I'm sure I bought the strand of Kyanite for probably. you. Probably. I think that might have been, was it that long ago? That long ago. Oh, my word. That long ago. Yes. We've done a little run of closeout deals. The Kyanite is coming up. And that was how long mm. ago? Yeah, wow, since we've actually nice. seen yeah. Kyanite rounds. Um, absolutely beautiful. Now, not yet, though. Shall we do a closeout deal on some beautiful Edison pearls? Um, here we go. It comes within um, a beautiful little, little container. Ah, oh, it's stunning. Oh, no. we've, we've really embraced your, your Baroque pearls mm -hmm. and your Keshis and your, your Biwa pearls, and that is the world over. So this article kind of, kind of is, well, it is applicable, but it also isn't in many ways because it's actually a little bit dated. But bear with me, um, because if you've ever heard of the term Edison, 
Um, it, 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 it is definitely, definitely, absolutely um, alongside the likes of your Tahitian, alongside the likes of your um, South Sea and your Akoya pearls. You know, it, 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 there's, there's the big four. South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya and Edison. Those are the big names, if you like, in the pearl world. But Edison's are the newcomers. And I found an article, like I said, it's a little bit dated, but um, do bear with me because some of it is absolutely applicable. A while ago, I, I promised you a small primer on the newest, hottest pearls in the industry, Edison pearls. Edison pearls are the latest in a long line of freshwater pearls experiments and are aimed at taking on the legendary white and golden South Sea pearls from Australia. These parcels are, I like this bit, these parcels are produced by a few radical pearl farms in China and have only been available between two and three years. Traditionally, freshwater pearls have always been tissue nucleated. This forms a solid nacre pearl, but the, uh, but the pearls have always been characterized by their off round to oval and potato shape, which many in the industry found not ideal. Like I said, that's not the case. This article is ever so slightly dated. Saltwater, Akoya, South Sea and Tahitians are nucleated, which gives them, if you like, a template mm. yeah. to form the perfect round. But, um, so I'm going to skip down somewhat. So the farms began, began experimenting with bead nucleating their freshwater pearl mussels in an attempt to produce uh, perfectly round or just larger pearls. Like I said, the, the round thing is not really an issue. You just look at the no, photograph no. at the top. Yeah. Those are Baroque pearls. And wow, have those efforts produced some amazing results. Debuting in Hong Kong, the jewelry show in 2014, the initial harvests were priced at sky-high premiums, especially the rounds. They're dwelling on that round thing, this article, um, well into the thousands. But, I, you know, never mind that, you know, that, 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 that paragraph. Look at the luster of an Edison pearl. Oh. Bear in mind these are not salt water produced. These are fresh water produced. Look at the luster, multiple colors. And that is exactly what you are seeing in this pearl. Natural, not dyed, not enhanced. Those greens, those pistachios, those beautiful golden colors, the bronzes, the purples. With that wonderful metallic surface luster. We're going to do a closeout deal on a member of the big four, the Edison Pearl. If you speak to anybody that knows their pearls, they'll say Tahitian, Akoya, South Sea, Edison. Mm -hmm. Th those, those four yeah. names. Yeah. Wow. An absolute closeout deal. This is half drilled. I've only got 60 of them available. Edison pearls grow to large sizes and can reach up to 60 millimetres, much like a South Sea pearl. Um, the pearl is allowed to grow longer. What that basically means is there's a big investment in time. And there is also one single Edison pearl produced within that muscle at any given time. So unlike any other freshwater pearls, they don't invest literally. They don't put loads and loads and loads in that one, uh, that one area. One mollusk, one Edison pearl. Everyone will be unique. You see the difference. The, on this one here, the recording, you can see up close, you've got um, uh, um, a definite Baroque shape. Right. You've got a different of colors. Here in the studio, the lights never do it any favors, of course. But um, if you actually, let's take it out of the box, put it on the back of my hand. Here we go. Look oh. at these colors. It's like a Fabergé Easter egg. Look at that. Look, imagine that on a pendant or a pair of earrings. Every single one will be completely unique. Close out deal, not 199 pounds. Remember when they debuted at Hong Kong in 2014, not that long ago, they debuted oh in gosh. their thousands. Wow. What? <laughs> no. 60 available. So is Edison a firm or a Mr. Edison or? 
it, uh, they're well, radical well, farmers, according to that article. Yeah, I don't yeah. know is the simple it's answer. A, a trade name, maybe. Maybe a trade name. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. A bit like sort of Tahitian yeah. is to... Oh, well, yeah. the Tahitian's obviously the location as well. But Or South Sea, again, yeah. that's equating to the actual yeah. location. Maybe. I don't really know. It's quite... Yeah. Um, maybe there was an individual that pioneered it. Yeah, it could be. I'll have to look in, I'll have to we'll do some research. research. Yeah. They come in a range of colours, including white, metallic, creams, pink, gold, lavender plum and dark plum. Uh, some pearls can exhibit a grey colour. However, all black uh, uh, all blacks, they were saying, tend to, be per, uh, tend to be dyed. Excellent orient and beautiful overtones that accentuate, accentuate the beauty of the stone. Nobody is paying £49.99. We're going to bring these to, uh, to air for a brand new low. They are half drilled. You could literally just have one, say, on. Yeah, how, why have you got split pay? <laughs> uh, it shouldn't go that low. It's a closeout deal. Oh, 60 is not a, a quantity, really, that's a, sustainable for us. But, you know, it might be preventing us bringing you another Edison Pearl opportunity. It goes without saying that that is the absolute rock bottom deal that we've ever done on this Pearl uh, opportunity. They are large. They've got beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, sort of uh, multitudes of colours. You've got that metallic quality that we should aspire to. You know, never mind just Edison Pearls. From a harvest of pearls, be it whatever location, a harvest of pearls, say $10,000, of them less than 10 will be naturally metallic Amazing, less than 10 so yeah, that, you know when you look at it like, like that mm. that this beautiful Edison pearl 10,000 other pearls were harvest and I've got one with that metallic luster we've got a whole buying team but one buy, uh, member of our buying team buys our pearls one member of our buying team buys the pills. Close out deals. Goodness me, it should not have been anywhere near right. 20 pounds. Coming up after the break, we have, get ready for this. Make sure you check out on that. The Kyanite. Ollie says this is his favorite, favorite of the show because I would have assumed that this was treated. It's not treated. That's totally and utterly natural. Kyanite coming up after the break. We've also got the closeout deal on the Cleopatra pearls. Last chance. Mm. And we've also got the black the most jade. Beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. Don't forget as wow. well, Mark's brand new ombre cord coming up with brand new six O beads. At 12 o'clock, look at this jewellery. Honestly, what an amazing, amazing showcase. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewellery makers. Make sure you check out your basket on your Edison pearls. Um, the Cleopatra pearls are insanely beautiful as well. We'll be back after this. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, Everybody pays the final low price, and there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Which am I doing first? The Cleopatra pearls. Now for those of you that maybe have never heard of the, there's only one strand with that title. So if you've never heard of it before, um, it was a learning experience for me as well. And I was like, okay, so these are Akoya pearls. We know Akoya pearls, don't we? Um, I can talk to you about Akoya pearls what they are, why they're so expensive, why they're so celebrated, but why Cleopatra pearls? And I'll get to that in a few moments' time. Let's focus on really the most valuing factor on this opportunity, and that is Akoya. Here's an article that, put, that describes it far better than I ever could, and it speaks about Akoya pearls. What is an Akoya pearl? And what makes Akoyas special? With the fashion world embracing pearls like never before, there is quite a buzz about pearls these days. Prompting Vogue to ask earlier this year, here we go, uh, are pearls the new diamonds? They would know. <laughs> yeah. With the pristine white wonders of Mother Nature showing up on runways, red carpets and IG feeds, everybody is talking pearls. And we do mean everyone, not just the ladies. This gender fluid gem has captured the limelight with both males and female celebrities um, as fashion houses turn pearls as a powerful symbol of status and sophistication. But again, that doesn't really answer why a coya. No, no. But let's read on. Here is where they are formed. These are it's off the coast of uh, off the coast of, of of Japan, and every you can see the photograph literally marked where the mollusks are. But these pearls are literally, or rather, mollusks are literally cared for on a daily basis. Each pearl, and you can see the process, will be have any kind of fragments or, or uh, impurities, clusters that, that, that hang to the exterior of the shell, removed and chipped that's away. That's amazing, isn't it? And that's because <laughs> anything that would prevent those mollusks from feeding will basically mean that's an unhappy mollusk and you get an unideal pearl. 
I hope they let them play classical water and classical music under yes. the water for them. <laughs> well, actually, funny you should say that. I did hear that certainly your uh, your Tahitian pearls are sung to. Oh, no, They're actually they? sung to. Oh, like they that. test the temperatures and the minerals within the water. You would think it's, you know, it's not just a case of, okay, there's that nucleated bead, let's stick it in the mm. water and hope mm. for the best. It literally is years of investment. In fact, this mm. talks about that. Mm. Akoya culture pearls from the pink, pink Tarda, uh, or pink, t I can't say it. Pink Tarda Fucata. There we go. Pink Tarda Fucata oyster. Mm. These oysters are thriving in the hidden bays off the oh. coast of Japan in the cold salt waters of the Pacific Ocean. All Akoya pearls come from Japan. These pearls are harvested to, in the colder months from just mm. December to March. You know, we assume it's all year round, don't mm. we? But no, it's actually just December to March. And they produce pearls with the highest thickness of nacre. The, the highest quality Akoya pearls grow in the ocean up to about two uh, two years and, uh, and allow sufficient time for the pearl to form with that thick nacre and wonderful luster. Nacre is imperative to actually getting luster. Mm. Some might say of all your pearl virtues, luster is the most important thing. Well, a blessing that Akoya has is it is widely known globally as the most lustrous of your pearls. We'll read on. Uh, the pink tada oyster is the smallest of the pearl producing oysters, measuring about three to five inches in diameter. It therefore produces smaller pearls than the, oyst uh, the, than the oysters uh, produced in South Sea and Tahitian. Akoya pearls generally range in size from three to nine millimeters, with the occasional rare 10 to 10 and a half millimeter size. The Akoya pearl is known for its superb luster and its perfectly round shape. Akoyas also have a beautiful colour consistency, making them the pearl of choice for women's first strand of pearls. I think many would agree that whether you mm -hmm. talk, I'd say, for, in my personal opinion, and it is only mine, if you're talking about sort of the white and the golden colours of pearls, it's a koya in South Sea mm. all day long. Mm, yeah. But for two different reasons. You go South Sea if you want size, you go a koya if you want luster. A koyas were the first pearls, pearls ever to be culti uh, cultivated in 1893. A, Japan a Japanese man developed a scientific process for cultivating pearls inside the Akoya oyster. At first, very few of these pearls made their way to Europe and even less to the United States. By the mid 20th century, Asael had started distributing Akoya pearls in America. Culture pearls revolutionizing the world of fine jewelry, making pearls more readily available to women of all types. Before culture pearls, only natural pearls had been available well, make no, no doubt about it, by the way. Natural does not mean that, that culture pills are fake. We're just basically instigating the process yes, yeah. that was once done by Mother Nature and Mother Nature only. Um, so the supply was severely, severely limited, only often to the reserve, uh, reserve for royalty. And I'm going to stop there in that, in that article because we mentioned royalty. And this is where Cleopatra comes in. Why are these called Cleopatra pearls? Because I thought that that was the, the, the question that first came into my mind. Okay, they're Akoya, call them Akoya pearls. Why wouldn't you not call them Akoya mm. pearls? Why are you calling them Cleopatra pearls? Aha, it's because Cleopatra, the most amazing woman that she was, hugely educated, had a particular way of wearing pearls. She had them drilled a particular way. Oh. Cleopatra didn't like central drilled pearls. She wanted her pearls to be off-center so you can tessellate them. That uh, is why... Right. They tessellate together. We reordered... Sorry, relaunched... Relaunched this strand took it to a close-out deal. These are Charlie Barron Akoya pills, I should point out. Oh. We have 27 left. These absolutely flew um, at your close-out deal. Akoya 
Cleopatra pearls. Super, I'm gonna borrow this bus for a second because this is extreme rarity. If, if like me, and I've worked with pearls literally for two decades, if you've never heard of Cleopatra pearls, so it was literally, was like, okay, so I have to research this. What exactly makes it an Akoya, uh, a Cleopatra pearl? Why wouldn't you highlight that the fact that these are also Akoya? Well, you do highlight that, but it is the rare opportunity to actually get that drill hole positioning. These flew at the closeout deal price tag. They're actually, it, it's one of the most difficult uh, um, strands really to bring um, to bring to air. And I'm just literally going to double this over because it's not obviously not a finished piece of jewellery, but you get the idea. Um, but having it instead of through perfectly through the center of your pearl, um, if you have it literally just ever so slightly at the top, so I'm going to say maybe 30% um, into the actual pearl, it means that you can tessellate them together and create this beautiful almost rope-like design. There were, how many sold at that relaunch? Over a hundred at relaunch. The last twenty-seven. That tells you how good this closeout deal is. These are all natural colours. Natural silver, blues. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. That kyanite would be perfect with this. Oh color. my goodness. That natural golds. Beautiful tessellation. You can see the mm -hmm. monetary value, can't yeah, you? Yes. Not only in the fact that they they are, look look we say we say a coiler coiler is known for its luster. Which side am I coming in at? No, look at that. Oh look, that's the luster of an acoya. That's why many people say acoya is the go-to. Yeah. Gosh. Did you see the closeout deal on this, Mark? No, no, no. I've not seen them before. It's madness. Hello, Caroline. Oh, oh, my darling. I know Caroline has the most amazing collection of pearls. Good morning, Ella Mark. <laughs> I have several of this Cleopatra strand. They're gorgeous. Do you want another strand? You bet. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to match that closeout deal price tag. Hello to you, Elizabeth. Morning, everybody. I have these pearls, Elle, and they are exquisite. Breathtakingly be beautiful. Um, I'm keeping mine. Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't part with these either because I've never, I, look, like I said, t I started in high-end jewellery when I was 19 years old. So you're talking about, what, 24 years ago? And I've never seen, other than this, I've never seen Cleopatra pills. They are absolutely remarkable. And again, the fact that they are coming from the Akoya harvest really is so, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Look, okay, never mind Cleopatra. Let's, ne let's not talk about that for one second. How about one single Akoya pearl? Go elsewhere, look for one single Akoya pearl. Granted, this is perfectly round. I actually prefer the fireball effect of this one, but granted, simple, Round a coir pill, one hundred and twenty nine pound. One. When I bought my a coir pill, I paid more than that. Yeah. I can't remember the closeout deal we did on this. Apparently, we didn't close it there. Oh. Twenty seven remain. Oh, I do remember. I do remember <laughs> now, Ross. Remember that single pendant that I've just shown you? Instead of having just one single solitaire, which is lovely, it's lovely, but it's not a wow, is it? It's not an exquisite, as we heard our lovely, uh, our lovely viewers messaging in. Close out deal. Cleopatra drilled. Totally and utterly natural. The final 24 of these within your vault. Before last week, they had never, ever, ever been anywhere near the price that you're about to see. A brand new low. If you admire them then, this is the chance. It's more challenging to obviously drill a pearl, if you like, asymmetrically or a, a sort of off-center because... You run the risk of actually shattering the pearl. And if you've invested over two years into each yeah. pearl, you don't want to, you want to chance it. No. The length of this strand, and I've actually got it. I'll show you. Let me just turn it around. I've actually got it knotted over to hold it there. So actually it would sit longer. Wow. Put a Ooh. gold clasp. Yeah. Just shy of half a metre. And because of the way they're drilled, they're absolutely rammed on there, aren't they? They are. Yeah. I love this. Half a metre of Akoya pearls. Yes, please. Half a metre of Akoya pearls at a brand new low. 
Never. Prior to that closeout deal, these have never been anywhere near £129. You can get these home for a, a crazy £32.25. A Akoya always have a four figure price tag. You know, when you're talking ropes like this, when you're actually having, you know, a full 360 Akoya pearl necklace, they are four figures. One, yeah, one single pearl. These are some of the rarest colors. You've got your beautiful golden colors here. You've got your wonderful natural blues and they are all completely and utterly natural. Um, so there we go. They, now you know, this is the only Cleopatra Akoya pearl necklace that we ever had um, and probably ever will have in the four Seeable. You get this home, use your 30 day money back guarantee. Um, collectors literally messaging in during the live show to share their feedback on this beautiful uh, on this beautiful opportunity. So yeah, Cleopatra was, and she knew what she wanted. She was a woman that knew what she wanted. She had a favorite gemstone. She knew her jewelry. Um, she didn't want pearls literally drilled through the center, which would be much easier. And in, imagine in her mm. reign, if you like, where they were literally yeah. free dived pearls. Imagine some, right, don't, not through the center, please. I want to a off center. Can you imagine them fracturing that pill, the pressure? Oh, goodness me. 10 of them remain. Well done, Linda, Allison. Well done to you, Suja, Virginia, Jean, Jane, Sarah, Dorothy. You've got yours. Sit back and enjoy. Uh, somebody else just got theirs, then I missed it. Was it Jean? Uh, Claire, Valerie, Zoe, uh, Cornwall, Liz, well done. It can be yours. There's down to the final 10. Why haven't wow. I bought this? Why haven't I bought this? Probably because I because I buy, I buy a lot, yeah, I do buy a lot. But I'm so, so, so tempted to join you on this opportunity. And all I would do is restrand that with a magnetic clasp. Mark, you're shopping today as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got to get this, this jade eye. It's do you need absolutely... To, oh. It's coming up at the top of the hour. Do you want to show oh, is everybody? It? Look at this. There are, two, there are two reasons why I love this. I love the split, the colour split. Well, three reasons. So I love the colour split. It gives split. depth. Absolutely. I love the intricate carving of these, of these pine trees. Double-sided, if I just turn it around all the way, so you get this amazing oh. on both sides. But what's really unusual is the drill hole goes all the way through. You can just see the back of it there. Yep. So I said to Ellen in the break that I would do a Marla necklace, probably a jadeite Marla necklace, have this as the guru bead with a, with a chain tassel that we had in the first kit hour. I just think we just... Wait, 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 wait. Look. Can I borrow your board a second? That's absolutely... I've only got one of the... Um, of the wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, just imagine this. Yep. Hang on. Choose. Let's take some of the... Wait, wait, wait. Bear with... Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yes. Imagine that. Can I don't know if you can see that yeah, on the overhead. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, my goodness. That's just beautiful. It works, doesn't it? Yes. It works. Because you get a natural... It's yeah. like a, an inky black, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is coming up at the top of the hour. Are we going to do the kyanite now? Oh, okay, no. now, why don't we ever bring you, why do we say, well, not never say never, why do we really ever bring you kyanite in rounds? Because it's so difficult, because the way the axes form in the gemstone yep. shatters very easily. Yep. So to produce the round, it's probably the most difficult yep. shape to actually produce. Most definitely, yep. most yep. definitely. Uh, you've got dual mm. axes within mm. kyanite. So, um, and also, it, what's, what's, what's so interesting about, about this beautiful gemstone is if you cut the gem in one direction, it'll be four and a half on the most scale. If you cut it oh, that's right. yep. horizontally, if you like, to incorporate dual axes, then all of a sudden it jumps up to seven. So um, very challenging and probably very few lapidaries will even embark on cutting this gemstone. Um, but yeah, I reckon it's probably been about seven years since we last brought you a strand of kyanite rounds. This, uh, and even then, that wasn't natural. That wasn't natural. I know, I bought it. I, I bought it, I wear it all the time in like a tennis style bracelet. Um, so probably about seven years since we've actually brought you a, an opportunity like this. It is completely and utterly natural. They are so special. They have to be a star buy.
wait, 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 what? Because, Ollie, you've just said, do you remember how much these used to be as well? Yeah, they were yeah. quite considered. But what are they today? <laughs> Gosh, they would have been double that prize tag yeah, back in the day. And, they, and like yeah, I said, they were yeah. normally treated in yeah. some way, filled normally. Yeah, filled, yeah. Now, let's talk about kyanite firstly oh. as a gemstone, because we rarely get the opportunity to. Kyanite is, and I showed you during uh, the, the Nilamani showcase mm. earlier mm. on in the yeah. week with yourself, mm. I showed you a piece of jewellery that was something like $12,000. Um, that was one single kyanite surrounded by parve diamonds. Yeah. Make no doubt about it, kyanite can be and usually is very expensive. So this is a really beautiful gem that's what we call polymorph. So um, it actually has, as we've just said, mm. dual axes, incredibly challenging to cut. Because if you can imagine a sort of kyanite growing somewhat, uh, in fact, you can kind of see it in this picture. So have a look mm. at this ring. So do you see that feathering, those little striations that go horizontally? That's the direction that the crystal is growing. Now, imagine that coming out of the ground. So you will have sort of one crystal growing in this direction. Um, up to the right, then you'll have another crystal going up to the left, if you like. And where they actually crisscross, that's where the axes that in an ideal world that you mm -hmm. want. But it is a gemstone that will can, it's got what we call a perfect cleavage, so it can split. So if you catch it at the wrong angle, you're just going to literally shatter it perfectly down the center. So again, when you start thinking about that, you might go, oh, that's good. So you'll get a nice flat surface, not if you want a round. No. <laughs> not if you want a round, which no. is what you do want. The loss must be colossal when cutting no. these gems. Here's a gemstone that suffers with colour zoning. What that basically means is areas of light and dark. So, or colour yeah. extinction. Yeah. To get that consistent, and you'll still see those feathers, you'll still see those lovely patterns, silks, they're actually called. Silks, rubies have it as well, like silky patterns that produce a chatoyancy. Um, make no doubt about it. You don't think that's not desired. You want to have that level of chatoyancy if it's available, but notice how you've got that consistent color. These are the best kyanites Without a doubt. We've ever brought yeah. to air here Without at Jewelry Maker. The strands seven years ago were lovely, but they were treated. These are totally and utterly natural. And the showcase is, I mean, look at that colour. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Let's do this. Even from what, three metres away? Every single one of us has said, these are the best kyanites we've ever seen. They're extraordinary. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and they are natural. That is insane, right? Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen such a beautiful blue? It's like a labradorescence, isn't it? Going through it, it's just beautiful. That's the tiny, work. tiny fibers, the actual yeah. direction, feathers that grow within the jet, not literally feathers, but they call it feathering. Have you ever seen kyanite look that good before? Oh, I want this with the deal of the day. Because you know what? I've spoken about Nilamani, how my love for Nilamani and how it's, mm. it, it's named Nilamani by the, after the locals for being the best blue, the heir to the, to, to the Kashmir. If it was from that same location, which I don't know if it is, that's Nilamani. That's that beautiful blue. I'm going to start with the eight mils. I'm not saying it is Nilamani, but it's Nilamani colour, isn't yeah. it? Yep. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying it is from Nepal or the Himalayas, but it is that quality. The best kyanite that, that I've ever seen. That glow, that's amazing. Look, Look at that. that. <laughs> That's chatoyancy. Yeah. You get that rare chatoyancy within just a handful of gemstones, natural fibers within your kyanite producing that play of light. That is an indication of the quality that you're getting. We're starting with the eight mils. Then we're going to bring you the six. And then we're going to do the four. We are going to take them under 100 pounds. Ross, remind me how many we have. 
Oh no. Yeah. Well, I, listen, we're not gonna we're not gonna have a big quantity of them, are we? Fifty is is loads, uh, really. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine you're trying to cut a kyanite of this quality into a round shape and then you catch that cleavage and literally mm. they split? I don't think we've ever bought, I might be wrong, but I've never actually seen kyanite chips on a strand. I really don't think I've just seen them. I don't know. Chips Not with that blue. Hits. Not with no. that level of blue. No. Seventy nine ninety nine. Can I can I can I go all out decadence? I know it's indulgent, but can you imagine? <laughs> oh my goodness me. How about this? Perfect. Alongside. How about this? How about teaming yeah. alongside the kyanite, uh, the pearls from your deal of the day, the Cleopatra or your early birds? Yeah. How about using, yes, absolutely, Mark's brand new kits coming up in 14 minutes' time? $79.99. Half the stock is already gone. Right now it's, look at that, goodness me. Um, right now it's all about your eight millimeters, certified completely and utterly uh, natural. We shouldn't be doing this. Look, that one here, that, that, I mean, you've got a lot of gold, you've got a lot of diamonds. But that piece of jewelry that I showed you a few moments ago, a calibrated piece, looks like a little bit of enamel on the side there as well. 12 thousand dollars we aren't closing at 79.99 oh, no. are they i would love to be able to say that exactly word for word but i better not um basically wayne come out wayne come on he's like i'm so excited i didn't even know he was in the gallery he's snuck in right now but um wayne he's these are like hen's teeth we can yes, say that can't are. we uh wayne that's not what he said, by the way. He said something completely, <laughs> completely different. Wayne, in our 12 years, we've never done yeah. natural kind art like this. They are the best. Look, I just saw them upstairs, so I had to come and look. They are incredible. Mm. So I'm not going to lie, I paid a lot more for these because the price has gone through the roof, but you just can't get natural. I bought yeah, some cool. round kind of, as Mark was saying, yeah. I think I bought it for you because um, um, You're on air I was on air. Six mil rounds. Six yeah. mil rounds. Yeah. And I literally wear it all the time, but mine was treated. And plus yeah. to cut them in rounds. Yeah. They look, I just, they're amazing. These are my favourite things I've bought, I reckon, recently. I just looked at them and thought, these are absolutely incredible. They're beautiful. Look at, look at the smile on my face now. <laughs> are you proud I'm of proud, these? Proud. You should be proud. Boys. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> you should be proud because yeah. look at that amazing pop of colour. Oh my goodness. Though. No, there's so, 50. No. That's there's it. 50. And I did pay more for them, but I thought I could not. Because I saw these when we was over in India, so this is one of the finds that we, oh, we bought. Right. So I, I, I saw these. Uh, I don't know them being this good. <laughs> They're just insane. I know. I'm excited for you as well. And, and if there's any of them left come the end of the show, I'll be grabbing them too. Certified yeah, natural. See you, lovely. <laughs> See you, lovely. I know. There's a clock ticking away, Wayne. Oh. Go on, off you pop now. Back to work. <laughs> off you pop. Sorry, nothing to see here, just your natural kyanite going even lower. Um, goodness me, Mark, they are breathtaking. They're lovely as well. These, I mean, literally are cashmere light blue. I would wear these. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. I mean, Anne and Sue have oh, created yeah. the most beautiful yeah. graduation, but out of two of the strands. Imagine using all three and creating a yeah. rope of natural Mozambique kyanite. It's not stopping there. Christine Allison, Anjan Virginia, Zoe Hampshire, Maureen. I genuinely believe, and forgive me if I'm slightly out here, but I genuinely believe that last time that we had kyanite rounds was a good five, six years ago. It was a long, long, long time. I think, yeah, I think that's fair. I think about five years ago was the last time we had kyanite in rounds. And, the, uh, and by the way, I know because, like I said, Mark got it for me, but they were treated. We were squeezing it one, under 100 pounds. Should <laughs> never have been 50. 49.99. Four 
49.99. Have you ever seen kyanite this good? There we go. That's the simple question, isn't it? That's the question. Have you ever seen kyanite this good? No. Before? No, never. Uh, let's, ask, let's ask the team who, watch, who see gemstones on a daily basis. Ollie? He says he's been here from the very start. First ever day of jewellery maker, and this is the best he's ever seen. Totally agree. Michael, have you ever seen no, kind like this never, good? Never in a million years. Ross, have you ever seen head and shoulders above anything else he's ever seen? Absolutely. And, and by the way, I have never seen kyanite like this good. Maybe kyanite like that from a distance looks better, but under the surface, it's mm. treated. It was treated. Nothing wrong with Mark. Mm. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh. Do you see why so many of us have said that is? Do you know what? If you're going to do the A grading system, that's quad A kyanite. Completely. completely. That chatoyancy is amazing. Quad A kyanite. We can't go any lower. It shouldn't have even been under £100. Well done. Well, we know the experience about... We talk about this on our shows pretty much all the time now, don't we? Once it goes to the six and the fours, it goes That's through the That's going a little bit nuts, yeah, it goes doesn't a bit it? crazy, doesn't it? Can you imagine a kiss cross in a six nil? With those spaces mm. that we had earlier on. Right, oh go. my goodness and guess what we have the four too i get so nervous now when we ever whenever we bring a six mil round to air <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah isn't it? well we know they're going to be a sellout and yeah. it gets, i guess it's that sort of excitement of yeah. you know whether you'll be successful how many Ooh, oh that's exciting there's more we've got a hundred oh. can i just do something Anne and sue can i buy this yes Oh, the Royal Engagement Ring. They are absolutely cashmere-esque. Uh, cashmere now, Ollie, I do this every single time with high-end strands. <laughs> every time. You absolutely want the six mil. You're going oh, nuts God. for it. Imagine this, right? Imagine it being photographed in boodles, knotted, literally simply knotted. There we go. Yeah. A graduated necklace. How much do you think that would be? Natural kyanite of that level of quality so you can see six mil graduated down into the eight millimeters something like i don't know a red or mm, a, a, yes. a pure brilliant white silk how much Incredible, do you think that piece of jewelry would actually cost yeah, I, yeah. I, i'm gonna say a couple a couple yeah. of thousand pounds the phone lines have gone nut on the uh, nuts on the uh, the six mil i'll show you what we should have done no oh. Okay, oh, no. you're not. You're going to oh. go straight to it. What, what, what should have we done? What was the price we should have done, Ross? Hundred pounds, yeah. Uh, oh, we've no. we've gone to the matching the price of the eight, but you know we can't stop there. I, there is no reason. Look at that chatoyancy. Oh my word. We are going lower purely because we've had we've had the eight mil at this price tag. It doesn't sit right. It doesn't sit comfortably oh, with man. us to um, to bring these at the same price tag. I always think that kyanite is one of those gemstones that you should have in your collection that you don't make jewellery with, that you just have a strand in your collection mm. because I don't think it's going to be around for much longer. Can I can I put this one yeah. out there? Yeah. What do you think is going to be the next big blue? After, you know, if, if Sapphire and, and Tanzanite was to all together run out, what do you think is going to be the next big blue? Well, it's going to have to be kyanite. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is kyanite. Yeah. But no, you're right. We won't be able to sustain it. Very no. difficult to oh. get hold of, especially in this level of quality. Look at especially that. Especially in the level of quality that is draped across the back of my hand. This is insanely blue. This puts some sapphires into the shadows. Oh you know what? I love Mozambique sapphires. I really do. And I, I, and I always rave about that glow that they have on the inside. This is putting oh, look. Mozambique sapphires into the background. I 
I mean, the, the glow that you're actually getting, that magic and phenomena. Hey, and I said earlier on, um, this one is treated. That's okay. That's okay. Do you know what? 90% of most sapphires and rubies will actually be treated. But do you know what? Do you think anybody, when somebody walks past you in the shop and uh, in, 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 I don't know, in going about your day-to-day -day life and says, oh, I love, love, love. We need to check that or change the graphics. In fact, let's check it because it's conflicting information, that is. I tell you what, it's from the same parcel, so it's a fair assumption. Mm -hmm. We'll have a little look in the documentation and double check. Either way, let's do a, let's do an apology deal, just because there's conflicting inf information on my graphics. So, ignore the details. You know what? Even if somebody was, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. So the other ones say they are natural and they're certified natural. This is from the exact same parcel, and for some reason, the certificate says it's dyed. That's the documentation, natural inclusions, yeah. Yeah. Okay, listen, let's do it. Uh, yeah, it's from the same parcel. Uh, make whatever assumption you wish. <laughs> whatever you wish. I'll take advantage um, of it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we had a hundred of these, which is quite excitement. Nobody else, no other, other, other jewellers or gemstone suppliers ever dwells on the, the, whole, uh, the whole treatment mm, process. Yeah. I didn't even know such a thing existed when I worked in those jewellers. Wouldn't have known how to answer. You know, okay, is that, is, is that natural kind or otherwise? I don't know, yes, of course it's natural. It's Mother Nature produced, but that would be my answer back then. I've given you a little bit of an apology deal, that my kyanite that I bought about five years ago was treated. Does, do I love it any less? No. Absolutely not, because look at how beautiful. Beauty should always drive our interest um, in a gemstone long before we learn anything else, whether it be the history, whether it be the sentiment, whether it be the rarity. It should always be about the beauty. Liz, Sheila, Virginia, Susan, June, Vivian, Hampshire, Angela, Alison, Patricia, Christine, Barbara, oh, sorry, Barbara, Jenny, uh, Jean, Margaret, Valerie, hello to you, Meath, Liz, uh, Ruth, hello to you. I agree, it's, it's so deep, the blue, that you can almost yes. sink your fingers into it it's, it's a sumptuous amazing. blue love it love it i'm gonna go with a would you say that's a royal blue yes without a doubt yeah uh it's like blue sheen isn't it yeah against oh, the hand love it. Love it, it looks amazing oh Ro ross, ross you're being silly now we've got four mils as well yet <laughs> The amount of you that have this in your baskets, it would already sell out. But he says, maybe you just need that little extra nudge. Everyone needs a strand of kyanite in their collection. Well, you think, said this is the kind of yeah, one that you would have. I don't think your collection is complete without kyanite. No, I agree. Without a doubt. Why wouldn't you make yeah. with this? Because, because it's, just, it's just amazing just to sit and hold and look at. Just take five yeah. minutes out of your day just to, just to hold it and look at it and... I like that Ollie says selfish jewellery. Yes. You make jewellery for yourself. Yep. I agree. I'd wear that. I just love that. I agree. And yeah. I wear it on the wrist. On the wrist so you can look at it. So yeah. I can see it. £29.99. That's ridiculous. The quality <laughs> of this, Kai and I, you saw literally sales manager Wayne, gemstone buyer Wayne, literally come down to, during the course of the show. Purely, He said, I'm really proud of this purchase. And you should be, Wayne, because it is incredible. You're getting approximately 63 individual beautiful Kai and I's. Textbook. Again, if you, do you know, I, I just quickly talking, I don't want to dwell on this because really it's not important, but a Quad A tanzanite, is it natural? No, a quad A tanzanite is heat treated. So I, again, it doesn't make any difference to me. I rival this to a quad A blue. It's that beautiful. You almost want to dive into it, don't you? That's that magical tone that you see in quad A tanzanite and also in exemplary quality kyanite. It should not have been anywhere near $29.99 because of that little mis misprint on the graphics. Um, we've taken it way, 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 way lower. 
And now that's going to have a knock-on effect, isn't it, for the four millimetres? You know what to do, lovely jewellery makers. These are beautiful. Mark, <laughs> I've lost Mark. I've lost me. You've lost me. He's already... He's, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mark's like this. It's just amazing. I just love it. Certain, certain, certain gemstones do have that, that, that reaction, don't they? You can tell it's from the same parcel. I mean, the colour grading is just perfect, isn't it? Yeah. I definitely never, ever, ever thought that a four mil would be per, uh, would be possible, because cutting around in kyanite is one thing. Again, perfect cleavage and all of that. Now scale it down. I can't get my head around. Yeah, kyanite in perfect spheres in a four mil size. Now this, oh. I definitely don't think we've ever done. I well, don't I think we've done a four No, mil. we've done a no. six. Yeah. I know we've done a six. We're so fortunate to be able to source such high end gemstones. Wait, now, how many do we have of the four mil? Oh, they're already Remind down. me what these pearls went to. 29.99. So wait, I can get all of this on the back of my hand for less than 60 pounds. Wow. That's madness. I would get, I would multiply with the four and I would use one of Alison's looms. Oh my goodness, that would be, uh, oh bracelet. wow. Well, you could peyote with it, you could peyote with it even. An amazing, amazing, like a half mile or Ollie is saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful. White t-shirt jeans, yeah, beautiful. 49.99 you know we're not stopping there we've given you a price promise but look at that beautiful intensity of blue natural certified natural jean angela christine oh, eth no. uh, elaine sorry uh, suzanne allison zoe liz essex christine jenny and Angem. well done to you um make sure you snap them up 24 pounds and 99 pence i don't recall ever doing kyanite of this quality in rounds in fact of any quality in rounds to be truthful no, no. they're unbelievable aren't they absolutely unbelievable Make sure you do check those out. Still to come, we've got that lovely type A black jadeite double carving as well. Back in the day, yeah, these would have been really invested. They'd have been quite a considered yeah, it's 80, purchase, wouldn't pound, they? I remember. Totally, I remember yeah. totally. And I said this on Tuesday, actually. This is why. This is why I suddenly get quite defensive when people are like, "Oh, the prices are going up." No, they're not. They're really, really, really not. They're going dramatically down. We give you more variation of prices. That's the difference. We do give you different price variations. Mm. Yes. Um, that you know, uh, that I absolutely agree with. A catering for everybody, but you are getting luxury, luxury quality here at a fraction of the cost that you used to be back in the day. Patricia Meath, hello to you, Gen Genoifa. Hello to you, Hampshire. Tracy, you've got yours. People multi-buying on this. Love the idea of looming with it. It'll be amazing. Aww. I think it'd be beautiful. Wait. Or doing a marla and with the pearls, do a pearl marla and then use the point four, the the four mil kyanite to do sub, um, kiss cross stations. Mm. I think that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Mm. Oh, well done, everyone. Unbelievable. Well done, well done, well done. Oh. Now, <laughs> I've got to leave that with you because I've got one more auction until we step into your masterclass. Mark, you Oh, I don't want to give you this because it's going to go. Um, do you know what? If you suddenly develop cramp, it's all good. It's all good. In fact, my phone's over there if you want to go and get it. Um, that's all good. But I want to show you an article that I found a, a couple of weeks ago, and it, it just perfectly describes your master carving. Um, so Sotheby's, an article from Sotheby's that talks about jadeite jewellery specifically and a collector's guide. For hundreds of years, jadeite has been a, a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and super, uh, super, superlative, sorry, jade has a certain understated charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect is muted, enigmatic, a glow that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. 
This allure has inspired mythologies and cultural reverences, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique features, jade has played a consequential role in history. From serving as a mysterious object of ritual to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. Whilst the term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for different traditions. A gem gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess uh, uh, inimitable co green colour. Jade is by far, sorry, jadeite is by far the rarer of the two and the focus of this guide on jewellery. We asked Wen Hao Yu of Sotheby's Hong Kong, Deputy Chairman of Jewellery Asia, to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jade. His words, approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. So again, all of a sudden that starts to resonate when you, go, you think, okay, so you've been talking translucency, color and texture, and then L, you've mentioned a few times about artistry. That's what we're talking about. This is one of the world's rarest gemstones, but the artistry absolutely should be considered too. And the next sentence, what experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor, which may seem frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking a more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery, not as commodities, but rather as works of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Just as it's impossible to measure the splendor of an impressionist landscape by the canvas height and width or the ratio of its colors, the beauty of jadeite in all its varieties and complexity cannot be classified by a system of prescribed standards. Mark, experts look for an individual wow factor. <laughs> <laughs> that had that reaction on you, didn't it? Since I came in this morning, I just absolutely love this. As I said, it's the carving, it's the colour split. Yeah. It's the drill hole all the way through, so you've got so many uses for it. And it's just, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It, like it really is. Sky, it's, it? it's, it's, it's had an emotional mm. attachment it to has. you, hasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Just lastly, whilst you admire, <sighs> Jadeite appears to contain water with just a single drop of milk or ink mixed mm. within. Yes. The translucent stone diffuses light, which turns around in the jadeite so that the gemstone appears to be glowing from the inside out. And if I can borrow someone in the studio's mobile phone, I will show you that amazing, amazing glow. But there it is, can you see a single drop of milk? Yeah, I've never heard ink. that before. I've never heard that before. A wow factor. Not to be considered. Oh my lord, look. <laughs> just, oh, it's black jade. It's going to be a much different. <gasps> That's amazing. Um, look at that. It's going to be darker than any other stone. Oh that. my so goodness good. me. Look at that, that translucency to go through genuine black jade. But as if this couldn't get any more spectacular, you, know, you can still see it here, even though that's a, it's, not, it's not a mobile, it's not as strong, you yeah. can still see that translucency through the gemstone. But just when you thought it couldn't get any better, look at that, the bridge, the areas of light and shade, that carving continues on the other side. You have the bridge, yeah, connection between uh, um, heaven and earth, isn't it? Yeah. 
life and death, water incredibly symbolic as well. You have your beautiful mountainous range. You have the wonderful birds, the flowers. Can you see just here and the layers within? The do you know all of that, but with with the light and shade that comes with the type A jadeite. But this is a master carving with a difference. And I'm not just talking about the fact that this is carved both front and reverse. Also, if you look on the underside, there is that drill hole. So you imagine you've created that beautiful work of art and then someone says, OK, not the drill hole just there. That would be really easy, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. I want you to go through, if you like, um, the centre. I mean, take a little look. These are beautiful, beautiful pieces that I'm about to show you. Amazing lavenders, beautiful reds. Someone has to die to get the pieces, which is very morbid, I know to get the pieces. That's the only way they can access them. Is there any black? No. Black is incredibly sought after. I found one black jadeite master carving. Five grand back in the day, now 50 to 70,000 pounds he's saying for these jadeite carvings. Yeah, and he will buy them back at that price. Now I found a couple of type A genuine jadeites Please be careful. It's so easy to look at somewhere and go, oh, look, I'm by Jade there for $10. It won't be Jade. No. <laughs> it won't be Jade and it won't be hand carved. This is type A certified. But can anybody make out what it is? The carving itself. I don't know what that is. I can't make out the car. You can see that it says dragon, but where? Mm. That's $830. You know exactly what this carving is. Very inky color. Well, that's a beautiful, intense black. I love the fact that this has been carved to have the sort of the paler grayer, soft cashmere-like grays on this side. Certified natural, an absolute work of art. Mark, this really, really, really has resonated with you. As you said, it is a work of art, isn't it? And I just love the... I said it's like a thundery, stormy sky, isn't it? Yeah. It's just beautiful. I'd have it as a paperweight on my desk. And oh, just be wow. Sat on my desk all of, every day, all the time. So that if ever you needed, yeah. I don't know, that downtime or mm. a little bit of yeah. peace and serenity. We've seen what effect it's had on me. <laughs> yeah. That's exquisite. Or I just love the trees. They look like fish scales. I mean, the intricacy is. How do you stunning. create that three dimensional depth? To draw something like this is absolutely yeah, amazing, yeah. but to actually, to create that level of depth, oh, look at that look. detail. The straw roofs, look, the leaves. You've got your lucky coins, look, you've got just your pumpkins, can you see the flowers also? You've got the bridge, you've got the mountain range, the water itself. There are how many left? Four left. Oh, I beg your pardon, we had 19 at the very beginning of this auction. There are now 11 remaining. You have that drill hole running through the center. I mean, literally have it as a piece that you can turn around and constantly yeah. admire. This is a gorgeous cabochon carved to this detail. Artistry like you would not believe. It's going to and by the way, have we got like two master carvings in black jade? Is that it? Oh, I beg your pardon. No, this is our only one. Yeah. Our only one. Have a little look at this. Now, this is on first dibs. Black jade, certified untreated, 1,500 pounds. That's amazing. It's still 1,500 pounds. It's like jet. It does, yeah. Yeah. Have a look at this. A small black jade carving, uh, mass pendant of Shang what? Dynasty or later. Okay, so it would be very primitively carved, but two grand. We're going to better than half that price tag in 60 seconds. I don't have many. As you can see, there are 10 of them in existence, and that is it. This is the only, thank you for correcting me there, this is the only Type A certified genuine black jadeite that we have in the entire, entire portfolio. Uh, and just so you know, coming up tomorrow, we have got wonderful Dave Troth, who's back from his holidays, bringing us pure, the purest of white jades you could possibly imagine. Can you imagine this? 
clear suspended from a white jade long line necklace. How beautiful that's going to be. The only black jade out piece that we have. I, I, it's, it is beautiful. Every single piece. You can get this onto leather. We've not, I don't think we've ever had a jade that you can get onto leather, have we? Yeah. Oh, do you mean cord? A leather cord. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. The yeah. final eight chances, Virginia, Carola, Melanie, Susan and Brian, Heather, Janice, London. Do you know, I, I've got, still got friends that um, I speak to sort of, sort of back in the day when I was in the jewellers, and one of them messaged me lots of go. She was like, oh, gosh, Elle, you've learned so much about jade I, uh, recently. And I was like, yeah, exactly. Because it was never a stone that no, we really understood no, back in the day. No. No. And she was flabbergasted at the prices that we actually bring this gemstone to wear. She knew it was rare, and she knew it was very, very, very expensive. And she messaged me literally on air, look elsewhere, see if you can actually find. And this is so important. Type A, natural, hand-carved jadeite. That's what you're looking for. I don't think you're going to find it even remotely close. Maybe add a few digits to the end of it. You might, you might stand a chance maybe at two grand. Maybe, maybe. This with your pearls that you had it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my word. Hmm. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's really, imagine that. Just the start, yeah. Can you see? Look at that. Yeah. Do you know if you had some of your black jade out rounds? Or gunmetal. Gunmetal, oh. gunmetal eight O's. Yeah. As a space up in between. That would be simply stunning. Yeah. Absolutely oh. stunning. How much would you sell it for? I'm not going to get this, am I? <laughs> My phone is only there, Mark, so you stand a chance. I'll literally run across. Two of them left. Linda, Valerie, Heather, Virginia, Carola, Carola Melanie, Susan and Briar, Jenny, mm. London, Lynn, well done to you. Uh, Janice, you've got to check out those baskets. There was literally only a handful of them left. Um, and I can bring you type A carvings. I can. I can bring you master carvings in your greens. We can bring you master carvings um, in, in a couple of other colours not in the black this is the only one and there are only two oh one one left within the existence um to actually have it in the black stroke gray it gives you those areas of of light and shade doesn't it yeah, it's absolutely. it's it's the shadows if yeah. you like that's created from um the natural type a black well done everybody allison you've got yours and i can see you staffordshire's there and margaret bitter on the phone line if you press your option one key um yeah you will get it speak to our lovely call center but first come first serve I can't say any fairer than that you know whenever you tune into someone like, like someone like uh, I don't know Sotheby's Bonhams which let's be honest is going to be the place where you'd get something like this God. there'll be one there will be one mm. well done everyone congratulations to you now coming up after a very short break we have brand new 60 beats brand never seen before ever and, go on, you say. Ombre Eslon. We've been, we've been talking about this for so long, haven't we? Mm -hmm. It's finally it's happening. Exquisite. Do you think this is going to be as busy as the Tuesday? I think so. Tuesday? I think so, without a doubt. It's just great fun. Yeah. It's a really good And there's fun. two separate kits. Two separate kits. So we've, we've got a, um, a bright rainbow Metallic. and we've got a pastel rainbow. Yeah. Love these. Yeah. You know what to do. We're running out of time. Don't go anywhere, jewellery makers. Amazing demo. Awesome kits coming up after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Two brand new kits. Two brand new components. Amazing, now, isn't it? Just yeah. before we do, I've just oh, had yes. a report down from head uh, from I've, upstairs. I've just had a report. I like uh, news, news, about, news uh, coming uh, in. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not literally being filtered in my ear. By the way, I, I heard this one in the break. Um, but news from upstairs, the powers that be, about this. Your six millimeter kyanites. They are natural. That was a mishap. It, it is literally, it will be corrected. Certified, natural. Wayne has already done it for you. So um, you've got a little cheeky fiver off for nothing really, which is yeah. amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Certified, natural. Your wow. eight, your six, and your four. He says, I don't know what went on there, but it is completely and utterly natural. So well done, everybody. Now, Mark, wow. we've been really excited about this masterclass because you've got... Firstly, well, two separate, very mm. exciting launches. Would you like to talk us through So we this? have, we've, we've found an amazing seed bead supplier that, we've not, that we've not used before. 
and the colors, the sizes, the shapes, everything. So this is this is the first batch that we've had from this new supplier. Okay. Uh, and we're sort of, we're, <gasps> we're, I know, I know. And I was giving it to have a, have a play and see what I thought with, with samples. This mm. was, this was gosh, four or five months ago now. And I fell in love with them. They're absolutely amazing. The uniformity, they're, 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 they're just exactly, as I said, if I wouldn't have known, I would have thought these were my Yuki. They are absolutely. So they're they're absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Do you know what? I actually thought yeah, they were yeah. pearls. You did this morning. This you morning. Did. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, are they yeah. pearls? Yep. Now, so these are six O's. Six Everybody, O's. And we know that six O's are one of the viewers' favourites. Is this why we've kind of looked those. around and got the feelers out for I another supplier? I think so. Supplier. Because, because, because with Mayuki and with the check glass, there's such a waiting list at the moment. Yeah. Such a waiting list. And, and we don't like to keep waiting. And uh, so we've put two kits together. We've put a metallic and we've put a pastel. Love it. And in each of the kits, we, we've got... Ordinary colour uh, cord. Well, and a then black. We've got the rainbow. And cord, then a white. Black and a white, yeah. Um, there are, how many did you say? 100 and something of these? 120, 120 oh, of each kit. Okay. But they will sell out. They're beautiful. Won't they, so Mark? Lovely to Why use. are we so confident oh, they're going to sell out? Uh, right, so we've, we've got Eslon. We've got rainbow Eslon and um, ombre. Ombre. Uh, which we've never had before. We've got brand new seed bees, which are so uniform. They are just absolutely amazing. So this is this is the first bit. And what, what I was trying to work out was because it's an ombre thread. Apart oh. from apart from knitting, I couldn't think of a way to to show the ombre. And then I thought, well, kumahimo, obviously. So um, if I show you this piece first, so this That's is. That's mental. So this is an eight warp kumahimo, which you and I did on the show when we had yeah. the new, new bobbins last week. So if we start at this end, so I took eight lengths, each length four foot long, and I, I threaded up my Kumihimo board and I started at one end. And what I've done is I've found online these little spectacle clasps to put you through. Oh, so it's genius. Like, there's a little spectacle chain. So I'm going so to see Caroline after the show and see if we can get some of these in. That would be really good. Because we can do all sorts of spectacle chains and have the proper fit oh my gosh, yeah. to fit them on. So I started at one end, and as you can see, the, the graduation is so subtle. This is my favourite when it goes so from you, the pink into the blue. This is literally because, and I, I don't know which one we're starting with, but okay. either either. Should we, is, is that this this cord? That's that one there. Yeah. This one here. And this is why. This is how. And then we go across. Markers. Uh, some of the oh. colour combinations you can get as well are just absolutely beautiful. There's the blue and the purple again. Yeah. And it's so subtle. You would never be able to do this with separate colours or or adding cords with the with the macrame. Beautiful. Here it is. Yep. So if you pull a, if you pull the strand out, I think it's it's three feet before it goes back revert back to the colours again. But again, it's oh, yeah, so subtle. Yeah. No, keep going, keep going. There's there's more. Yeah, Willow would love this. Oh, she would. Yeah. She'd like. She did. She got. It's yeah. like a unicorn. Yes, exactly. I think it's about three foot length, three and a half bit, when then the colour reverts back to its original. Oh, bit. that is stunning, isn't yeah. it? So I, so I started at one end, cut a piece of cord, and then I went back onto the reel to find the same layout eight times. And then you get that ombre pattern on your kumahimo. Tassels! The tassels would be amazing, yeah. You could do lovely multicoloured yeah. tassels. Now, there's, 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 a, there's a big difference between the kits. Mm -hmm. And it is they both come, and I'm going to show them alongside one another, I think. Yeah. But we are also trying, well, we have priced this so that maybe you can indulge yeah. in both. Um, so taking it to as an affordable price tag as physically possible. So this is the more rainbow metallic like colours. Yeah, so that's that's this next that's piece. That's oh, that so, that piece is nuts. I don't know if so Michael beautiful. can get close. If we, if we start from this from the back yeah. here. So again, I took uh, this is Kumahimo, and this is an eight warp Kumahimo. And all I've done is on one just one of the strands mm. of cord, I've put the six O's, and you get this this spiral pattern. Or, and even if you look closely, even the cord in between the beads. Changes. Ombre as well. So I've I've done four black, four white, and then on one of the black strands I've put the beads just on one of your warps, and you get this really open spiral pattern. I've never done this one before. I thought an experiment. It's beautiful. It, I'm really pleased with yeah, yeah, I love that. That caught my yeah, attention. Yeah. Then we've got like a pastel colour as well. So yeah. um, let's start with the the metallics. Starting with the metallics. Um, 
Oh, it's hard to choose. So maybe, uh, maybe you, you, if you can, treat yourself to both because they are very different. The pastels have got more of a translucency and an AB coating. These are, like I said, more opaque, but with that definite metallic color. Um, you've got d bolder colors in this, than, and this one comes with the black cord, whereas the other one comes with the white cord. Yep. Also, that you get loads, don't so you, you? So you get 20 grams in a pack, yeah. and our tubes that we normally have are 22. So you okay. only probably get about 30 beads less okay. than, than a tube in than getting but without in a pack. the weight. Yeah, and these, these come in grip seal bags. So what you would do, if I just show Michael, can you see we've got these little, th these are brilliant, see these little tears on the top. So you just, t you just tear across yep. either side, like so. And then they're little grip seal bags. You just, oh, so you're not gonna lose anything here. No, so they're little grip seal bags, look, so. Look at that. Yeah, so, and then you seal them back up again, or, we always recommend that you, you keep your empty seed bead tube. Yeah, that's true. You, you can always decant them, and, and can't decant you? them. Absolutely. Yeah. You can always decant them. Look at these lovely colours. £49.99. pence. Happy? Oh, no way near. These are lovely beads. No way near. Or as Tiggy would say, happy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No way near. In fact, should we say it? No, you say it. Your kits, your launches. I can't remember what we're going to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that thing you did last, that's it, that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, well, should, we give, should we give our lovely viewers a bit of a, um, a little bit of a hint? Okay. Our sister channel, Hobby Maker, are celebrating a half birthday. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Mark, what are they going to? They're going to... We do that middly middly clock bit we normally do. What do they call it? What's a middly clock? A clock, a half clock crash. A oh. mid mid clock crash. Oh. It's going to be finished before I get there. It's twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. I, I was going to say I'm not even going to attempt to say that sentence. <laughs> it would have gone so wrong if Alan said that. I've got a shara shara. Well done. Twenty four ninety nine. Oh amazing. my goodness. That's I mean, brilliant. how much would you, I, I hope you're going to say you, you wouldn't sell one of those bracelets for $24.99. Um, I would probably go, I don't know, that necklace there, probably £40. That's maybe, amazing. Like that. Purely because it does, Kuma Hemo does take a lot of time, as we know. Yeah. But the, no, the, the what about amazing, macrame? Yeah. Can I use this in macrame it's too? Just, this is macrame. What this we're looking macrame. at? Macrame, yeah, that's macrame. So you could create with those ombre using yep. the macrame too? Yeah, yeah. And, that, and um, what else have I got? There's macrame. Yeah. So this, this is using, the, um, what have I got? It is happy jewellery. Yes. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You know, if yeah. you go to someone like Masoma, it's all about colour. It's all about colour. These will sell out. Make no doubt about it. There are tons of you there. Oh, wait. Let me have a look at that. At what? This one here. Is that it's macrame? A, it's a wraparound. I'll show you how to do that. Yeah, it's a wraparound. So just make a long, long length. I've made a little loop at one end. I've popped on a, I think this was a um, Oh, a Mark. Yeah. Oh, Mark, yeah. literally a wrap around. Yeah. I'll show you that first then. I'll do a couple of mini demos. Mini demos. This is, this is lovely. <laughs> 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 I need a tea pin. I need a tea pin. I th do you know what? I think I've got a tea pin too. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I've got some, some tea pins. I'm just going to get my tea pins up my tool. No pins. problem. Now you can yeah. shop ahead and pre-order on the uh, uh, on the pastel um, kit as well. It's available, and we're going to match the price. Is that right? Yes, says our uh, Roscoe. We're going to match that price tag. There it is. Um, there it is. There we go. Not fifty-five pence and ninety-two pence. Half it. We're, we're literally going to do exactly the same. So twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence uh, for rainbow. So one's got metallic colours and one's yep. much more pastel AB. And the um, the ombre is a different colour as well in the second kit. Yeah. It's not the same. A bit paler, aren't they? Yeah. And this, this is more more sort of yellow and sort of tropical fruity. Oh yeah. Yeah. If I, can you hold that one up with it again? The the um, cord. You can just see the difference. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. So you can see the difference there. This is some more greens and yellows, and that's more purples and reds. So is it the yeah. the, the, the macrame bracelet yeah. you're about to show us? Is that is that that's the next kit? The next one. That's the next kit. Uh, yes, that's. But you could one. do it with both. You could do it with you? both. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Any questions yeah. that you have, do message Mark. Uh, we are live in the studio. Awesome. Take it away. 
OK, so I'll quickly show you this bracelet, which is, do you want to undo it and, and open it out? And you'll be able, again, you'll be able to see the, uh, the ombre-ness. Love it, ombre-ness. I think that's the word. It's just so cool. It's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Love. It's great oh, fun, isn't it? It's quite I boho, love isn't it. it. It's quite boho. Obviously, you'd measure your wrist before you did it. I just did my wrist. Yeah, but this, yeah. oh, I love it like that. Yeah. That matches your top as well. Oh, it does, all the so colours. So cool. It's so, and it's so easy as well. So, so easy. Amazing, amazing. And then you've literally, if I show you on this side, you've got, well, literally a loop and a bead. Yeah. yeah. So clever. Sorry, anyway, yeah. I'll, yeah. Let, I'll let you take it away. Just choose a bead that matches any of the colours in the ombre. So I just went for blue. No, it's, it's perfect. Perfect. Okay, so what I would probably recommend doing is taking a, a six foot length, so fingertip to fingertip. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just cut, take a shorter piece, like so. And then the first thing that I do, and I always do this with um, whenever I'm using cord, I know it's a horrible tool, but if you just use your cigarette lighter, just to stop the ends from fraying as you're doing it, you just did a little, little tap. And the same with the other end. Okay, perfect. And then if you want to, you can match up the ends, but I quite like the fun that you can be completely random. Yeah. So just take the two ends. It is fun jewellery. Ollie, uh, Ollie worded it perfectly. Yeah, no, no, fun jewellery. Fun. Okay. And then we're just going to, is that going to work? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go slightly down because I want to show you the ombre tones. Okay, so take a T-pin. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it in half and we're going to make a little loop. And you just need to make sure that the loop is large enough to take the bead of your choice. So I would recommend choosing a colour that you like on your, on your cord. So go for peridot or aquamarine or any colour. And leave a loop, but make sure that loop is large enough to take a gemstone. And we take a T-pin, place it in that loop, place it somewhere. I won't show you the back of this ball because it's got a coffee stain on it. Doesn't look the best. Adds to the character, I think. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. It's like a book. Do... A book should always have a coffee stain. Yeah. I, I, I'll turn it side. Let me, I'll turn it sideways. Don't just don't look at that side. <laughs> okay. So you're going to place your T pin, and you're going to separate your two cords, and we're going to go down to the bottom of the board, and we're going to place the cord. You don't have to. Do, I've I've done two spaces apart. So this. This knot is a simple half hitch, okay, which is so simple. So we're going to start on the left-hand side, lift up our cord from the slot, and we're going to go over as though we were going to do the start of a square knot. And we're going to take the cord, feed it underneath the middle cord mm -hmm. and over the top cord. Hold nice and tight. So you sort of, it does a, a little loop. Pull nice and tight up to the top, replace it down into its slot. Take the right hand cord, make a letter B as though you were going to do a square knot. Take the cord underneath the lazy in effect and over the top and pull. Pull nice and tight, replace your cord, take the left side, letter D, take your cord under and over. It, it creates through. a really nice, almost like bobbled effect, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, and once you've done five or six, you see the pattern starting to form. Then we'll take the right cord, letter B, take your cord under and over, pull up nice and tight, replace, and all you're going to do is you're just going to repeat this until you get the length of your bracelet. So unless if you want to do a single wrap, a triple, you can do as many wraps as you like. And once you start seeing the colours mix and changing, it's just it's just beautiful. And uh, and pull up, place it down, pick up your cord, let it be under. You could teach this to Willow. When yeah, she, she would, she I was just literally this. thinking this it, is. Then, uh, and this is it. This is all. All ages. Yeah. I think Carol's daughters do this sort of knotting and they do their sort of hair braids and things. Yeah. Because when you're on holiday, you see um, street vendors, don't you, doing your hair, making those um, little wrapped hair braids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is and that this? This is, this is the cord. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. So it's really simple. 
Really? Oh, I'll, yeah, Willow will 100% yeah. want her hair yeah. braided. Yeah, absolutely. So what you do, all you do is you keep going until you get to the length, and then you take the two ends. Make sure you choose a gemstone, or, so a quartz or an agate, anything like that, oh, and you'll right. be able to get the two cords through the gemstone, knot it, so you have this little item here. Cut off the ends, use your cigarette lighter to melt the ends so it's nice and secure. And then you've got your, your multicolour braid. And as I said, just make sure your gemstone will fit in your, and that will hook it nice and tight. And then just wrap around. You can even pop that around your neck if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I was going to say. Around the ankle, anywhere like that. <coughs> Anklet's a nice yeah. idea. But as you can see, the, the, the ombre braiding, just love it. All the different colours. They all, they're just, it's just so subtle. It's lovely. <coughs> I mean, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so Ollie was saying earlier on, you know, colour for the NHS, of course. Oh, perfect, yes. Oh, absolutely. You do or your pride, or your pride flags and chakra. all sorts of things. Yeah, chakra colours. I mean, colour is it is positivity yeah, inducing, yeah, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Love, love, it. love, love that. We have one other kit to bring you, lovely jewellery makers. Yep. Should we do it now? Before That's your the next pastel, is it? Is that the pastel? Which is the pastels? Oh no, I, I love this. You like particularly, this one, <laughs> particularly this colour. It's unusual, isn't it? Really unusual. Oh look, you can, that's so sweet, you can almost yeah. taste it. And unlike Mayuki's, these, this particular manufacturer, they don't line their beads. And okay. I really like that, it's really new for me, I really like them. And because they're just, just glass So beads, it's all like AB? Yeah, yeah, and because they're just simple glass, you can get really good, thick, substantial cords through the, oh, through look. the beads. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Six O's, which are literally like gold dust, hence the reason why our lovely buying team have... Yeah, that is beautiful, isn't it? Again, that's very, uh, um, very... I've gone back blank. Parade but esque Yes. Uh, yes. Plus, Olmec blue. Yeah, look, very Olmec blue. Then you've got that really beautiful, beautiful, pure white cord. And there it is. The second launch of this kit is that lovely ombre... Uh, cord, which by the way, you have 30 meters off. Yeah, so you're going to make a lot of jewelry out of this one yeah. kit. Yep. The white spool, too, 30 meters. I mean, you could use that for all of your knotting, your marlers. We, don't actually, like that. we don't actually do white very often. No, so. You jadeite? Oh, perfect, yes. Yep. Kyanites? Pearls? Everything. All of the above. You know where we go. We're matching that price point. I have the same quantity. There's 120 of these. Lots of you loving this kit. Half the stock's already gone. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. You get, you've got a double launch here, effectively, in both of these kits. So the brand new beads and also your lovely ombre, uh, ombre silk. So again, I'll leave that with you. Half the stock's already gone. Don't leave it in your baskets. Make sure you check out. Which one are you going to show us now? Is that the rainbow? Yeah, that's this oh kit. Oh, my word. Gosh, right. That's this kit. Right. So, while I show you that, I'm just going to show you that, um, the triple row. I, I did a DVD once that this featured on, and uh, I, very unromantic. I've called it the floodlight bracelet. You remember what football pictures, you get floodlight. I remember that. <laughs> did we film it in Ivy House? We did. <laughs> I remember that. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, uh, the floodlight bracelet. I can see why. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like the, 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 the beautiful rectangles and the big... It's all about the shapes, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so this, this is the floodlight, which I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you now. And again, I've used the black to do the beading. And then if I turn it round, you get that pop of colour with the rainbow going through the inside. So I've got, I've got the, uh, the rainbow going through the centre mm. and then the three pieces either end. I've just pl I've, Again, I've got the two um, threads that I've done the, the half hitch with. Beautiful. That's the way of finishing it off. Okay. So we're going to, so the first you need to choose your to cut off your cords and you're going to thread on alternating colors of your your beads so I'm going to use the uh, the purples the um blues the teal colors and you're going to alternate between light and dark and in the break um just to let the viewers know I asked I was sitting to as Ollie said to Eleanor who's the most glamorous woman <laughs> In the building, <laughs> and, I asked, and, I, and I asked Michael whether he had any nail varnish <laughs> on. <laughs> Doesn't really. Michael work. unfortunately Michael didn't. didn't. No. I did. But Eleanor did. Yeah, I had. Plenty um, that. <laughs> but you asked me first. 
But I asked yeah. Michael first, yeah. That's uh, yeah, uh, yeah, literally, always. Oh, you can have that one, because I've got plenty. Thank you. So you keep that. Okay, so, so your, your lazy strand, you're going, to work, you're going to alternate with your chords. And I think I put 30 to start with. I've secured my chord at the top, and I've secured it at the bottom. And then we're going to take a, another piece of chord, which is going to be our working. And this will be longer, obviously, because this, will, this chord will be doing all the knotting. And then all I do to prepare my chords, and I do this with all, all S-longs, is just take a bit of nail varnish, put a little bit on your index finger, like so, I'm going to put the lid on. And all I'm going to do is just take the two ends of the chords, and all you're going to do, you just want, it, you want the ends to be nice and solid, because it'll, it'll help to go through the bees and you're just going to rub the cords through the nail varnish and it takes about a minute, minute and a half and that will solidify in your cord and it'll just aid with your threading of your so beads. you're creating your own needle then? I yeah, guess. absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so I'll just let that dry a second and I'm going to stick with the same colour combination. I'm going to use the two darks. So what we're going to do is just pop those down at the bottom and we're just going to do a little bit of square knotting. So fold the cord in half, take one of your ends underneath. I'm trying not to touch the ends so I can let the nail varnish go off. Take that through, and then we're going to start our macrame. And again, this is square knot. So left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, I just, it's just amazing watching all these colors, the way that they grade, it's very clever. It's, it's I, I just love watching macrame. I go very quiet watching the crown. <laughs> it's very therapeutic. I and mean, when you've got amazing chords like this, it's just lovely. So I'll do a couple more. Like so. So you could just, if you want to, just do straightforward square knot macrame bracelets. And because you're using ombre colours, can you see we've got a colour on the outside yeah. and a different colour on the inside? And then it shifts. And then it shifts, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take up our first bead. This is where your T-pin comes in handy again. Okay, just slide your bead up to the top. So the first bead, we're going to square knot around. So do the left side of the knot and then the right side. This is proper jewellery making, isn't it? It's, it's so yes. much fun. It's old school. No, it's lovely. Okay, so that's in position. And then we're going to slide up three mm -hmm. of our seed beads. And then on the, on the working side, so we're going to put beads on either side. And what I want to do is I want to do a, um, a cross pattern. So we're going to have the, whichever colour is in the middle, you're going to pop on one of those first. So we're going to put on... And then we're going to put on one of the dark. And then one of the light. All will make sense. Okay, pop those into position. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Looks like little we? man. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to do, so see how amazing that little, that little yeah. nail varnish tip is. So you'll be able to use this one piece of cord now all the way. Without having to down, cut any without away. Without cutting any away. Or if you do need to cut away, as long as you remember to cut at a 45 degree angle, you'll have a nice point. Okay, and then all we're going to do is we're going to, again, we're going to tie a square knot. But instead of, of, of um, encasing one bead, mm. we're going to case three down the centre and the three either side. So we're going to just pull it up. We're just going to give it a little push up, a little shimmy up, like so. So we've done one side of the knot. Then we do the second side. And you can do this with wire as well, which is really nice if you want something a bit more structured. So we've done one side, pull nice and tight. And then we're going to go in and do the second side. And that sits as a square of nine beads. So again, it's, it's quite a quick way of making a, a big bracelet really quickly. Then we're going to put a spacer bead in between. So we're going to cage one bead. If you wanted to space it out, you could cage, you know, two, maybe to do two or three beads if you wanted to. So that's the left side and then the right side. 
like so, pull nice and tight, and then again we're going to take up our next three, and then you'll just repeat the pattern all the way down. And then what I've done on here, so this is, this is one of the bracelets I've done. This is using the metallics. So with this one, I used all black. And what I did to, to I've, can you see at the base here, I've got two chords coming through, yeah. which I've done the half hitch that we did earlier. So through the center, I've threaded two chords instead of one, because the beads will take two chords easily all the way down. I've repeated the macrame section, so I've done ten, um, five square knots. Then I've done the macrame beading, and then I've done the next five square knots, cut all my threads off, and then you still have your two threads running through. So make sure you leave long enough lazy strands before you start. And then all I've done then is I've simply, I've done the, the half hitch that we did in the little demo before in the black. And it gets a really nice, you can see the pattern, can't you? Yeah, I love so like, that. Like, like, like a zigzag pattern. Because you wouldn't want to take something like that off. It's, you know, no, it's, a, it's a traditional no. friendship yeah, bracelet, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. So that's the macrame. <coughs> this one here is the triple row, which I've done on the show many times. And you've got sort of chevron pattern. And the, the six, O's, six O's lend themselves really well to the chevron. And then this necklace here, I've knotted. So again, I've knotted. Oh, in between. literally individually. Yes, yeah, so I've knotted in between the beads, <gasps> and then I've done groups of three. Oh wait, wait, wait! And then wait. I've gone back to single knotting, and this is using the double knot technique, technique that I showed so you last threads. week. So two threads, which easily go through. So wait, yeah. Mark, if you did that with like a black bead, yep, you would have all of a sudden different coloured knots. You'd have like traffic lights going in between your oh, knots, which would look so absolutely good. amazing. And uh, and then this. Little bracelet here. This is using the pastels again, and this is a this is a double row, twisted bracelet. And again, the colours are more zesty and fresh in the pastel. That's kit, like a, that's they? like more a pick a mix. Pick a mix. Yes, absolutely. And then finally, I've made the earrings here, which again, really really cute little twisted earrings. So, do you remember I made the loop? earlier for the bracelet yeah. I've made little loops you've got two threads going through and again all of the beads will take two threads and I've just done simple twist macrame and when I get to the very end I've cut off all of the threads melted them with a the lighter and that will stay like that and then I've just popped on the shepherd's hook in the little loops at the top so um, there's nothing it's, any knotting any macrame technique uh, uh, looming looming would be really good for these six mills as well yeah the, the six o beads so um no, they're, they're, amazing. they're just such good fun, feel-good kits. Lovely. They really are. I think that yeah. happiness-inducing, I forget who said that. They do yeah. just make yeah. you happy. No, absolutely. Um, but also, with things like macrame and kumihimo and things like that, you don't have to put metal with them, do no, you? No, so, absolutely not. Um, because no. these are glass beads, so anybody that maybe has yeah. skin allergies or yeah. something like that, this yeah, is, absolutely. Uh, you know, doesn't mean that yep. you can't enjoy uh, wearing lovely jewellery. Now, these kits have absolutely flown... There's less than 20 of each. It is hard to choose a favourite. I've got to be honest, I'd yes, struggle. Yeah. Uh, right now on your screen is this kit. So it's the one which has the white cord. Are you yes, right? You don't right. see it very no, often. No, hardly ever. How much would that be, no. out of curiosity? What Four do we pounds. think? Four pounds yeah. for that cord. I don't. I, I mean, there's no price comparisons with something that's. No, that would probably be 7.95. I would have thought for the for the for the rainbow. And then all of those beautiful colours yeah. in your rainbow. So in effect, beach. you've got you've got six tubes of six O's. Yeah. And they're so popular with our viewers at the moment. The six O's. Um, and then we've got the other yeah. kit, which yeah. I would love to be able to show yeah. you. Maybe we could use Ollie's recording. Only I threw a load of the beads everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Not on purpose, I have to point out. I'm not that, okay. that, that, <laughs> um, that irresponsible. Here we go. So, I mean, look at that. That's that gorgeous necklace. That's the necklace there, yeah. And it's a real labour of love. There's no denying that. Something mm. like this takes a while. It takes yeah, a, a while hours, to do. But it's, it's definitely worth it, isn't it? Oh, and what, it's I've, what I've done with the back, if I turn the back round, you can see that I've, I've used large jump rings either side of the class, so I could pop on the spectacle clips if I wanted to and make, that, make it into a really funky spectacle chain for Christmas, maybe. Or, no, That's a no, great no, idea. So this is an eight-warp Kumihimo braid, mm -hmm. and on one of the, of the bobbins, I've added the seed beads. Amazing. So you put a bead on every eight moves. So if I've never done kumihimo before, um, or, or macrame or anything like that, mm. it's actually a very minimal investment, isn't it, in yes. terms of starting that as a hobby? Yep. Because yep. what you need, you need, uh, I don't know, a kumihimo... A disc, eight disc. bobbins and a weight. 
That's okay. all you need. A macrame I need. A macrame board and a tea pin. There you go. <laughs> That's it. It's yeah. not like most hobbies, I don't know, if you want to start fishing. You have to no, spend hundreds crazy. of pounds, don't you? Yeah. Golf. Don't golf. even start me on golf. Yeah. Goodness does me. Does Tom play golf? He does, yeah. Oh, does he? Yeah, he oh, does. Right. Um, I'm a golf widow quite a lot on weekends. He disappears uh, okay. after playing golf. Yeah, no. Uh, but it's a good hobby. It's a good hobby, but it is no denying it's expensive. Now, I know it's very late. Oh. But we have had a few issues with, tech, with technical IT things, the emails not being received and whatnot. Anyway, um, we're good to go with your Wall of Fame. I've got four minutes and I will squeeze as many in as physically possible. So your fabulous wow. creations, it's the Wall of Fame. Ah, so apologies about that. It wasn't a case that uh, um, you hadn't you haven't entered. It's just we couldn't physically we couldn't access the emails. But some, I don't know why. But look at these, Margaret. You've done it again. Absolutely beautiful, look aren't at they? Margaret, you are number 408. She says, this week's entry is a modern style pair of earrings using jade and silver pennants and a pull-through chain earring findings. All from Jewelry Maker. Wow. Very elegant. Our thanks to Jewelry Maker for this week's entertainment and best wishes to all of the fellow Waffers. Number 409 from, is from lovely oh, Kim. No. Oh, beautiful Kim. Um, and uh, she says, hi, please find my entry to the Waff. It's a necklace and bracelet made with freshwater pearls, seed beads and 925 sterling silver panther heads and a class from JM. Good luck to everybody. Thanks for the great shows and the deals. Stay safe. That's lovely Kim. And then number 410. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh um, is from uh, Alan. Hello, Alan. Alan's an amazing gemstone setter. Yeah. Hi. Please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a 925 sterling silver tennis bracelet. I have set with Nilamani in the middle and ombre tourmaline, a peridot, neon appetite at the ends. Wow. Uh, good luck, everybody. Some fantastic deals this week and great demos. Uh, number 410 is from Lorraine Smith. And hello, Lorraine. Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, that's one of your favourites, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, yeah. Hi, Jewelry Makers. My entry is three coated moonstone necklaces on silver, gold, and rose. Popped um, my lovely orb in to match and the colour scheme. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. Number 412 is from Chantel. <coughs> and Chantel says, Morning. My make is a little different this week. It's not jewellery, but like a lot of handmade designs, it's made with love. I lost my grandma not that long ago, and she no. didn't want a service of any kind. So to celebrate her life, we decided to make a time capsule. From the bottom, the jar has citrine, tanzanite, spinel, peridot, topaz. We're going to bury it and plant a flower near a tree where my Aww. granddad was buried. Good luck, everyone, in this week's draw. Number 413 is from Fran. Oh, look at this. Are they? Oh, they're... Um, Yes, I'll know in a moment. <laughs> Hopefully the days aren't too dull. Chili bees, thank you. I was fiddling <coughs> with some chili bees from the selection packs and made these up with seed beads and silver plated findings from the stash. The smaller items with the chili bees can be used as flippers on a jacket lapel as a suggestion. Best to all of we will get there with a little help from our friends. Number 414 is from Deb Briggs and Deb Briggs has made a ring using butterscotch amber. Number 415 is from Lynn, and Lynn has used Mayuki in a chenille weave. Oh, my, oh my word, they're incredible. And number 416 is from Jade, who's made a graduated green adventure necklace. Oh. Well done, everyone. Sorry we had to rush the end. But, yes, um, we, we are we, running out of time, yeah. yes, basically, yes. running out of time. <laughs> but we tried, uh, just to make you know, it wasn't, it, it was an, an issue our end, literally, yep. you were sending them, um, and we just couldn't open the email. But, but all is sorted, and you are all entered. Um, fabulous show tomorrow. I've got, of course, got lovely Dave, White Jade. Oh, amazing. I'm tuning in We love you. Bless you. Thank you Bless so you. much Thank for joining you. me today. Have a lovely afternoon.